Yeah, I have like this little analog soundboard that I run my mic through. So it's not very nice because it's old and the the adapter for it makes like a humming sound all the time. But Yeah, well Oh, I'm on Epic Lytics, but I still have plenty of sound issues. I have to keep settings open. Oh wait, I've been outputting my audio. That's unfortunate. Hello stream.
hello, people of Twitch. Um, I don't know. I'm very bad at this. It's me and Harzer casting the next round of Rainbow Cup. Waiting for the lobby to fill. Let me get my bracket up. Welcome, Harzer. When I... Hello. I'm joining again. Group it's a four. very uh, official stream with a very official intro because we're very good at this. Yes, the professionalization of FAF has commenced. Yes. There's no more authenticity in the official streams. Exactly. Here's the, uh, yeah, I'll try to put up the bracket. We're going to watch um, round three, Tagata versus Farbs. Lobby is filling now. See, as soon as I start actually streaming, I become all monotone. It's very strange. But yeah, we're going to watch this game, and then hopefully, if we have time, we'll watch this uh, Losers Bracket game too. Or if they're not done, we'll watch one of the other Losers Bracket matches. But all best out of threes. Should be fun. Might need to uh, adjust game volume. I didn't think Nuggets got picked. Did he? Do you know what team Nuggets is on? Um, I remember I casted a game of Nuggets yesterday, but I forgot. It hmm. wasn't Yudi's team, was it? No, no, because Yudi's is out. Now it's just, uh, this one's Farves and uh, Tagata. So what? Tagata, Nock, and somebody else. I forget who the somebody else is. So, Nuggets was on Farm's team. Ah, that's a good team. Yeah. How'd they get that 2k on with Farm's and FTX? I mean, FTX is only 1800. True. But uh, how was the, the team pick? Was just draft? Yeah, yeah. It was drafted, right? So I'm, I'm surprised. Sure. Yeah. Because, you know, you don't, you don't leave FTX so that the Farm's can have him as his oh, no, no. third pick. It was partially uh, drafted, partially pre-selected. So you could sign up with a teammate, a captain and a teammate, and then you draft the third player. Some captains didn't pick a second player, though, so two of their picks were drafts, but most of the teams were two people pre-selected and then one more draft. Okay. Now there was, like, a rating limit for the pre-selection. Oh, that's how FTX got in, yeah. Yeah. So like Tagata picked uh did Tagata pick Nock? I think Tagata picked Nock ahead of time. Okay. Because oh, uh, Nock was low rated enough or what what rating was it? Well, I think it was a max of forty two hundred for total okay. team, with um tw anything above twenty two hundred for each player being negated, so it was they counted mm. as twenty two hundred. Um Group form. So I think they like just fit in. Okay. Do they want, do they need to have this on Sandbox? No. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter since they'll quit anyway because the AI will probably be alive. <laughs> Servers are on. They're full share? Yeah, and she is it just me or is full share on? Stuff. No, I think it's just loaded the weird default set settings for, yep. for Tagata. So the after the delay, somebody in chat said you're doing great. Quality oh, reaction nice. to my great intro. So yeah, this this should be interesting. Have you seen M twenty seven recently? Uh, I think we watched the game. Uh, I'm not sure. Was it? May have been M27 that sniped like Aeon TMD with perfect staggered. That sounds TML. like uh, that does definitely sound like M27. Yeah, I missed uh, all the games from yesterday other than a few UD ones, but it does sound very M27 like. I was pl I played 1v1s with it for a while, and it's actually like decently competent, like compared to like normal AI, it's crazy. Yeah, who made M twenty seven? It's Maudlin twenty seven. Okay, 
He's yeah, he's a modded. Yeah, I I recognize the name now. Yeah, and he he documented all the creation of it on the forums. It's actually very interesting to read. Oh, I think I'll actually give that a read because I'm quite interested in the you know just having just you know rule rule based gameplay. Yeah, basically, yeah. And it's uh yeah, it's on my list of uh things to work on development wise. I want to make one at some point to play settings. It's gonna be amazing. Yeah. But it does seem like it's a little limited. Like, cause you you obviously have to pre make all the strategies. There's mm -hmm. no way to do like the really fancy stuff that you see in like StarCraft with the neural networks and whatnot, where it actually kind of could be like creative. I mean, you can but... provide run and Lua, but I'm not sure how fast that will be. Yeah. Yeah, and also like the issue of like um not be able to easily predict like it's not like starcraft where everything is exactly where it is and it's not simulated right mm. subcom simulated so everything can be slightly different each time you do it yeah yeah that makes sense but oh you might be interested in uh i've i've written uh i've started to write a build or the you know simulator basically because that's yeah, uh, because that's that's like slim enough. Because you don't need to do you know like discrete time integration. Because only when stuff happens is is when it's relevant. So it's should be really really cheap in runtime wise, and you can just get a rough prediction if your build order works out or not. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, ended up in a in a dev stream. There's no casual casting. Okay. Ah, yeah. I'm back. But yeah, that sounds pretty interesting. So is it based on um like in subcom or is it like a program that just simulates what would happen no just for for subcom it's very rudimentary right now huh. um oh so it executes the build order in subcom no 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 it's just in uh it's written in c sharp oh it's i see like a fancy spreadsheet basically yeah oh that's cool yeah it was a uh, cheeseberry made a um a document outlining like eco and stuff Including like all the mm. integrals for like finding total mass earned and all that fancy stuff. Oh, cool, um, so I, I was thinking that it would be cool to use write a program that makes use of all of that to like calculate builds, but Yeah, yeah. So 'cause when you when you can calculate your build order cheaply, you can just automatically search and optimize it. Yeah. Sounds like a big project though. Yeah. Were we missing anyone? I don't think we were. They have to do colors. I guess we'll see if they do that on their own. How much how much delay do you have? I think might it be only one minute? Should be three minutes. That's what I added. Okay. But um I could shorten it if needed, but that I think that's what they yeah. wanted. No, because, yeah, Nock just asked me if three minutes is on. Yes, it is three minutes. Yeah, okay. Why is Nock in the game? Oh, wait, he's playing. I thought he was TDing. Yeah. I forgot he's in the actual he's game. He did both. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and yesterday, um, Derp and I made the mistake of wanting to cast the game he was in. Oh. So that lobby took forever. Uh, oh, because he had to, to set everything up. Yeah, he had to cat her at, like three different lobbies before. I see. <laughs> Fighting over the colors as they should. Oh no, the AI colors are incorrect. Oh no. It's outrageous. Yeah. They must be punished.
Ah, Farms is gonna try to steal Tagada's color. <laughs> Tagada gives it up. The fight has already started. I'm a big like how does the color picking work? Uh it's rolling. I think what who was saying it was Nock who was saying it's uh mutually agreed or rolled. Okay. So it seems like Farz was trying to take Tagada's red to be annoying. And yeah. um Tagada's just letting him have it. So But we're missing a player, right? Oh Nuggets is an observer, I see. Um, the dog is starting to make noises, so hopefully we don't have a dog sound background to this. Yeah, we have a dog co-caster. Yeah. Ooh. Taggett is now using his giving up of the color to choose the side. Gonna cast the lobby drama. Very entertaining. Yes. Oh yeah, I guess I we should go over the yeah. rules. I forgot. It's kind of important. So there's two AIs. They're on separate they're on a third team. And they'll fight both the enemy both the player teams. And then the player teams fight each other and the AIs. And whoever survives the longest wins. I think that's pretty yeah. clear. That's I'm missing anything. Much. And it's at least in the last Rainbow Cup we had the occasion where it was literally who survived the longest. Yeah. I'm thinking with these multipliers it'll probably be like one team killing the other, but there's always the possibility the AI comes in and crushes one team. Yeah. And then yeah. The colors will match the team. So the AIs will be green, one team will be cool colors, one team will be warm colors. Nope. Clicked out. Whoops. And then if you if a team messes up their colors, um the game can be restarted. So the enemy team can call them out and restart the game. I'm not sure if you could call out your own team for it, but there's some rules about that. Oh, that would be a bit abusive, yeah. Yeah. I did it in the last Redbook Cup I played in. We were getting oh, crushed. Oh, you guys so. were losing and then you no, called out the wrong actually, colors? So. what happened was we noticed the wrong colors. And even though we were in a bad position, we thought we'd be fine. And so even though they called... Actually, no, they wanted a re for their own colors. But we refused to accept that they had their own color or called them out for it. And then we lost. It was so oh. depressing. We could have gotten a re, but we didn't. Yeah. And, and they wanted one so bad. So I guess that solves the issue. Yes, you cannot call out your own, your own team. My Rainbow Cup experience was not very good. We got crushed. Who were you playing with? Were you, was it with Yudi? It was me at Excelsior in a 600. Not no, probably not even a 600. He was very low. Oh, you played. You played in the in the small Rainbow Cup. Yeah, and the issue was. It didn't work out. We needed to like meta game and uh take the base of the six hundred, but we just we let him play normally and it just went pretty yeah. horrible. And we both played horribly as well. So it's not on the six hundred. It's just bad play all around. Unfortunate. We also both forgot about the tournament right up till like the day before. So that didn't help. <laughs> it's a miracle because... we actually played. Yeah, because this is a tournament where just sandboxing with the AI gives you such a huge advantage. Yeah, yeah, I had I had like a whole bo for one of the maps. I was so happy about it, and then yeah, like I guess now that the AIs are getting better and better, it's you know you don't have the random AI that just won't do anything or is super easily abusable if you prepare for it. Yeah, so it's not that crazy anymore. Yeah. It's definitely a game of figuring out how to abuse the AI. Yeah. Either defend it well or ignore it, whichever it decides to do. But it was fun though. It's a fun tournament to play. It's definitely different. It's not like 
boring olds. Yeah. Uh, Plus, I, I'm way too bad to actually play a boring old tournament, so. Yeah, it also has produced very entertaining replays. Yeah, it's fun to cast. Past. I enjoyed the casting the I casted the finals of the last one. <laughs> the lobby drama is real. Nox to make you roll at Aeolus. Does Aeolus roll work again? What happened? Does it? Because I think yesterday it was broken. I'm not gonna check because then I have to tap out of the game and I'm in full screen now, so it's a bit of a pain. I wish we could uh play, possibly. No. That's impossible. They have to fight about which side. Yesterday it took like 40 minutes until we launched the game or something. It's not like that the players arrived late. It was just everything took so long. Yeah, they're just fighting over it. The beat only works. It's funny. Why would they rely on a BO that only relies on one side? He must be joking. FTX, yeah. FTX he must be joking. Or farms yeah. prepping anything. Yeah. That seems like a very tagged thing to do. Not a very farms. We got 50 viewers for this epic lobby sim. Very nice. Skill issue was just said. I'm not sure what my skill issue was, but it's unfortunate. The colors look correct. Everyone's in the lobby. It's time oh. to X up. Yes, the teams we, uh, are correct, yeah. Should start spamming X in chat, but I feel like people wouldn't appreciate that. <laughs> Just PM them to X up. Every single one. Now I'll be patient. Need to start like the lobby sub chess on Faf Live or something. This map we played, I casted this map in the um, the finals of the last one, and it was very interesting because the AI was okay. actually making such a difference to the game. So it'll come up through the little uh, bottom, the like if you look at the self, it'll go through the little pass towards the bottom team, and also oh, it will just threaten the yeah yeah one of the bases yeah, and at least I think it was RNG that was on this last year or not last year last tournament. It never went up like towards the above it or below it, respectively. It always went to the side. Mm. So. You always have to risk, though, both AIs attacking the same team. That would be unfortunate. Yeah. I think if it's the same AI, it's at least in the last game, it was quite unlikely because they, you know, they play very. Yeah. Uh, like uh yeah, if it's yeah. if they are on the same slot they do the same same stuff until they are like severely disturbed. Yeah. If I'm remembering correctly, M twenty seven is the one that has some level of teamwork where they like can share mixes and stuff. It's either M twenty seven or RNG. One of them has or maybe both. Yeah. <clears throat> but I think M twenty seven, like this map is small enough. Uh, once we get to, you know, minute 10, there will be uh, the Swockle RT bases. No. Just threatening player bases. Yeah, if they can go to the side and get that one, that first expansion base, they could just shoot the, the base with RD. Yeah. And I think, I think M27, if it, you know, gets a foothold close enough to, you know, ma major base, it's, it's building the, the fire base. Yeah. That'll be brutal. Also, like like you said before with the TMLs, yeah. It, it, like, uh, have you seen it strat yet? Where it builds strats. And oh, it does can... it do like strat micro as well? Yeah, or... it could do like perfect strat micro ah. with multiple strats at like the same yeah. time. It's brutal. I think it's time to just introduce like an APM cap for M twenty seven. Nah, we need to give it more player. talent. Yeah. No, hopefully it gets. Good enough that it can 
have an APM cap and still crush. That would be that would be beautiful. Be amazing, yeah. Okay, game has started. Let's hope there are no issues. Should I have music, do you think? Um yeah, I think a bit of music. You mean in-game music or yeah, do you have yeah. some? In -game. Yeah. Okay, I'll keep this. If it's annoying, say so and I'll anyone in chat say so and I'll change it. Nothing is happening. Okay, there we go. So we got the AIs on the side. We got farms this team over here. Looks like about mirrored. Tank and Infirm's got the same slot. Have anything interesting? Suppose I should introduce the players. I don't Yeah. Got knock, twenty one hundred. Over on this uh how would I describe this? Little valley almost? No, not valley, this is over here. <laughs> <laughs> they got nuggets mirroring him, also got the same rating. Both just doing normal boring land factory. FTX and Natron mirroring. Natron subbing in. He was not originally part of the team. I think? Yes. Who was so small, originally yeah. part of the team? I don't remember who was originally part of the team, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't Natron. You've got Tagata and was... Farms. Big contenders. No yeah, first bobber or anything. Check who was the OG. Yeah, sorry, I would check, but... Uh... Uh, Ginger, Ginger was... Oh, yeah. On the team. Oh, I was looking forward to watching him play. He played in the last one I played in. Oh, okay. It's quality stuff. Somebody's being toxic. <laughs> FTX is BMing the AI. Not very nice of him. Should be disqualified. Yeah, FTX should get banned for this. There's yes. No cursing in chat. Exactly. <laughs> it is. Wonderful. Great FTX commentary. AIs don't seem to be doing anything too interesting yet. Just expanding. Just second land. How good is the manual reclaim of the AI? Uh, oh yeah, there is quite a bit of reclaim. Important to note. Looks like... Oh, it is manually reclaiming. It's pretty cool. Yeah. It's not doing any rocks yet, but hopefully it gets there. Yeah, it's reclaiming all these trees, which doesn't seem like a very efficient use of its engines. No early air, really. Like, super early air. It's a bit right. surprising, because I think you could deal decent yeah. damage with early air. Like, you can force... Yeah. It almost day. it almost looked like, tr like uh, transport rush times, but there's no real... Like, Doc over here, he has so many P-Gens. Where am I mis misreading? Yeah, no, I think they're just really... If you... Like, with the reclaim, you need that many P-Gens. Mm, true, I forgot about the reclaim. so hard. Yeah. Good point. Yeah, probably just gonna make Eco then. AI is sending units the opposite direction as I thought. Or maybe not. Never mind. Sort of. Attack moving up there. It's, yeah. Going everywhere. It's beginning its uh, expansion, though. Units are... It's gonna. Ca what is the chance it's gonna? It's gonna reclaim some mix at some point, right? Oh player. yeah, it always happens. It's so annoying. Uh, yesterday, Uni's game. One of his teammates was just getting complete. It was protect. There were like twenty NGs in his base, randomly reclaiming mixes. It's awful. We had Art it has... on uh, on the last game yesterday. The uh, M27 would just basically drop every plateau at one point. Yeah. And M27 wins every NG fight. Oh, like, yeah. I think there's basically no chance you win it as yeah. a human. <laughs> and I could just micro all the drops at once. That sounds yeah, yeah. completely busted. And just capture all the plateaus, yeah. It's like yeah. the most annoying AI to play. I think it's probably the best AI for this kind of tournament because it's just... Yeah. That's the most so random, much. annoying bullshit, yeah. The uh, bottom AI doesn't have as many units. Like, almost no units. Versus the top one. That's true, yeah.
but the the top ones are not using them, so it doesn't make too much difference. Oh, what am I doing? Testing zip speed. Did not mean to do that. Yeah, the scoreboard is uh four Z O T's or four Z zero T's scoreboard. Esops, whatever. Very nice. Except for that it's a, a bit I guess it's working now. Now the massing clips are working. Looks good. Yeah, the the little uh names are a little bit distracting, but it's fine. Yeah. AI is I'm using bobbers to build a piece. Yeah, I'm just surprised to see that FTX, like FTX decided to go left mm. and contain the AI. You know, there's and not really Natron much. Is reinforcing Tagata, yeah. I guess there's only really the reclaim and a few Vexes that FTX can uh, get in this area. So, oh, so he's walling it off. That's kind of a good move. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's the best to it. use your ACU for this, but yeah. Yeah, I suppose he could just move an edgy. No, he doesn't know. There's no units there. It's no way. Yeah, yeah. Bomber is going to go right into the Enties, unfortunately. Well, fortunately for them. Uh, let's see. Oh, I really shouldn't have done that. Somebody with mod needs to deal with the spammers or whatever. Are you... With any eco going? Like, Nock is full grunt mode, and it looks like he's prepping oh. to get a gun soon. Yeah. I think this will be a very high pressure game. Tagata has one T2 max just working on a second. Yeah, it seems like uh, bottom team is going for far more eco. Well, no, oh, Nugget, yeah. Nugget's FTX not is... even. Nuggets is doing the same thing Nox is doing. Yeah, yeah. I think high no. pressure is definitely the play here. Yeah. The bases are so close, and it's just. But you have things like this, this AI. The top AI is going to be in the way. You have to be careful yeah. you don't uh, engage you know, in, a bad, it's, a bad, in a bad spot. It's kind of fun on this on this map, especially with the AI AC placement. You just have this three-way fight now. Yeah. It's actually quite interesting. And you don't know if this is going to go back forward or not, or if it's just going to stay chill. Yeah. Watch everything. Also, that's two ACUs going to have gun on one of each. That's a pretty bad fight for uh, Nuggets if he doesn't get some sort of support. And FTX and Farbs both are far back. Yeah. And they're not helping. Yeah, that's why I was saying I don't like FTX walling that off because this is like the 2v1 scenario on each side and FTX is not, not taking that. Yeah, and Farbs is quite far, far back as well, so he's kind of leaving a knock the ability to just walk over to the other side with no contest if you want. Yeah. No, he'll have gun in a bit. No, his gun will take much longer since he's uh, hang on, so he has to get full. Agatha is getting nano repair. That's that's weird that they would get nano repair instead of the double gun on Natron. Yeah, I mean, I saw that yesterday a lot with uh, in UD's games. I'm not sure why that's yeah. such a common thing, but I guess it works. No, now they're doing double, double gun, or a gun at least. Honestly, oh yeah, Tegeta is not assisting it, so it's fun. It's a normal yeah. gun com versus a gun nano. AI also getting gun. Both AIs getting gun. Oh yeah, like, they're so, so similar in timings. Ah. Southern AI got, <laughs> look at the, what is, what is, what is it all AI. snoops? Oh yeah. Ready to fight that ACU. Fight the ACU, yeah. Nuggets and is just cool. dead. Right? I mean, he has units, mm, but... but... Yeah, I'm not like, he has didn't. more units than Tagata, but... Tagata has Nano. Yeah, I don't think... Especially without vets, UEF Nano is not that strong. Yeah. Actually, is Tagata dying gonna... No! I think Nuggets can PD? get a draw here, actually. Nah, he's going away, though. Yeah. Also, Natron's coming up now with gun range. Oh, you're right. He might be in a bit of danger. And the AI's coming in. Like he will, he will, he will. Oh, he's will dead. Take the draw. Tagada's fucking. He don't. Block the path. Have to take the draw. Tagada's just dead. He's not dodging the arty. No, that's horrible. Oh, the, the, Except the, for the he, AI. He the AI might get nuggets too. 
Yeah. That was a huge blunder from Depends Tiger. on how much it wants to aggro. You're a hundred percent right. That Nero was a mistake. Should have got double gun and then he crushed that. Yeah. Ha. Huh. That seems like a pretty uh decisive game though. Lost their best player. That was pretty brutal, yeah. Yeah. I mean, AI is pushing it on Nuggets, but kind of too late. And now we have a couple yeah. of Stingers going for Knock. Knock has some air, but not enough. Yeah, but it doesn't. Nah, I don't. I don't think not, this will stop Knock. There's not enough NTs, and the AI actually both teams lose nice. air to the AI. Look. AI is just well, well, not the AI kill the gunships. Know. Yeah, the AI will kill the gunships. Is the thing? Yeah, yeah. Kill knock. So it's I guess like that's the teacher good. stepping into a school fight. You know, <laughs> yeah, big teacher. Stop exactly. It. Yeah, that's the thing with the AIs too. They always have so many NDs. Looks like FTX is stopping to make gunships, even though the AI has total air. But um, Natron's making T3 air, so that could be significant. Natron's fighting the AI. I would just walk to maybe middle. Don't want to aggro that AI. Let it damage Nuggets. Yeah. Top it or Especially bottom cause... AI. Good. I was like, the AI might have been in the position. I'm not sure if they could deny like Nuggets Nano Repair is kind of dodgy. I'd say. Yeah. Top or bottom AI could be a threat to knock here. Barbs oh, yeah, is a little in danger. Because he's about to be double double teamed by Natron and Knock. That's unfortunate. Also he has Aurora. Kinda good, but also like might just die. Barbs is dead! Right? Yeah, like Farms might be trying to get a draw. On Nock, but Nock is so close yeah. to a vet. He's like, yeah, he's he's, he yeah the gunships as well. Gunships come in, but the AI just kills them all. Yeah. Honestly, they just lost because of the AI. Uh... 500 yeah, HP, yeah. it's yeah. so close. Oh, wow. It's so close to a vet as well. Now he's got the vet, yeah. now he's fine. And yeah, now I guess it's even. Score wise. So... Massive cup wise, team 1 is ahead, so. Farms his team. That's something, but uh, T3 Air is going to be up soon from a uh, top team. T3, oh, T3 Air is going to be faster FTX from FTX. Faster. I'm surprised, How did he manage yeah. that? I'm shocked. He started way later. And yeah. made so many gunships? What has Natron been doing? That's I a mean... very good question, because FTX Eco is also better. Oh. Maybe got a bit, of, a bit more reclaim? FTX doesn't have gun. Natron has two guns. That might be... Yeah, maybe because he did it so so soon, yeah. That yeah. may have delayed his everything. That definitely makes sense. Eco-wise, though... Oh. I, well, I guess we can't really compare, because... Uh... AI might die to Natron is going in onto the AI. Right. Like, they're wasting so many units into... into yeah, what the if that AI, AI dies? It's just absolute... Yeah. If that AI dies, you lose your entire army. Yeah, it's horrible. And he's not even shooting with the ACU. What is that? And not even that, but he's fighting the AI that's also fighting the enemy. That seems like a huge mistake. Imagine he sent all those units down towards FTX. He could have at least like forced some more PD. Yeah. He could have done something. Especially because FTX doesn't have the gun yet. Yeah. But yeah, if you pushed with Natron, they might even be able to kill him. I mean, FTX has a lot of blazes now, but... Pugin almost done from FTX. Pugin just started from Natron. Look at that disgusting mass storage. Do you see that? It's almost it? done. Natron's base. Almost done. Right there. Oh. Yeah, FTX oh, has an air up. Natron's still making it. Not very good. Yeah, the X is far enough ahead to just lo airlock and then get a strat out. Yeah, I think that... Basically uh, win the game. 
Yeah, the air disadvantage is huge. Also, T1 Bobber is going towards the airbase. <laughs> they have nothing. Imagine I mean, they, they, have they, they but... killed the whole build power. Uh... Ah, yeah, they see it. They see it. They're good. They're good. FTX just making ASF, but no plans for strat. Which... See the spark? You would have had to make, like, first strat, and even that's kind of risky. Especially considering the AI air. It's a lot of inties. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I think Natron made T3 air too soon. He needed to, or, yeah, he needed to ego war. Especially considering he had gun. Just wondering if there's anything gonna stop Nuggets from pushing. I don't think so. Oh. I mean, there's two comms, but... Oh yeah, there's two comps, and there will be Sarah Nano, so... Yeah. Sarah Nano and stop. Double Gun. Also two yeah. vets, Sarah Nano, so... It's something, but... You also got UEF Nano, so... From uh, Nuggets. And the AI on the top is just gonna push into the top team. With, uh, Ilshis. Or no, Magis, rather. Yeah, it's looking a bit scary. Looking a Complete. bit open. He's just sitting his air over the enemy team, FTX. Yeah, he should have definitely gone for the, like, this is yeah. quite a blunder, in my opinion. Not not going for the air fight. Yeah. I guess he's a bit overwhelmed managing, you know, one front and air. Oh, he's going to get caught out. Oh, that's so oh, bad. Oh, no. Such a waste. He's going to completely lose air for free. No, I mean, he has more. He'll win, but it'll, it'll be more even than it should be. Yeah. Over flak as well. Not really having too much impact, but it's actually uh, now it's even on air. That's horrible. He should have been so far ahead. Look at these units from the AI. Just a giant mass of units, doing absolutely nothing. Do we have? Oh, next to the ACU. T three air. T three air out from the AI. Wonder what that will be used for. Nothing yet. Two, three NGs. <laughs> Looks like just more ASF planned, expanding air grid for FTX. Natron has no plans for that. Natron made a yeah. SAM? Could probably reclaim that at this point. Seems like, well, I guess not. He is still quite behind, but. Seems like uh, pretty oh, big Oh, FTX enough. made the... I don't know why, but FTX always does the second peach in before the Ooh. second factory. Yeah. yeah, now he's overflowing 5KE. 2KE once he's making ASF. He could definitely yeah. afford another air factory. Very sad for him. Also, I not reclaiming. Just... He could reclaim all his T2 P gens and T1 P gens right now. No problem. Like, that's an advantage, you're making the second P-Gen immediately, but... Gotta, like, yeah, easy. just beat your team, for instance, Nock could've... Uh, Nuggets could've rushed... Uh, shield, for instance, with that yeah. power. Surprised Nuggets and still on T2. Be upgrading? No, he's not. Yeah... Could just... Well, I guess Titans aren't great here. I guess they are, actually, because Nock's entirely T1. On that side, at least. On Nuggets' side. Yeah. I'm just looking at the north now, and I think that army will just be able to, yeah, you know, just go in, maybe even kill the airbase. There's some flak in there, so it won't be yeah. trivial to kill by air, and there's nothing to stop it. There's only, like, one flak, right? Yeah. So, theoretically, yeah. one T3 gunship, or, yeah, stops it, or a couple T2. But Nuggets has to retreat now with his combat. He's out of range. He can just concede the, the firebase. It was not that big of an investment. Yeah. He has to and be careful. And just kill everything else in the meantime. That's what, six Ilshis and a bunch of T1 in addition to the two comms? It's a bit dangerous. Yeah. And there's enough flak. I mean, the, the Ilshis will not catch him. Yeah. And the comms... Is he just has well. to stay back. Yeah. T3 gunship is not really a threat because there's four flak. Oh, and maybe more air for Natron. Here, let's check. Got 14 for Natron. 
And we have the 18. air fight and uh, FTX is way more build power right now. Ooh, but that's... My crew is a bit oh, what sad, was that? Though. He didn't kill a single one! I want to hear what Farms is saying right now. I can imagine. Yeah, yeah, that was the worst man I crop this tournament. I oh, think. that was... That was so bad. I don't... Oh, but it doesn't even matter. Look at uh the base up here. Yeah, it's just completely... that army just walked straight through, and it's a bit, oh, yeah, a bit it's sad, because it's pillars. I think six issues would have stopped that army. Or a couple PD. I mean, there is a T2 PD, yeah. but... He... He'll defend it, I think, but... Actually, could that be a mass donation? No, no it won't. I, this will crush, I think. Ah, I guess you're right. Pillars. Huh. With the gunships there? Yeah, they will actually... Yeah, I think they got enough value. They killed enough that it's worth it. Yeah, they killed all the T2 mix. Yeah. And the build power as well. It's kind of... You can't even rebuild it. Now the Moggies are coming in and killing even more build power. And three air factories versus one air factory still, so... Even with the abysmal micro, not gonna. Yeah, FTX should catch up quickly, but the question is, will he throw air again? Yeah. He's got another chance at it. Yeah. Also, if we look at what the AI is doing, it's almost entirely fighting top team. So, oh yeah. You didn't like uh, FTX's wall strategy, but kind of worked. Though I think the biggest blunder this game, other than that air fight, was. Uh, Natron and not killing the uh, South AI. It's just a waste. Yeah. They're pushing in? To what end? Oh, FTX is rushing a gun, but this is. Where's the second com? FTX could just make gunships, I think. I think even. Unless he loses there horribly again, but. Yeah. Natron is OC messing up. Black. Why did Natron stay back so long? Yeah, this is definitely the final push. Yeah, I think they know they've lost if they don't get a kill here. Or even if they yeah. get a kill here, they probably lost, but... Gotta do something. Probably need two kills. Yeah. What? And Knock. I think Nuggets yeah. is gonna die here. Knock Nugget doesn't even go Nano for a fight. The big army. No, and I mean, Knock with Nano. It's funny to win there. Oh, nice. Yeah, missed that. Oh, by a lot. Oh yeah, so that's GG. Yeah. P3 gunships will just kill them if Nuggets doesn't, but Nuggets will anyway. <laughs> Nuggets full HP. I mean, Nox full HP, but... Doesn't really matter. I think that uh, tag of this death was a bit too much for uh, them to handle. Knock had to two base. Yeah. Yeah, and Natron goes down. Knock soon to follow. Look at that RV from uh, all the blazes. What were they doing that well, far forward? I'm a bit confused now. Yeah, maybe stopping there. reinforcements. But yeah, it doesn't seem very smart. Oh yeah, T2 Actually, gunships. the AI is really annoying now because Nox reinforcements cannot really get to him. Yeah, and on the other side as well. Just raiding him. Yeah. AI is building a fat boy. It's a shame Oof. we didn't get to see that play out. If you look at the eco, the AI is on 280 mass, which is like, more, I think, as much yeah. as all the players combined. Though, does that include the multiplier? Yeah, that includes the multiplier. So that might have some yeah, yeah that makes sense as to why it is yeah slowly dying to t3 gunships and nuggets very sad <laughs> farms being toxic the, the bm from farms very nice natron says okay meanwhile the ai begins its stratting slightly too late but can see some of that epic strat micro. Never mind, it's just gonna normal strat. And the game freezes. 
I guess everyone oh. left. I guess that's it. So first game goes to farms of this team. Or what's their uh what's their fancy name? The I'm clown going. car. The team. clown car. That's such a yop your clan team name. Yes. Okay, I guess we go to the next game then. I think uh this next game will be very different if uh Tegida manages to live. Same with Ferbs though. We saw both the good players. Yeah, they the just fast both... players rather. Down. Yeah, they just suicided. Yeah. Don't quite understand the thought process there, but who knows? It was Tegida trying to lure Ferbs into a false sense of security for the next games. <laughs> of course. I could show bracket for the viewers who would like to see. Got it. So that's one game for um, Clown Car. Got potentially two more games in this series. Looks like no results for uh, Loser's Bracket so far. So, uh, Has there back. even been a single Loser? Let me check if there was. I could just skip through one of the Loser's Bracket games. Nice. If it's all. I guess if it's not finished, there's no point because live replays don't really work right now. Looks like it's just still going. Same map. Yeah, and just, they're still going. Just waiting on the host for the next one. Not seeing it yet. No, wait, I do see. Oh, did have they? They might not have left yet. The fuck that. Ah, oh, there we go. There's the next host. Nah. I kind of remember that map. Oh, this is the map I uh, sandboxed. This map is uh, interesting. It's it's very uh, dual gappy. Like the mechs are all like just a grid. If it's the yeah. same one, let me. But I guess Navy can Navy win the game here? Is it just mostly about Navy then, or? What's the win condition? Uh, sorry, one sec. Let's go do getting Discord pings. Sorry, what did you say? Point. Uh, is it mostly about Navy or what's the win condition on that map? I was playing quite a low-rated game, so it might be different than what I ended up with. But uh, like I think air first of all is very important, Formed. but I think at a higher rating, less important because all players will have a pretty good timing. Because if you, Group you can just like one strat kill so many mexes. Because they're all grid, yeah. they're like all in a grid. Um, also, like the mid is super contestable. I believe there's a good amount of reclaim there. So that's that's quite huge. Group and if formed. you look, I don't know, will those mexes spawn? I don't think those mexes will spawn. So. Uh, I don't think so because it's adaptive. But still, even the expansion mexes around the, um, the center are quite vital. But I do think Navy will play a big role. Yeah. And if it's like the the last games I played on this, the AI shouldn't do very much other than just harass the uh, bottom player a little bit. I don't think the AIs will make Navy. But yeah, I think the play is a drop to middle immediately. And then a few people. Yeah, there looks to up. be a lot of reclaim over there. Yes, I do remember. There being quite a bit. <clears throat> I think, uh, yeah, Tagada will probably walk mid pretty soon. And then, so will FTX. And then. Good fight there. Probably two players should go mid. That's my guess. Yeah. I keep timing out to Tagada. That's horrible. Is Tagada hosting? Oh, yeah. That's unfortunate. Still not working? It just... Like, I've joined the lobby multiple times. 
and works for a while. I'm gonna just oh. restart my client and check if the force relay connection is enabled, but I thought it was. Now, uh, they're being very nitpicky about rolling rules. <laughs> because of Farns is salty from the last one. I think. Or the other way around. I don't really know what's happening with the lobby drama at this point. Seems to be a little bit of uh, tension here. Any luck joining? I'm just checking my settings right now. Okay. You <laughs> see, talk another victory for us. Poor knock. Oh, I can do bets. Uh, probably somebody else should do bets. Because I have the delay. Somebody watching the stream. But if there's a mod who yeah, wants to do it. mods, please. Might not have any mods in chat right now, but... There is one. Somebody can do it. I think FTX and Knock are, but they're in-game, so... It seems like the option disappeared from the client. I'm a bit confused. Let's give it another shot. Because last game it was fine. Do you go to settings, force relay connection under Forged Alliance Forever? That might help. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the most. Yeah, it's, it's enabled. So it's M20 Fear Girl? No, it was M20 Maldwin. It was M20. No, just some random. Thank you for whoever made the bet. Oh, am I allowed to bet? I am, right? Ooh, I should bet as well. I think uh, Tegan's team is going to come back here. I can have my whole 1300 channel points. Let's see. Yeah, I just time out to tag it. Out. It's still happening? Yeah. Oh. Did it reconnect now? That's problematic. Did you do relay connection? Was relay connection? Yeah, yeah, it's forced. And I have the in the past. And um try maybe without it. I mean you can try without it, but it I had issues that it wouldn't work at all. Huh. You no know, for a time it would I would time out to everyone if I had, didn't force it. That's a problem. Yeah. Maybe you can change the server that it's doing it from. I can try a different one. That only the German server seemed to be reliable for me back then. Yeah, I think it's the only one that actually works. At least last yeah. I heard. Yeah, I guess you could try a different code term, but not sure. Actually, my experience is with timing out. As soon as the game launches, you're fine. It doesn't happen. Mm. But I could be wrong on that. Yep, there we go. Yep. That's unfortunate. Worst case, I could stream to Discord for you. If we really can't figure it out, but that's kind of... kind of scuffed. Unless you have another idea. No, not really. I'm gonna try the IP version 6 connection as well, because I think I only have IP version 6. Hmm. They all provides ip4 support and great time for connection issues Europe. yeah
do you want to see if we just start it and if you have issues yeah then if i drop out Actually, it's surprisingly stable now. That's good. <laughs> I didn't drop out yet, so maybe it was actually that option. Nope. No. Nope. Talk too soon. Talk too soon. So, should we just go? Here, I will Yeah, I provide guess. quality Discord streaming to you. Very sad. It's so weird because I'm still connected to everyone else. Only I drop a like I still r can read what other people write, but only not like Tagada is literally the only one I lose connection to. That's strange. Nah, Nock is creating bets on his own game. Very responsible. <laughs> I mean, I swear, like, because I have this issue once in a while, too. Like, off and on. Where I'll just disconnect mm -hmm. to one person. Um, but, um, whenever I join, I can just join, and if the game launches, I'm fine. Because, like you said, you have connection to everyone else, but... Not yeah. sure. Not sure what's up with that. <laughs> now knock is BMing as well. BM from all sides. Is the Discord stream decent enough to be at all usual? Check. Oh, hold on, I just went, um... Oh no, a Bennis co-cast would be kind of scary for me. <laughs> yeah, it's good enough. Let's hope it's... Because Discord often switches to super low quality. So sometimes let's hope it doesn't. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't affect the uh, bitrate of the normal stream. Oh, yeah. But yeah, um, next game maybe we can see if somebody else can host. Then maybe you won't have issues, possibly. Yeah. Let me say that real quick. Switching positions, maybe? Oh, yeah, the rear. So, yeah, it seems like they're actually doing a little bit of planning. Likely just now, but something. What is sensor? Ah. Still waiting on the game to launch. Very nice. Seems like they're ready now, though. Nock is telling them to X as he is not X'd. Oh, fear call. Just message me what they are. What, what uh, are... we're, we're arguing about captains can pick any side or color. Ah. Uh... No, oh, so he's arguing with Fear Girl and uh, DMs. 
Uh, I'm not sure. I see. I think Figol just wanted to <laughs> explain to us what they are arguing about. I, I see. I should probably. I'm not quite aware. Have the Kirk channel open. Or no, he's saying this DM stuck. So do it at least. <sighs> How long has we, have we been streaming? Uh, an hour, and we've had one game. It's quality. That's actually quality pretty fast. good. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yes, lobby sim is a key aspect of this game. <sighs> so it's basically just who gets. Like, which player gets put on which slot. Yeah. Yeah, map name is here. Let me... one sec. Sorry, full screen means it always does this when I tab out. Kind of annoying, but... Oh, you don't have fake full screen? No, because I normally play windowed, so I never have to bother with any of that. Uh... Because, uh, it, like, I run it on, uh, was it, I forgot what I'm, I also, I also have Linux on my laptop and I managed to have the, is it running in Wine or what are you using? Yeah, it's Proton, uh, which is Oh, in Proton, yeah. Uh, uh, but Proton itself you can put into, uh, like, a fake full screen mode. Huh. Yeah, I've never uh, messed with it. I never really had a need for it. I always was happy yeah. with Windowed. Because I don't, uh, I don't do the whole... Because I have multiple monitors on both sides, so I don't want to pan. Hmm. Sorry about the printer. <laughs> oh, you can't even hear it on the stream. That's good. Yes, game has started at last. Sorry for your absence, Harzer. Let me know if I can I do anything to survive. make it a little more. Yes. It's too much pressure on me to see everything now. Awful. Okay, let's see. Yeah, see, so the Bexes are all grid-like. Very dual gabby. Oh, so, hang on, which is Fek? Is Farms? No, he's uh, UEF. I was kind of hoping for him to be, uh, what is it called, Sarah? And just build some random North pairs. Ah, yes, that would be nice. There's no Sarahs, though. Just Aeon and UEF. Which I saw a lot of yesterday as well. Interesting. In UD's game, so that was what I was seeing a lot of. No 2 mex adjacency from Tagata? No 2 mex adjacency from anyone! Is there a way to? I think you can. Doing the important stuff here. No, actually, I guess you can't. Sad. Okay, I take it back. The two hydro adjacency and the air factor is nice though. That's nice. Oh, you can get so fast. I think you. How much we have also enough reclaim. We can get go incredibly aggressive T three on this map. Yeah, like T three Arif. Yeah, yeah, like have the you know minute nine strat bomber out or something that's, like that. That's that's the bo I sandboxed right before yeah, the games. Yeah. I had like I forget oh, what timing I, I got. But I had some crazy fast T3 air, because I saw my enemy team had been doing the same thing, sandboxing a super yeah. quick air, so... Scoreboard's like kind my of idea would things. be to just build, you know, the air fact, build like one scout or something, and just passively upgrade it to T2. Yeah. T2. yeah. I just had eco and air upgrade, and it was perfect. But yeah, sadly, uh, having a very low-rated player kind of messed us up on that game because his opponent just made a monkey lord and there was nothing we could do. <laughs> mm. Very sad. But yeah, it seems like not no transport rush. Maybe it's just a bit early. I would think that they would be going. Oh yeah, here we go. Uh, Nock is making fast transport, presumably to get all this mid reclaim, of which there is a lot. Nice. Oh, it is an Imbalance. map, yeah. Imbalanced. I see what part was I talking about now. <laughs> yes, Kane, it is the possible. A or the A or the Z? Which letter would you prefer? Closer to Hold you. Hold on, I gotta count. 
<laughs> I'm not gonna count. <laughs> wait, wait, I can. Uh, you look at this half, you get. Gotta position it perfectly. Get about 1k. It's half. About, it's about even. It's about even. Okay, two transports out. Okay, this Farves' position is completely covered by the scoreboard. I'm sorry. But his, uh, his transport's slightly delayed, so. Left team will get mid much faster. Except for right team has inties. I see. No bombers at all? It's a bit weird. Oh, there's one by uh, uh, FTX. FTX, so yes. It's just left bit, the base. A bit yeah. late, but I think the inties are going to do some good work here. I mean, they can't get both. Or either, I guess. They will not even kill one, yeah. That could be very bad for... Uh, right team if they don't manage to get make use of the bomber which i mean he's already spread it a bit not, yeah but not the bomber it. won't do crippling damage yeah it's yeah. just too late the damage is done who am i Wait, why is that there yeah kane says this map looks like dual gap that's what i was saying earlier it's very uh dual gap like it's a little more dynamic with all the Mexes everywhere, the plateaus are rather like weird island things, but the AIs are almost all going for gun. That is not something I was expecting. That should be interesting. Bomber hits, doesn't kill anything, gets shot down immediately. Dead. Very sad for a uh, right team. Honestly, this is horrible for right team. I mean, they have one drop, but it's about to get hit by tanks. It's yeah, very behind. They will, they will take out most of the build power. Well, there's only one tank right now, so it might not do much, but there's so much coming in for them, so that... Yeah. I mean, there's air win for right team, but there's just so much down already, I don't think it'll make too much difference. I wonder if it'll hold till Maver stage. I hope not. <laughs> yeah, now there's oh, I a... think left team, oh. they have such a land advantage. They can just... Yeah, I think they can just think about going all in on the grunt, because the choke on this on the right is so wide. It's not yeah not pluggable by a single firebase. Yeah, and I mean, FTX or Farbs will have his calm up, which they won't have a calm, but uh, that actually could be significant. That might make up for the yeah. land loss, but in the end, they'll have an advantage because they don't have to. They've been able to use their comms in base. Ecoing, yeah, seems like standard play. Looks like uh, Natron's going for the T3 Irish. Not Nuggets is not doing the same yet. Could be an issue. Nuggets has oh Nuggets has only one T3 T2 Max versus the only oh, the four now of Natron. That's a problem. Nuggets looks to be way behind Natron. Massive. Thing. Actually, I is think he? the mainstream is lagging. It. Mainstream is lagging? Let me. Yeah, like Discord stream is lagging quite hard, and I think the mainstream is also suffering a bit. Ah, uh, I have settings cranked super high. That's a problem. Yeah, because maybe it's a bit too much for your computer. Let's see if that solves anything? That should look a little worse for you, but. It could be yeah. not an issue for mainstream. I don't see anything, uh, nobody's saying anything yet, so if somebody says something, I can figure it out. Yeah, it's it's not unwatchable. It's not unwatchable for you? Uh, this, like, for me, this is this is fine. I can live with oh, yeah. slideshow footage. Sorry. <laughs> but the, the mainstream yeah. should not get the slideshow, yeah. Yeah. But it's, yeah, it's just lagging a bit. Not crazy. The game's yeah. a little slow as well, but... Yeah, I mean, I think that having the cob here is going to do a lot for Farbs. Yeah, it just prevents them from... That com is so instrumental, because otherwise they would have just absolutely overrun everything. I'm a bit yeah. disappointed that they didn't grab Amexis at all. Yeah, and there's still so much so recoil right Maxis. here. They had so much time. Yeah. And, like, the bobberies killed almost all of Taggart's build power over here, which is not yeah. really fun. 
AIs have almost. Farms has to be careful. Like this is looking. I mean, he has almost as many tanks. And a calm. I don't see how he's in danger yeah. here. And I mean, he has bombers that are getting free damage. I think he's fine. Okay. He has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten land factories versus a little more for both of the enemy, but not by much. Tagging his calm will be up there soon, which will be dangerous. T3 air started for Natron. No T3 air started for any of the, this team, right team? T2 air started for right team, though. I mean, I think if they just get, if Natron just gets really fast T3 air and strats all the mexes, it could just make all of this meaningless. Okay, Farms is, you're right, Farms is way too forward, I think. Oh, and there's T2 transport with Tagata. Oh, that's really bad for Farms. Oh, he should go further. I mean, I'm not sh I mean, he doesn't want to draw. Yeah, yeah that's, that's I, I could see Farms doing that. But still, now Farms is locked out and forced to the water, which could be quite bad for him. Oh, actually, I think he committed too fast. He needed the calm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, now it's just waste. Yeah. I mean, Tag a will win the reclaim fields. Hopefully. I mean, that's a lot of tanks. Uh, no. Both players oh, don't have gun. Yeah. yeah, if he had dropped in with gun, that would have been amazing. Being suggested that he rush Atlantis, which seems uh, quite uh, ill-advised. <laughs> Which lie. team was to fix Atlantis again? I forgot the name. Sorry. Um. Sorry, what did you say? There was one team called Fix Atlantis. Oh yeah, that was uh, Resi. Oh yeah. Don't know quite the origin of that. Tagger could be dead. Tagger is dead. Is he? I mean, you get. No, he gets to water. He could have been yeah. dead though. I think there is real potential to have him dead right there. T3 air is up from left team. No T3 air to counter it though. That's a huge. What were they? Yeah. Like, what is Nuggets doing? Nuggets is capping his mexes before he has full T2. Nature by 20, yeah. like. T3 Start the time, uh, minute 10 pigeon timing is instrumental. Yeah. If he gets a strat out, if he has good intel here and knows that there's no T3 to counter, like, there's nothing they can do. They can't even make a Sam. Yeah. I mean, yeah, this is interesting, but so much. They could kill farms here with air stuff. There's just so much. Actually, they have early air win and late air win. They have Swifties. There's no Inties for. Yeah, I don't know what. Farms is doing here, but he's a hundred percent dead. Tagada might die as well, but that's fine. Gunships should move over and try to do damage on FTX. So. Yeah, I mean the gunships will die with the pop. Maybe they should go back. Yeah, they should definitely go back. Also, the air, everything should go back. Maybe they both live? No. It's gonna draw. Actually, maybe Vet from Tagata with the glitch with the Vet. No. Yeah. Okay, draw. That's... Could be worse. FTX is in danger as well. Players drop out. Actually, FTX oh, is in a lot of danger. On him. Yeah. But there must be some mobile A, right? Farms wasn't no, totally asleep when he I got sniped. I don't see any mobile A. Yeah, nothing. that's disappointing. Yeah, that's a disappointing. Two point five k player. Yeah, that's that's bad for. And I mean, the strat's gonna be out soon. I'm sure. Yeah, strat's halfway done. There's no T three air yet. T three air is less than halfway done. What are they doing? So not only is FTX basically dead now. There's like, there's no way to stop the strat. Can't even build a Sam. It's completely screwed. 
Yeah, he's not even trying to build a T3 area, that's right. Yeah. There's also no shield for all the pigeons. So. Yeah. Or the mechs. I mean, look at how much value you could get. Let's see. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, FTX is kind of dead here, I think. But the strat... Look. It's what, six mechs oh my with caps? God. That I, I think it'll just reach. But yeah. that's... that's uh, It's going to be devastating if it works. I mean, the AIs are starting to do something with MMLs, but barely. Like I said, they're just going to sit back and let them fight. Strat is going to kill FTX. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, I guess. But the Strat dies. Kind of wasted oh, the Strat. That's, that's a waste. Probably. But, but on the other hand... Actually, nuggets, yeah, they wouldn't have killed Nuggets him. is too strong in this scenario. Yeah, Nuggets is now stuck with barely T3 air. Just uh, no yeah. PGen. And one player versus two. He had a T3 gunship out while already having ASF. He's just kind of screwed. I would already have started another strat though, right? Yeah, that doesn't seem like he's quite aware how ahead on AF there is. Yeah, that's sad. Yeah. Though I mean the T3 gunships plus the T2 gunships will just kill everything. Though, at this point, no, you, you, just yeah, too you, much mobile AA. you kind of should stop fighting this area and just go kill like all these, all these. Yeah. You can do so much with the gunships, you just need to not put them right with all the AAs. I cannot see his team score for some reason. A bit odd. Gonna have a nice fire base. Actually, that's good. He's gonna get a foothold here, so he's not completely, uh, left there. AI is gonna start damaging the torps. Very nice. Just trying. The AI is starting to get a bit dangerous. Yeah. Because the AI. Eco wise and so on. You know, if it gets if it gets T2 Navy out and spams cruisers. Yeah. To be fair, right now. Very big annoyance. Yeah, right now. These gunships could just go kill the AI, but don't think yeah. that's a very good idea. No, I think I think it's a waste, but there's definitely like an incentive to finish the game yeah. soon before the AI becomes like the dominant yeah. force on the map. Also, this is a problem. You, he's letting him get the T3 air advantage was just completely ignored. Yeah. And now there's two bases with T3 air, so pretty soon he'll be behind. And I don't know what all these torps are for, but they're a huge waste. Also, okay, uh, Natrum got some underwater mechs. This is what I noticed on some other maps with the AI. They just, you know, yeah. conceded all the underwater mechs to the AI. Most of the most yeah. of the underwater mechs are AI, but each yeah. player has like two. Though I I can't see income. It looks like uh, Nuggets is way ahead though. Well, yeah, yeah I mean, quite ahead. Base, yeah, yeah, of both of them combined. I mean, oh yeah, yeah. So eco wise, they're. I think they needed to abuse their air advantage. I think they've thrown this game by not abusing their air advantage. Very sad. He is trying to ground fire T one subs. <laughs> That's such a waste of APM why. Yeah, and your three gunships. You're two v one. Don't give up the action. The extra APM. Yeah, I'm a BRB. Okay. Looks like. Yeah, he has Nuggets is way ahead of Eco. He's gonna scale air so much faster. So he has two bases making air. He's crushing mid. By all accounts, this should be lost for him, but it just wasn't wasn't exploited. This ACU is nano and gun, so that could uh, have some impact. Somebody says AI didn't do anything in this game. I think that uh, we're gonna see the AI start to do something pretty soon between like Fat Boy, got Rambo ACUs. Once T2 Navy comes out, are they planning? No, they're not planning T2 Navy. Could really start to have an impact. Air is behind for. Yeah, I don't like this. Nuggets has air now. Knock is still T2. 
Yeah, this looks bad. They're still making gunships and stuff while being behind air. By the way, I think a valid option is to just build a bunch of strats and kill nuggets as they see you. It's kind of a bad way to win, but... I mean, he rushed T3 air and then didn't do anything with it. Like, the, this game should be won. Nuggets would have to have really bad air micro to not have air right here. Oh, this is so bad. Natrod is just throwing the game by not doing anything with air. He killed FTX, but it was such a waste. He could have killed all the yeah. eco. Honestly, just consolidated all of the stuff into air. And now they... Nuggets could just only do air and win. Because they have nothing in the middle. That's such a shame. How and they're... Yeah, dead? look at that. Yeah, he's losing all his gunships. Yeah, that's... That's so bad. Yeah, time to quit, I think. I mean, you could always wait out and see if the AI does anything. What? Look! All T1 mexes! Oh my god. Compared to... Uh, I can't jump. Um, was that Tagada's old base? Yeah. I think, yeah, that was Tagada's old there's base. There's two yeah, I mean, T3. He was full invested into the ground, but there's yeah. Two T3 mexes for. Yeah, this is over. Even before. Like, sure, Strat could have stopped all the eco, but he wasted it. Uh, I was so sure that game was over when the yeah. Strat was out, but. But he suicided it in to kill FTX for no reason. Yeah. I mean, in theory, I, I don't know if... I doubt it's true. I think FTX is probably the better player, but in theory, he killed an 1800 for 2k to get the base. If we're going entirely yeah. on global points, which we really shouldn't, but... T3 land out, but T3 land is also out for nuggets, and he has more of it, so... Not going to be very useful. At this point, why are you even playing? Strat suicides into a Sam, it looks like. I mean, this, uh, like, Tagada's team will lose the series when they drop here out here, so... Yeah. I think you can still bet on the on the AI, maybe. I mean, yeah, that's the true. AI, it has, like, close to 600 yeah. mass per second income combined. Yeah, they have huge income. They're building a chicken. Like, they will be building nukes soon. But these ones, these ones aren't doing anything. The ones that would actually oh. impact the game. The only ones building experimentals are the ones that are fighting the team that's already losing. Air fight, but, I mean, the natural outcome of that. I mean, it's fairly even, actually, but... A lot of these are anties. But, still, not... Not good enough. They're trying to regain some eco, but I don't think they're nearly... Close enough. They're down over 100 EK. Yeah. Like, only good news is that Nuggets will probably not be able to efficiently abuse the air advantage. Like, let's I mean... see if he suicides, suicides oh. the gunships. Oh, I... he has Omni. That's so good. What is up with my like score? Having or... Omni in a 1v3 scenario and that. Uh, 1v2 scenario in that position. Yeah. A very, very strong decision. Yeah, he's he's got Omni. He's got way more air. Way more production. Four or five broadswords. A strat. Six broadswords and a strat. Like, there's nothing you can do here. I mean, he has to cover the strat. But even now, maybe he loses the strat, but he also just could kill all the air again. Oh, look at that. Didn't get the six, but still. What is he doing? He just killed zero of those ASF? any of those get out it's gonna be such a stupid okay he should have done better with that but whatever he's far enough ahead it doesn't really matter chicken started for the other ai nuke started like you said that could play yeah. a role but there's an smd out for is nuggets there, already is there sans with the forward proxy of knock um one be able? not gonna be enough builds mobile anti-air yeah. but also not gonna be enough yeah, there's no way they come back from this. Look at all those gunships. 
He's building Swifties still. Why is he building Swifties? He he's versus two air players essentially, two decent sized grids at T three, and he's building Swifties and letting his other player build the T three. Kills a support factory, not the HQ. Very uh, questionable. Yeah, he's suiciding Asa, but it's not doing anything. Nah. Forgot about that. Yeah, now he has to build PD. Got no eco here. Yeah, this is over. At least it looks very bad. Yeah. Where's where's his com? Uh, Nuggets' his com is in his base, right next to a shield. I don't see how he could die. I mean, I was saying before, yeah. like they could make a bunch of strats and try to win that way by just going around the AI. But even then, he's got a T3 shield right next to him. If they had either Cybron or Sarah, they could Telemaze. I think they have enough uh, energy to. Yeah, unfortunately. You know, get, like teleporter, but not gonna happen. Yeah, wrong factions. Yep. Would be funny to get a TML base right here or something, but I doubt that'll happen. But who knows? Maybe like the AI will walk a chicken up and kill him. Yeah, I think Nuke is nearly finished. Yeah, Nuke is about done, I'm... but that's a problem. It's a half-built SMD, so. Oh, probably yeah, won't. won't be able to nuke it. Yeah. Unless, Unless there's, the other one yeah. fires as well. Yeah. Unless, well, there's only one nuke. And the other AIs don't have any nukes planned, but they have a half ton chicken. So. It's almost as bad. Well, probably more bad. Worse, rather. Uh, continually taking AI bad air chicken. fights. No reason to do that. It's Just so build some Sams yeah. and def fight over Sams if you can. A big waste. Not quits as he should. <laughs> and, uh, I wonder what's going on and <laughs> yeah. what Nock is saying in the PC. Nock is probably quite mad considering uh, he's had to play two bases two games in a row. Yeah. But. Yeah, it's also. Depressing to lose as FTX BMs you in chat after every game. No, that was a very two-sided BMing. I was surprised that they, you know, this got so so heated. Yeah, like they're really committed to this tournament. Yeah, I mean, it seems like some unfortunate play from Tagada's team though. Such an easy win. They had played it correctly. I, I don't know how they got away with uh, Nuggets not having T3 air in time. Yeah, uh, it's very but sad. Well played to Nuggets. I mean, it yeah, was a giant mistake in the opening, but they didn't lose yeah. it. He got and through it. He just he didn't. Like, he just held. Yeah. Yeah, respectable. But yeah, that's the series. Oh, I, was, I remember Fear Goal was saying how he was so excited for the third map of this series. It's very sad. No third map for him. Let's check the bracket. We got win there. Looks like we're 1 0 in both seasons. Or in both, uh, what are they called? These things. Rounds. So. I think he's been going. I cannot see. Why can I not see? 22 minutes in on one of the losers around games. What are your thoughts? Should we wait? No, I think we should cast like a whole series. Okay, sounds good. Then I let's... think we can, we can make that in time before... You know, the chance that both teams finish simultaneously. It's okay. Very soon. Let's watch uh, Gripplex know. versus uh, Bully. Yeah, let's do that. That sounds like a fun series. Starts on this map, same map. And goes for quite a while. Oh, this goes for a long while. <laughs>
No, I guess we gotta sync replays. Yeah, it's gonna be difficult again. Oh, you can stop the Discord stream. Well, I'll keep it up so you can. Unless uh, you wanna. Oh, okay, so timing. I can sync via that, yeah. That's good. I can have it on the second yep. monitor. I should put Twitch chat back up. Okay. Pause. Let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. Wait, why do I not see game time? Hello? By scoreboard missed? Oh, there we go. Okay. So, um, let's do maybe plus two. Okay. Alright. I'm starting. So, yeah, we got Grimplex, Captain, versus Bully, who's the Captain. And then Low and Crystal. I don't really know Crystal, but Low, very old 1v1 player. Um, and you got F. Odin and the Wreck on. Complexes team. I believe F. Odin is subbing. I don't remember who he's subbing for. Is he subbing? Oh, yeah, but basically Grimplex lost both of his players when the oh. tournament started. Who? I thought Wreck was on his team. Who? Oh, maybe Wreck was on his team? I don't I know. I feel like I don't remember seeing F. Odin on his team, but either way. Yeah. This is a good team. If, uh... Chloe actually plays 2100. I don't really know. I haven't seen much play from them. Was Chloe on the team originally? I don't know. Yeah, he used to be named Crystal. Ah, uh, okay. I don't know much about him, but... I have seen him in a few games. Seems like pretty similar openings to the last game. No, like, aggressive air. But yeah, like you said, lots of P-Gens for the reclaim. Same AIs. It's, I wonder if they'll do anything different. It's a nice lab. I mean, it can't really do much because the ACU is right here, but it can go up and kill all these. Oh, it can annoy. Yeah. So just run around and kill reclaiming NGs everywhere. Ooh, if it gets back to the Hydro, that would be quite nice. Oh, imagine, yeah. It might actually. Why is the Hydro not building? Yeah, he delayed it enough that if it gets back there, it might actually be quite significant. There's nothing to deal with it. I would have gone all the way up here, though. Why <laughs> he's dodging for no reason. Kills reclaim NGs. You know. I suppose it's something. Yeah, that's... <laughs> that reclaims his friend. <laughs> Could have stopped the Hydra, though. Rack has to walk his ACU. Actually, that's decent. Bully sending yeah. Vast to his team. Interesting. Don't see anything really interesting for the AIs other than this one walking, uh, walking south. Walking to the front. Yes. Yeah, I guess we know what the AI is doing, right? It's just yeah. gonna walk ACU middle. Quite similar to and before. Punish anyone that overextends. Yeah. Yeah, seems pretty similar to the last game, actually. I mean, a little less, uh, I feel like Noct did a little more T1 spam that is happening here. Uh, yeah, uh, what is this? F Odin is going earlier, Mex, I think. Uh, what is, yeah, okay, he's upgrading Mex. I was just wondering where is all of his mass going? Yeah. He's got, like, one land factory. Honestly, it seems smarter since, uh, um, Noct had the issue where he, he had so much T1, but it was stopped by the AI. If he just yeah. egos, there's nothing really to kill. I feel like turtling up could be very effective on this map. Because if you're the one being aggressive, you're the one who gets hurt by the AI. Which, based off what I saw in the replay, <laughs> might be a possible outcome of this. Yeah. Uh... Many T2 mexes. Already four T2 there. Far ahead of Bully. Bully going gun. Wreck doing the uh, FTX plan. Using his ACU against the AI, as is a uh, crystal. FTX is setting the trend for everyone. 
Mr. Rat is being bullied by all of the uh, T1 RDs from the... Uh... Which is perfectly microed away yeah. from the AC. That's so annoying. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> M27 is like the most annoying. <laughs> oh, there you go. That's so good. By far, like, look at it, yeah. Attack move. Oh, no, it's manually attacking as well. Yeah, yeah, it's... Uh... Oh, that... oh, that's so good. Oh, that's beautiful. Yes, it's the games are whoever lives longest. So if the AI is still alive, that counts as a win. Or even if the AI is still alive and the other team is dead, you win. The team who's alive. Gun coming out from Zlow. Versus... Who's this? Greenplex with no gun. Zlow also has more units, but he has no eco. Yeah, Zlow has no mexes. Yeah, I mean Zlow could just walk past... Yeah, especially because I mean, uh, the AI has their ACU still in base, so there's nothing really stopping true. Zlo and Grimplex. Zlo needs to go in now, though, like much yeah, faster yeah. than he is. He so, just needs to right click the base. Yeah, if he doesn't, he's gonna throw. And hope he doesn't get air sniped. Yeah, he's so far ahead in unit count, and if he could get there before the gun finishes, he's gets an easy win, but. As soon as that gun's- he's stopping! No! Don't stop. Keep walking. The gun's gonna Same get done. Same South, they have way- like, South they already had- No, they have a double, had a double gun. gun! for a while. I guess he's going for the- for some reason for the AI, I'm not convinced. Oh, that's so sad. Slow made no yeah. eco and is not abusing it in the slightest. Like, they must, like, he's scout. They they know how much T2 Max is. Yeah. So he's ahead on land. And now he... Like, there's still pissed. a small window. Yeah, but now Grimplex can make T2 land and just fall back. Make T2 PD. Oh, that's so sad. I mean, maybe Grimplex yeah. dies. But, I'm not sure. Yeah, it depends if Slow messes up his own ACU pathfinding. I mean, it's low. He's pretty good at this kind of stuff, but... Yeah. Oh, but Grimplex is gonna come okay. in. And... Grimplex yeah, is also they... pretty good at this stuff, and... Yeah. yeah, he got out and also top team one air. Like yeah. Good. Well, no. It's a bit confusing. Bully has AS... or, uh, lots of ATs. Yeah. Yeah, Wreck oh, has Wreck gone. Is also there yeah. to support, yeah. Zlow made a big mistake there. That was bad. Could have just come in and kill every killed everything. And now he gives up the reclaim field. Gives even more to the reclaim field. That's quite awful. I mean, they're pushing the AI down here. Maybe try to get all the reclaim here, but I don't know if it's worth it. Yeah, and also Foden is abusing this. Yeah. Well, he's not Foden abusing is it as much as he should. Having like a tiny army. He should be moving in more. He has black. He has it's soon to have Ilshis, He could just walk in. No, there'll be T T P D here. Stop it soon. Yeah, I like this though. I'm interested to see how this uh, push at the bottom goes. If it's actually gonna be worth it, yeah. yeah oh, but... look at the clumped tanks. They could be yeah. So they're gonna go... overcharges. You, oh, you had 11 yeah. minutes. I think I'm a couple seconds behind, but yeah. I just got to 11:05. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, AI is not really building PD. So there's potential for a kill here. He's gonna get blocked by his own units, though. And they're both getting vet. Lots of vet, so. Pretty good spot for the AI to be in. Or for the. Um. This team to be in. Self team. Meanwhile, nothing very interesting is happening top. Though Grimplex is way ahead on Eco versus low. T3 Ares, P Gen started versus P Gen about to start, so pretty even. Yeah, and it looks like bottom team secures the AI base pretty thoroughly. Doesn't get the kill, but. Not yeah, much I mean, the, the AI nearly killed itself because it was standing next to T2 P Gen and 2 E storages. Oh, I didn't even see that. Lost so much HP here. Yeah. Fortunate. It seems like uh. It seems like Foden is getting a bit more bold. 
Yeah, as he should, honestly. Like, uh, I guess there's a lot of T2PD here now, but... I could probably push that. What do you think? I'm not quite sure. Yeah, this looks like... This, is it? Yes, it is. She's this... He has to do it though. Oh, if he cuts off, if he cuts off fully in crystal, there's gonna be problems. Is he able to cut them off? Looks like, like it. Two highly vetted gun comms. I mean, actually, yeah, they are full HP. Com, okay, yeah. you're actually right. I didn't even realize that. They have so much HP. Yeah. I he mean, might he not can realize just that. Stay around and maybe kill some reinforcements and stuff, but you cannot really take them on. Yeah. No, I mean, the, the other team is doing the exact same thing to their AI. Might be too late if the AI can get down T2PD. But I don't know if the AI actually wants to. ASF are out, so the AI's air won't do anything. Yeah. But that also means that now their ASF are being committed to fighting the AI and not the enemy player. Where is the PD? That is the question. On both sides, really. Also, Seems the whole like it's vet... not really capable of PDing up. Yeah. The vet issue is huge. These guys both are gonna have five vets soon. AI ACU though is gonna attack. Uh... Actually, he's not gonna do anything. He's gonna sit here and do nothing. Or he'll attack slow. Looks like income is higher for red team. Which is interesting considering they've been getting reclaimed down here. I mean red team equaled a lot more early on. True, true, I forgot about that. They just yeah. Just Blue played the slower game. Blue team has a decent eco advantage or reclaim advantage, so obviously. Yeah. This whole base down here. Is F Odin gonna try to like push down this way? Seems like a big mistake considering he is one vet versus two five vet comms. That's some nice regen. Double the regen on both those comms. Yeah. But now Grimplex and uh Rack get the same vet boost and reclaim. Which combined with Plex, um, Rack was so much quicker with finishing the base. Yeah. Also because the AI ACU is outside of the base. Yeah, exactly. In the air, get they have air them. here to help them. This AI is about to finally die. Yeah, they're still dealing with the AI. Whereas Grimplex and Rack have just already secured it. Yeah, this is looking kind of bad for a uh, bottom team. They wanted to go lake. They made it go lake it, but they don't have the the eco for it, and they failed to get this fast enough. The bottom bottom True. expansion. Suppose we will see. Yeah, AI, AI com popped. Other AI is gonna fight the same team. So that's fun for them. Sniper is out from F Odin. Yeah, is there anything gonna be able Okay, uh Floy has T3 land. But he'll need its C V F yeah. versus uh Sarah on T3, so you need to build yeah. artillery and micro that around. It doesn't look very promising for a bottom team. Honestly. Got some like T3 Max from what's his face? F Odin and I mean Crystal has one, but the eco. Uh, how's the air production looking? Uh, two pigeons. I mean it's about even. Yeah. Well, no, yeah, yeah. The bully had even. a slight production advantage. I don't know why everyone seems to be going second pigeon before second factory. Yeah, they don't play enough sentence. Very sad. Uh, he's gonna lose all these mongies for nothing. That's so yeah. sad. Ow! They all live on 140 HP. Very okay, nice. I'm a bit 
It says GG to the AI. <laughs> Uh, air numbers. Let's see. Oh, I select like every player. Slow looks in a bit of a problematic situation, maybe. Yeah, there's a lot of Ilshis coming. Yeah, that doesn't. And he look only good. has Mongoose. And he has slightly more air to back him up, but not enough to yeah. be a definitive. Player. Seems to be manually overcharging. I mean, there's you know the air player can support him with so much energy. I think he's actually fine. Yeah. It's not, there's only, oh, actually, those are a lot of Ilshis. I didn't see how, quite how many those are. Yeah, but he can just over, like, with manual overcharge, you can... Yeah. Can oh, and he's 4 bet. He's almost 5 bet. There's nothing that yeah. can kill him here. Yeah, he's about to get a huge bet, and then he's, he's safe. One more RC. Yeah, there you go. Now he has two, 20k HP. The snipers will be a problem, though. Snipers could just come in and murder him. Nothing he can do. Yeah. He has to build T2 already. That turned out to be a pretty big machination. As Lois immediately <laughs> got the Sparky on manual reclaim. F Odin making T3 mobile already instead of snipers. Don't quite understand why, but I suppose works. Yeah. I would want to abuse snipers. Is this a UEF opponent? Yeah, especially against UEF where, you know, yeah. spearheads kind of counter T3 RT, I would say. Zlow showing his big brain once again with his stealth field to get the reclaim. <laughs> That's actually pretty big brain. Yeah, hard counters the, uh... Oh, and look! Look at the scouts! He's spamming scouts to to take the fire oh, for the Oh, to take the sniper snipers. shots. That's actually so smart. <laughs> it's so toxic, and this just buys him yeah. enough time to get the... He's just spamming his shields and spearheads, yeah. Yeah, that's so good, though. This is actually quite clutch, because I thought those snipers would deny quite a bit of the reclaim field. Nope, they've been hard countered by the stoops. Yeah. God tier player. Yeah. Pretty even map split. Oh. And the snipers are getting caught out in the open by gunships. Ooh, that's painful. They're probably gonna die. Or they're not. Or they're just oh, gonna be Oh, but they alive. already paid for themselves. Yeah. Like, many times over. And they got so much more value than they should've. He should've yeah. killed them so much sooner. The stupid spearhead army is pushing. <laughs> With a few titans mixed in there for added effect. Kind of weakness should just go with snoops and spearheads. Fab grids out for bully. Showing his superior economy. It's just BMing. Yeah, this seems like a very BM game from a uh, bottom team. I don't know how they've held on. Their eco is almost batching up though. Yeah, Six they have like especially, I think especially Slow was yeah now a big he's contributor to swinging the game back because he just took out two armies. Yeah, and he's got all that reclaim. Yeah, he's getting his T three vexes now. So sidewise, like the uh, bottom team isn't ecoing as much on their expansion, but I think it's fine. They're probably making up for it in other places. Yeah, bully has more vexes and more T three vexes. There's a raid on the left side, but yeah, Odin, and I think it's just gonna crush. Yeah, There's so many orphans, no way the PD is gonna this stop it. You made so much PD, but it's all worthless. Yeah, and the shields are quite nicely positioned as well. Yeah, they took so much, so much of that fire. Not very good for a uh, Mister Flowey. Finally raiding these little mechs, not that it makes much difference since they're T1, but it's something. I don't think there's anything, I mean, what, four Percy's versus so many uh, offense. Does not seem good at all for a bottom team. No. Uh, I think those four Percy's could kill that army actually with micro dwell. I guess if they micro dwell. He has enough, yeah, he needs to pay all the attention here. Yeah. But Grimplex is about to finish his first chicken. I think it's oh, the first experimental on nice. the field, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
It's That's just the GC started by um, slow, slow realizing that GC is like ten times better than a fat yeah. in current balance. The the sad part is I could have had the fa the GC change out for this tournament. I just forgot we had a tournament. Oh, uh, it's entirely me just being way too lazy to fix the bugs with it. Yeah, so sad. Yeah. Bully is in chat saying um, he doesn't know what he's doing. Bully always knows what he's doing. Exactly. Don't believe him. He's trying to throw everyone off by saying he doesn't. Yeah. GC might be up in time to stop the chicken. Yeah, he has some mass in there. Yeah, there's quite some... So he has I to... honestly can't really judge how much build power that is. It's... Yeah, I'm not really sure, honestly. There's so many T1 NGs. Washer started. Double T3. Yeah. Which, I Washer. mean, he doesn't have the E for that. No way he has the E for that. I think he noticed he didn't have the E for that. Oh, like, yeah. So maybe Rec could afford it. But if Rec affords Much... it, that's bad for him. But... Yeah, Rec is only overflowing 3k power. That's enough to... not enough to get yeah. a Washer up. Pre. Eco e changes maybe, but not not now that it's yeah better. yeah not in current balance yeah it's gonna be a close fight here. There's a lot of T3 support there though. It's very few Percy's. Got some good ships out. Maybe Bully can help. I didn't realize Foden's your thought is also out. Oh, so I missed that as well. They're kind of planning on doubling down on the. Yeah, I don't North think there's anything sides. that can stop that. I mean, if you look at the, like, the south is too turtled up. Yeah. I don't well, think this... you thought I can crush that. This, these Percy's, these are having to stay here to stop the Otham push. So he can't even divert yeah. from there. So it's Lowe's left to fight two armies on his own. I mean, if he wins air... No, never mind. There's so much flak. Those gunships can't do anything. Yeah, yeah. Not that they're even planning on it. They're trying to kill all that's already... Like you said, you said something about already bases. There you go. <laughs> Beautiful oh, already bases. Everyone has it in a swackle, yeah. Yes. Pretty cool positioning, but yeah. Yeah, this kind of looks very bad. So, ah, uh, but I'm uh, a bit afraid. Maybe, maybe they mess up the chicken micro. Maybe, but they'd have to mess it up so bad. Yeah. Maybe straps. Straps might help here. Nah, I mean the Percy's are doing a ton of damage. Oh, the chickens are moving in too fast. Oh, okay, stop. Ah, nice, nice. Some decent UC micro for the blow, but I don't think it's enough. Yeah. He's touching some of the death bots. Actually, he's gonna get a chicken. Got a chicken, yeah. Is there any response? I mean, there's a GC coming up here, but there's also another chicken out already. And, oh, this Flurry is, has his units doing nothing. His whole army is in the bottom, where there's nothing to even do with it. Blow's gonna kill the chicken with his comp. Maybe? Yeah, he has 20... No, never mind. I take it back. He's gonna lose his comp. Oh, oh, to the oh last this strats! Bully, no! Okay, he's fine, he's fine. Oh, I just, like, I watch, I'm a bit behind, but I think Slow had auto OC on, and oh. he wasted one OC onto an auth. I'm like, he could have killed that chicken. In That's it. so sad. Yeah, but Slow is crushed, dead, old base gone. Blowy has, what, like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 Percy's over killing T1 Max for no reason. Meanwhile, there's a chicken coming down mid. Yeah. And another chicken coming from Grimplex. Seems like a very decisive win for uh, Grimplex. Grimplex team, yeah, they just yeah. focused if... down on Slow. Like, Slow wasn't doing a very yeah. good job defending. I don't to think be... there was a major... Yeah. I mean, he made Lowe... a major mistake, so yeah. it was just two Lowe bases just versus two one, yeah. yeah. Honestly, kind of uh, Flurry's fault, if anything, I, honestly. Like, yeah. wasted all these units in the bottom. Didn't have a response to the chicken. Kind of rather poor player, especially considering Rec has T3 Eco in the expansion where the AI was. These Restros are a bit of a threat, I suppose, because air numbers look about even, plus like so many Restros. 
Yeah. Honestly, go behind, kill Grimplex, and then kill Wreck with the resters, and you might have a chance. But even then. I mean, I guess they're just samming up. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you have to use them now, or they're useless. Yeah. I cook a top right, like top right corner, it's yeah, not killable with so the resters. Yeah, so many sams. Yeah, pinging the sams, seize all the air. But they're down a full base, there's no way. I mean, they have some a ton of reclaim, but... Even then, I just don't see a world yeah. where this is anything but lost. Especially because there's random harps, just yeah. killing reclaiming engies is so annoying. Don't worry, he has a hundred resters to kill the one harp. <laughs> Hard countered. Bully nearly has the Tsar out. That could actually do some stuff. Who is Tsar? Oh yeah, that's actually... Well, I mean, there's so many Sams. I mean, actually, F. Odin doesn't have many. Yeah. Yeah, there's so many resters. That seems very dangerous. I mean, if they can kill the air grid, that's gonna be brutal. Yeah, I mean, Zara's they're completely taking out the base, yeah. like Foden's main base, that's yeah. just gone. And ASF die for free. Goes in with the air, but... Gonna kill the build power! Don't kill the Sams, kill the build power! Kill the pigeon. That too. Kills but... the build power, yeah. <laughs> oh, actually, yeah, there was a pigeon perfectly placed for that. Will the resters win? Oh, will they win this? This is gonna be tight. I think they will. Oh, they... Yeah, yeah, especially because the air is super crazy mixed up. Yeah. Like, my intuition is, you know, one ASF is about as strong as a, as a resto. Is it? I thought it was, uh, they were was better. It two? I could be wrong. I don't really know. I don't know uh... much about them, but. I know they cost a whole lot more. I don't know yeah, what yeah, they yeah. And also, they are constantly shooting, which is a big plus. And stacking and stuff, that's all. Yeah. Very nice. The Tsar is out, yeah. and it's gonna try to abuse the left flank, which is kinda weak. Yeah. And I mean, if all uh, the ASF. Rec commit... has enough ASF to just suicide on the Tsar and. Yeah, but Defending I mean, against the Restros is quite possible. If he suicides against the Tsar, the Restros kill all the air, and then he's left in a bit of a bad spot. But there's so much mobile anti-air. Yeah, but now. he won't. He won't lose the air grid. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like the Tsar can actually take out the air grid. I think. Oh, but he gets AoE'd. Oh. You see that? Oh no. I mean, he takes out the Tsar. Yeah. Restros. Yeah, okay, but taking out the Tsar was like the only yeah. important thing here. Restros win. It seems, except for now they're idling over Sam's that are kind of not priority. There's I so mean, many he kills the base. Those, that, those two flags are just. Meanwhile, five chickens so push much. in. Five chickens oh, versus three, uh, two GCs and a Papoer. Yeah. There's another Zara out, I mean, but there's the GC look at this. Needs to make sure to kill all of the. The Zara just gets shredded by the T3A. Yeah. And now it's moving out of position. Unfortunately. Full health chicken retreats while low health chicken stays at front. Bit of a mismaker right there. Look at all that AA though. <laughs> it's nothing, nothing to stop that. Yeah, I mean, if, if the fatty was in a better position, it could pick up the AA, but yeah. Bully being it's the big brain he is, and uh, repairing his resters with the Zarg. Got tier. It's actually a really good idea. They fill yeah. up so fast, like, they get in so fast. That's almost instant repair in all of those resters. I wonder why that's not abused more. But yeah, this is so over. Yeah, now Bully dies. I think. 
There's no way he lives. Yeah, it's too late. He has the, the resters, but... Very sad. Sad S gameplay. Yeah. Indeed. Such good gameplay from uh, low though. Yeah. Would be kind of depressing to be in his spot there after 2v1ing and then... Yeah, and just kind of yeah. no hard carrying the team. <laughs> yeah, very sad. But I guess that's game one to Grimflex. Let's see. Unfortunately, game two just launched like three minutes ago. Oh, that's sad. We could have skipped through it. So. Let's see if the live replay. Wait, so it's... yesterday they just just crash immediately for me. This is game two. That's live replay right now. I think so. Or game yeah. three. No, no, it's game three. That's live. Oh, it's game three. Ah, then we can. Though it's probably better to skip a game and be live so that we can watch the next series. What do you think? Um, which series do you want to watch? Well, I will. I think we should just tell them to wait before they play. Okay. Round three, and uh, just you know, with like yes. just watching the replays, we're catching up. Cause yes. Okay. Um. Cause we are faster. Okay, then let's find game two of Grimplex Bully. Oh yeah, nice. Another uh, adaptive war zone. This is a fun map to watch, I think. It's kind of interesting. Huh. Tired. Tired. Then I get to wake up super early tomorrow and go to school. I'm so excited. <laughs> Very busy day, casting Fav. Honestly. And school. I'm launching. Um, I don't know what's what you're at. Oh. Yeah, I can I will just just go. I I'm already loaded in and Nice. Can unpause once you're. Cool. I guess we okay. just go to plus two again. I'm in, yeah, plus two. Yeah. I'm about to hit 10 seconds now. Yeah. No, that's not accurate because let me show you there's a latency on Discord. <laughs> <laughs> but you can see the stream. Yeah, I can see the stream. Yeah, so we got Chloe in the air spot with Risses of Odin. Grimplex and Bully in the land slot, or the mid slot, I guess. Slow and Rack in the kind of do whatever slot. Yeah. Uh, probably a. Slow went first, Air Factory. Ooh. Gonna see an epic bomber? So, yeah, either epic bomber or. Can you get a more aggressive transport? I'm Maybe? Sure. I mean, what's the advantage today? You still get. I don't see the advantage to it, honestly. Unless he just wants to have an air factory rather than a land factory, yeah. which kind of makes sense if he builds I mean, you it. have a small advantage because you save some resources for, like, you can make a transport without having to spend resources on a second factory. True, but then you're down build power, which I guess isn't too yeah. important since you have so many mechs in stop grid. Yeah. And you have so much E because the transport's discounted. Oh, he builds a second air factory, so he just wanted the... the uh... We didn't watch the one that just launched because uh, we want to keep. We want to watch all the games. We, would, we want to stay in order. Should confirm. Did uh, Fear Roll respond? I tried to avoid uh, tapping out. To to pausing the to halting the next game or. Yeah. I'm not sure. Okay. I said something in Irish too. Transport out from F Odin. Transport out from Low. Transport out. Just from that, it seems. Rack is making one. Grimplex also has one. So we got two drops versus three drops. Chloe is not dropping. 
And we got calm walking by fully no calm walking from Grimplex yet. Also Bobber from Grim Grimplex. Should be yeah. significant. Also Bomber from Flowey, that's not it's over the AI right now for some reason. Maybe it's just trying to stay hidden. Potential transport death. Yeah, and also Oh my god, the bomber killed its own NGs. Where? Oh, I missed it. That's uh, so sad. Uh, bully. Yeah, yeah. Bully, bully was raiding the NGs with the oh. labs. And it actually, I think the bomber was quite critical to deny the factory. Ah. Like, Wait, so the bomber know, the, killed... The oh, labs I were, see. We're moving in and the... Um, oh, that's so sad. I missed that. Yeah, the bomber was like predicting I the path. Failed as a caster. But the labs stopped. Yeah, they auto dodged it. and. <laughs> yeah. And I There's mean... another nice bomb. F Odin oh, has been drop. delayed. The wreck is getting all his NGs killed here by the same labs. Yeah, labs yeah. have almost two, almost three vet on one of them. Like those labs are absolutely crazy. Yeah, and it's now he has like to build his own labs. In the opening. Yeah, both labs have just... three vet. They're going back yeah. to get more value. Air win from left team. Left team has to win to keep it a series. Oh wait, just thought about that. <laughs> Don't think about it. Unfortunate. Time is being manipulated. We don't know who will win. I just want to point out the map design. <laughs> That's all you can think about now. <laughs> the ends map. Or... Now look at these craters. I think they're uh, decals. Oh, they're all just decals. It's completely yeah. flat and it looks so good. Because you're not yeah. messing up the gameplay, but it looks like there's a crater. You don't have any of the stupid uh, shooting of hills here. Yeah. Uh, Though zoomed out, it looks a bit awful, but what can you do? Bad terrain communication. I'm surprised that no one really dropped the the reclaim immediately. Yeah, well, all of a sudden they just taken. all built proxies around it. Yeah. Though maybe to be fair, they were expecting the other to do it anyway, so. Yeah. They both expected they won't do it. Bully AFK ACU. Not optimal. Oh, that's quite sad. Flowey is Crystal. He's a Russian player. I think he plays mostly map gen. Okay, Flowey is on T2. Air. Not upgrading yet. And is anyone from the south? The other team is just. The scoreboard. Just started the T2 upgrade, so it seems to be like the. Yeah. Like a resident sleeper air gameplay again. I mean, Rec just finished his. Flowey's already almost up with the PJ, so. Yeah. Significantly ahead there. And Nano for all the AI. Oh, I wonder if it's gonna send. They're gonna send their comms in. I mean, last time they made Nano and didn't do anything with them. So. Yeah. That's my guess, but. That will happen again. Oh, look at the land numbers. So, yeah. They're, like they're so screwed. They're not making PD. Winning the proxy fight. I don't know why they're not just pushing in and killing that entire proxy. They have so much more. Oh, why are they retreating? Yeah. I mean, they get the reclaim, so it doesn't even really matter. They have so much more production that they'll be winning in the future, too. But And keep in mind, F. Odin is committing here. F. Odin is putting a lot into this. Well, uh, his yeah. opponent is just sitting back and making T3 air. T3 air, which will be significantly ahead of their enemies. Why is Foden the one com? Because he oh, no, is Foden dropped. is not, not the T3 air player then on their team. Yeah. But Wreck also isn't either. Wreck is going for a comm drop, apparently. Uh, they just don't have it. Oh, they do have a T3 air player. No, they don't. I thought Grimplex might be making it, but he's making T2. Which does seem smart. Because they yeah, are of the... no production. No T3, T1 yeah. land production versus huge amounts. T3 is up for Flowey. Still not started for Wreck. Or anyone else on that team. But a Cobb drop is Rick coming. Wreck is building Janus. Yeah, Janus and Cobb drop. The thing is, I feel like T2 air is not really 
you know, it's not a long-term efficient solution to <laughs> deal yeah. with uh, T1 spam. Yeah, because give it a minute and um, yeah, Crystal it's will have all T1 yeah, it's AA. Yeah. It'll be effective for a little tiny bit. Also, Rex drop yeah. here is kind of meaningless. I mean, sure, he stops the push there, but I don't see an advantage to pushing there anyway. And he doesn't even stop the push, because if uh, Bully and Slow want to push, they could just kill him. Yeah, it's just <laughs> like his AC is just <laughs> asking to die. And I mean, T3 land halfway done for Bully. Slow has T2 land. Eco-wise, Team 1's winning. This looks... So won by T1. They have a ASF out or ASF about to be out versus no T3 still. Yeah, not even a T3 HQ yet. Yeah. Again, strats should be abused. Don't see it happening, but I hope. This map is so awful with the big scoreboard. I can't see. <laughs> you have to zoom in all the way. Yeah see the base uh... but hey at least people can see the score better than normal scoreboards yeah look at all the t1 spam and titans are out like why is this t1 spam held back by two gun comms and like yeah and not thirty Jane. tanks it's a bit sad but to be fair they're out ecoing them while building all this t1 spam and winning air yeah so if they're i mean it's a high value tournament you kind of want to be careful Third cob drop with a uh, gun and uh, stealth. All three comms being made use of. AI is damaging, doing some, some work, doing more work on a uh, right team than left. It seems. Ah, oh, left team is also there. Some pillars and monkeys coming. Rec halfway less than half on t3 fusion well flowey already is has had it for a while and is building a second factory also building restorers instead of a strat which really hurts to see i guess they're more for base defense true i mean yeah like i said it's got to be careful yeah risky position to be in Needs more flak with this army going up north. No, I mean, never mind. They have so much more air. I have Odin attempting to expand it to the water, which um, doesn't seem to be working very well for him. AI if is... you look north, I don't see anything stopping that army. Yeah, yeah. Like, maybe if they dropped all three ACUs yeah, in, they a, could... in the path. There's PD going down, those. but, I mean, that in itself is getting value. The amount of PD they'll have to make to even have a chance of stopping that. Yeah, you were right with the cob drop. That Odin going in. But, F Odin could just die. Yeah, like, one ACU, no way, it's gonna, like three ACUs with all their units, I think they'll be able to stop that. Not with the two restros and a bunch of gunships coming in, versus no ah, flak yeah, and no air. <laughs> that's, that's another area of concern. Yeah. They have nothing to stop the gunships, other than some indies. But look at how many A's, though. And I mean, those are restros as well, so even if they're caught out. Oh, and it seems like Wreck is just gonna die. Yep. And F. Odin should die if he just commits. She's not, strangely. And yeah, see, the gunships could be caught out right now, but they're resters, so even then. And the so ATs... let's see how much air. He should just control K right now and kill the air. Honestly, yeah. It's a missed auto opportunity. Yeah. Like, and he could have the... he could have leveled the yeah. air game. That was, that was yeah. like, an opportunity for and that. And if he didn't send his air in and yeah. died, levels air game. I mean, still lost, but better than nothing. Yeah, I don't know what happened to uh, right team, but they lost this horribly. So sad. yeah, maybe bad drops. That bomber in those labs, those labs won the yeah. game, and better airplay. It's almost like this yeah, is what should have happened last game. From the proxy fight to the um, 
reclaim. Yeah, hundred percent. And now air will just always be one. And he's still got Rester, it's just sitting in base defending from the AI and still winning air. I mean, there's T3 land out, but what's it gonna do? Nothing. Rank is a bit upset. <laughs> Very good map. Personally, I think it's just a skill issue, but he wants to blame the map. Yeah, look at just so much more map control for left team. No, nothing started from the AI that's going to hurt them. Fat Boy started on the other AI, but that's not really a threat to them. Not pushing with the land, which is a bit odd. Yeah, I guess they're not, they're not quite sure. Even if they donated all of that mass, it wouldn't really... Seems like just building a bunch Swing of strats and just kill Gurplex. Then you'll then F out and should just control K at that point. Yeah. They should just control K at this point, but I mean it's a tournament, so. Suppose you wanna play. Is that a TML? No it's not. Enemy cops are or AI cops are getting a little more aggressive, <laughs> but not getting out of the water yet. Yeah. On the left team, Slow also went tier 3 air, and I think that's that's one of the most common major mistakes I see in any game, just two players getting tier 3 air, especially before minute 20. Yeah, that's fair, but also, like, they have so much more air. If he just, yeah. he could now just go strats. Or, I guess he yeah. does nuke, but yeah, he could have done nuke without building tier 3 air. Yeah, but if you like, oh, it's just so so bad because first of all you have to pay for the HQ and then also you know bigger aggregates get more efficient because of true true adjacency scaling and then you have the whole air micro issue. Yeah, though I guess at, at points like this it might be better to have separate air breaker because they're gonna win even alone. Yeah. Oh, no, the has AI. To drop his yeah. ACU to the south to the save, AI save is his crushing. Aggregate. Whereas Flowey is fine. Nothing attacking him. And he has resters even if he does get attacked. Telemazer. Very interesting idea. But I mean, there's resters so close. Just total air loss, so I don't see how that's going to work. And so much PD in Flowey's base. That's not an option. Could kill Bully, but why? Rek is realizing how screwed they are. Look at like double income. Almost double income. For uh... Yeah. Left yeah they have like everything on T2 in the expansions. Some yeah. on T3. Seems like they're just being very very careful. Yeah as low as making the Sigma T3 maxes in the forward expansion is T bases. Nice. On T2. Very nice. Try to get a navy as well. And I mean, nothing. A uh, nuke started by one of the AIs, but I don't think it'll be done in time to affect anything. Yeah. Though they should make S of D, obviously, kind of important. As low as the nuke will be done faster, and it doesn't seem like there's any S of D to counter it. Uh, Shall we uh, speed this up? Or Yeah, uh, can you even speed it up? I think you are already... Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. I am maxed. <laughs> already capped. Unfortunate. A lot of units. Yeah, I don't see how this is at all winnable. I mean, maybe Telly, yeah. but... 
Do you want to check the status of the card games? Just to make sure we're not holding things up too bad? Yeah, I mean they're still in the other games, so we okay, can't good. even cast it. Good, good. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't see why they don't quit here. They're so far, so far gone. And there's gunships and bullies base, so Telly will get just result in the death there. Could Telly, uh, slow his base, but why? There's PD next to Flowey. Just, Telly's not gonna work. Grimplex probably could just die if they see him. I mean, he has nano, T2, and gun, so maybe not. I mean, yeah. But Percy. Oh, yeah, what's the Percy's come up? He's screwed. Yeah. And the AI yeah, This game is getting dragged out. Yeah. Quite a bit. And I'm, I'm surprised because if I would play this map the first time with the AI, I would be a bit, you know scared if the AI is gonna do some you know just kick into high gear at some point yeah and start throwing experimentals at you I mean it will just in a, quite a while yeah it's just the AI seems to be so unfocused on this map it just builds so much random crap that it doesn't use yeah I think it's honestly probably this AI it's uh I think yeah. it's older than the other ones Oh, okay. Not that it's bad, I think it's more of a like late game like nuke spam kind of thing. Yeah. Rather than like M twenty seven, which is like strap micro and all that fun stuff. Kelly's almost done. The end is near. There's one interesting thing to see. <laughs> what? Look at the right AI base where they're building the, the nuke the terraforming the did it actually kill one of those spikes oh that's interesting huh very interesting how does that happen and to get jip on this what's yes. supposed to happen because i guess the spike has maybe the terraforming has actually some you know effectively some volume limitation yeah not peak height limitation yeah that's interesting so they are the most interesting part of the game right now <laughs> yes got two no two nukes from our right team gonna be quite effective smd just finished for the other team a bit late such an air advantage all they have is laser so, gotta see if that'll work. Probably will go for his low, but if, even if they go for his low, there's gunships right here, so. Yeah. Not gonna be very effective. Where is he going? He is going for. Yeah, going for his low. Low should see it, hopefully. Uh, he cancels Telly. And is going for Bully instead. Bully and Floyd. Okay, that could work, but I mean, we know it doesn't, but. The better target. Spams out some epic uh, T2 shield. Oh, there's so much PD. Yeah, that's that's bad. Not even gonna get a single kill. You hate to see it. No, he gets a single kill, but still. Does not mean much. Now Grimplex is left alone to slowly die. Of depression, yeah. Literally exactly double eco for a great team. And like 20 times the air. Two nukes. They only have one nuke, Rex says. As we look at the two nukes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very nice observation, Rick. Thank you for your input. Nukes from the AI are... One nuke from the AI is done, but it keeps getting paused. There's a fat boy building inside of this air factory. Very cool. 
There's so much T3 land right here, and it's just sitting instead of actually doing anything. Idle indeed. They're trying to bore us. And it's plus zero now. Oh, I clicked. Yeah, I keep clicking the little channel points thing on Twitch because I'm so, like, uh, I'm trained to do it. Hmm. Kind of sad. Oh, your second monitor. Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've done it twice. No, this is this is some um, very, uh, like, hard yeah, yeah. commitment to Twitch watching, yeah, when you... No, not, I don't even watch that so much Twitch. In. I watch literally, like, UD and Farms, and that's it. Okay, but you always, you always click it. Yeah. That's so good. Yeah, because then I can make uh, new challenges. I'm trained by the tw Twitch overlords. Okay, they finally pinged the comm, realizing that they could end the game immediately by literally walking a few units in. Strategic launch detected. Nuke is out. Nuke is going probably for the Let's airbase. Nuke going. Is SMD loaded? No. Oh, uh, Odin. Close. Odin had it and died. So. No chance of stopping it. Time to quit. Grimplex, but... Grimplex is moving in because he got Ravager creeped. I think Bully is trolling at this point. I don't understand. Unless, like you said, they're really afraid of the AI. But at this point, just big strats. Yeah. Nuke is about to land, about to kill all that eco and air grid. Already been married? Um, he building T3 already? It's dead. It's building a washer, but with what air? Also, the um, AI in the south broke through. Oh, yeah, wow. Good point. I missed that. Started building snipers and actually some demolishers. Yeah, that's brutal. And I mean, the AI um, left is not really doing anything. Oh, well, there's enough PD to stop it, rather. Bully still sitting back with his overwhelmingly superior numbers. Very lean back, lean back gameplay, but the south and the left AI is... Oh no, there's enough PD. Finally I making uh, some rats. Titan streaming in. Yeah. Uh, yawn. <laughs> yeah, Gripflex realized that he wants to end the game. Strats out for Bully. I think Bully is trying to make our lives miserable by uh, extending this game even longer. But jokes on him, we're gonna make his life miserable by delaying the casting. Yeah. Wreck is still salty about the map. Just kill him! There's a plugin that clicks the channel points? I have to download that. I'll finally be free. Ah, finally, Griplex is getting killed by the Ravagers. Yes. I think he's lost his will to live. Yeah, Ravagers go brrrr. He's gonna dodge them, that would be so funny. Yeah, there, there he goes, dodging. Epic gameplay. I'm afraid there's a few, uh, few too many. Shields are Ooh, here. Ooh, clutch! Where are the strats? Bully is sending the strats, but it's not needed. Right. We can finally quit this awful game. Yeah. Bye now. This was a very, very boring one. Yes. Except the labs. The labs in the opening game were nice to watch. Uh, yeah, the labs were the entire game. I won't lie. Yeah. We have no third game yet. Let's see. Here. 
In game. Do we want to try the live replay? I mean, you can try to open it. It doesn't launch for me. Okay. Maybe then it works for you. I'm going to use the bathroom. That's a very good idea. Be right back. Welcome back. Let's so game's still going. The live replay won't watch for you. We shouldn't do that. Won't load for you. Um I have received DMs. Natron saying he wanted to use the strat differently, but Tagata told him to kill FTX. Oh, that's sad. Very sad. Happy to watch your game. Actually, I mean, watching the last replay is gonna take a while. Yeah. Do we? I don't want to skip it because it kind of ruins the whole. Yeah, like series. this is quite interesting. But also, like, then we waste a half an hour of the player's time. But I think it's fine, right? Because how late is it? It is one thirty. Or yeah, I guess that means nothing yeah. if you're in a different time it's zone. Like just early it's... EU evening and. Yeah. You know, watching... Because yeah. I think we all will only waste, you know, like 15 minutes, 20 minutes of the player's time. Because setting up the lobby will take them forever as usual. And if we say that the last round takes two hours, how long has the stream been going? stream has been going about three hours, yeah. 2.40. I'm, to, I'm tired of fear girl like as well. Five and a half hours stream. I think it's not too bad. I think it's worth it. Five and a half hours. Yeah. It's a long stream. Yeah, but it's like it's like the average five tournament stream, isn't it? Yeah. The long ones are like yeah. eight hours. Honestly, I, I'd prefer it if it was like fast games. Lots of fast games. This yeah. whole uh, long drawn out turtle fest is a bit, a bit dull. Hopefully the other one isn't like a bit more dynamic. Okay. Oh, such a shame. Fear the girl is a broken. Yeah, fear girl is asking that we don't make them wait because there's still three rounds left. Let me see if live replay works for me. Yeah, just just see if it works. Can I can watch via your screen? Worst case, if it doesn't. We can go back to... Actually, no, it will work. 
Unless it's recently broken. What am I thinking? I've done this all the time. Okay, this is a bit weird. Maybe it is broken. Hello? Nice black screen. Okay, that's not working. You were completely correct. Yep, it crashed. Okay. Yeah. Then I think what we'll have to do is maybe we can go back and watch the last round. I know it's a bit like breaks the continuity of things, but we have to wait. Mm. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe not. He says we have to wait anyway. I don't know why, but yeah, sorry for the delay, people watching. It's kind of we're stuck between games. It's so sad that live replays are like, they would be the absolute perfect tool for casting. Mm. If they worked perfectly. If they if they worked, yeah. Because you would you wouldn't have to have stream delay. Yeah. You'd have like chat interaction. Yeah, it's true. And it would be synced, and you can also you know sometimes speed through them a bit. Yeah, that would be nice. Someday. Getting slightly mix, missed uh, messages with a uh, with a uh, what's it the uh, what we're actually doing uh, the ping for the stream just went out. <laughs> Very good coordination. A slightly delayed, but thank you. Game tw okay, I need to look up the documentation on what these game numbers mean. Wait, why am I in? I mean, which game numbers? Uh, uh, Fear Girl is giving me game numbers, but they, I don't know what oh. they mean. Um, stream delay is wonderful. If there was no stream delay, we could just talk about this and actually figure it out. But... Yeah. Time to turn Faf live into an Anno eighteen hundred stream to kill time. That's my plan. Where are all the maps? Okay, here. Game ten. Losers round three. Round two. Losers round three. Yeah. So okay. So it seems like he does want us to watch the one that they're currently playing. Or does he? That's a different map. So lost. I have okay. Hold on. Lost everything. Don't worry. I will figure this out. Hopefully that should sort things. Hopefully. I'm sorry, there is no match. We cannot watch the live replay and they've been in this game for 46 minutes. Why are they playing for 46 minutes? Yeah, unless it's some weird continuous experimental ping pong. Yeah. I hope uh, it's not. You know, if, if it's just one side one and yeah. it takes them like the last game to kill him, then just gonna leave instantly. 
we're gonna watch as long for as long as we think it's gonna be entertaining. Okay, but I think I'm also I'm just gonna make myself some tea. Yeah, that's fair. I uh, if they finish, I guess you just start and I will catch up. Yeah, I think I want to grab a quick, very quick bite of food. Oh, that's also a good quick. idea. So I will be right back, and we can leave the stream idle on this beautiful IRC channel. Have fun.
I just saw a note disappear from a game. Was he in it? Pardon? I saw a note just disappear from the uh, play the note. Note, note or note. Note. N-O-T. Oh, I think the Unless the that was SP. a different game. Rowan game is oh I finishing. didn't realize I see there's another game yeah okay I guess let's do let's watch the first SP game we won't be able to cover the whole series but at least then there's something to watch and something then we'll... to run in the background yeah and then we can quit that one it's a fun map to watch anyway I guess we can watch and it then once they're Match is done, I guess. It seems like Fear Goal wants us to go to the uh to the next one. The one that they're gonna be in. <laughs> to just not finish the series and just I think cast the life once. I'm or... a bit uh, it's a bit unclear, I won't lie, but I'm pretty sure that's what he's saying. Okay. Yeah, I guess we can also do that. But also it's like bit... Yeah, I agree, it's kind of yeah the continuity of it but also like it's an hour long game yeah yeah i don't know but if if fear girl if i misinterpreted what he says and he said something to me i'll do it the other way honestly i don't mind either way are you gonna watch this one too or what's i'm plus sixing it so yeah just plus six it i think i'll actually just be afk and finish doing my tea and so on yeah no problem yeah looks like a pretty regular game compared to the other ones we have same stuff haven't seen a single like fancy first bomber or anything all day so sad i want to see the ai's do first bomber that would be fun brutal if they both do the same one next time 27 update please Random meme bios. Another the FTX maneuver is being executed by both players. Nice scouts. I kind of wish we had uh, different AIs on each map, or in each playthrough of each map. Like, maybe it was randomized. I feel like it's very uh, repetitive. AIs do a very similar thing. I'm just going to be 100% sure I'm not missing the game. Good. Down a bit. Less guns than we had last got last time. Like normally these two would have been gun going gun right now. This AI is much more aggressive than I would have thought. Rowan is this could be punished so hard. One arty. One arty and he's forced to cancel the upgrade. That would be horrible. He has no supporting units. What is he doing? Now he's pausing it? No. Don't do that. That's bad. Such a misplay. But he's not even gonna get punished. There, you should also add a... Uh, if if uh, Walton is listening. Should add a uh, logic to scout for upgrades and do, like already this guy, like that would be so powerful here. One already cancels the upgrade, or a few maybe would cancel it. One would at least put pressure on. He's also going a uh, speed gun. Seems like that's like it's similar to what a uh, bully and Gunflex did, where they try to push and kill it quick so they get the replay. No, they both had two comps when they were doing that. Two gun comps, pretty standard. 
This guy's unupgraded. This guy's going T2, so we should see. We're not going to see the epic two gun comp pushes like we saw the other game. That PD is not going to get up. That's so lucky. The, the scouts are overwhelming him. No. Kind of bad. Why are they just clumped here? Doing nothing? It's unfortunate. I'm just gonna confirm. Still going? Okay. Um, hello? There we go. Yeah, he's got gun. That's actually kind of dangerous. Oh, but this is gonna be interesting. Battlefront could get a bit uh, caught out here if the enemy has gun. It's potentially quite dangerous. Though to be fair, uh, SP is pressuring the AI as well. Which honestly, I don't get how he's getting away with two players full pressure on the AI. I guess they're both doing it, but it's a bit, a bit greedy. No T3. No T3 either. Not yet. I mean, this area is safe now because there's the gun cod, but I don't know how long that'll last. Dead HQ dying is gonna hurt. If all these tanks went in, he's dead. He's just not doing anything. Battlefront is in actual danger if M27 actually pushed. I don't. I must be some bug here that's keeping them all in the base. Play with this area. Getting Discord messages. Yeah, they're still going. They're going one hour exactly now. Wonderful. <clears throat> Bruin's still putting a lot of effort into uh, securing this area. I mean, as is Battlefront, but. Oh, and Battlefront's Aeon, so he's, he hide out this comm actually. So that's pretty nice. So he's slowly getting T1 bombard to death. Has no AA. Both players really not doing all that good of a job protecting or attacking this AI. That gunship, that single gunship could be such a problem for everyone. Because the AI has so much air. No, but it goes back. Double com push. Gun com with nano and double gun com versus single gun com. That's very bad for SP. Eh. Possibly. Oh, he's going forward. Yeah, that's kind of bad. If that second PD gets. Oh, never mind. He's fine. He's got his friend over here. His friend's only T2, though. But maybe not. I guess we'll see. Kind of even. Battlefront looking to be a bit in danger. Getting Janus. I think Janus moment. Definitely in less danger than a uh, uh, Rowan is over here. So that could change if these gunships are sent. Got T3 halfway down on P Gen, halfway down on P Gen, pretty even there. SV held this and it's gonna get got all the reclaim. Bit much over here in terms of PD. Don't see why he needs that much of a fire base. Battlefront is dead. Must no, never end. That's now he should be able to get out. He blocks pathing and stuff. To be fair, now it's not a draw. Almost a draw. Nearing draw territory. That Janus might be enough to put it into draw territory. No. Okay, good. Well, I say good because I'm rooting for the AI. Of course. AI should win this game. So T3 air up, so now he can respond with gunships if he needs to. 
<laughs> it's gonna be so funny if that Janus kills him, but it won't. Hey, it's not bad. Absolutely no way, that's for sure. But yeah, the AI is definitely taking back his land here. This AI, on the other hand, is not doing very much, just holding. The gunship's coming out here. But once ASF are out, the AI is kind of stuck because they can't really make as much use of the air as he has up to now. This is a 3 vet cob, so still has ways to go vet wise, which is kind of nice. Get some more HP. He is very dangerously low, though. I mean, this is one of their good players, so if Rowan sees it and does some sort of snipe, that might be nice. Sips down full there. Hey, it's not really doing anything that's gonna... I don't think day is gonna make much difference, though. I think it'll just be... just hold here. The what? Where's the T3 land? Oh, he was gifted T3 land by his mid-player, SV, to help push the AI. Which, honestly, the, the fact that SV is now investigating the AI, too, is a bit of a problem, probably. Yeah, because now team's, Team 2 has so much more eco because he hasn't had to invest. They haven't had to invest over here. Well, on their uh, side of things. Just going to confirm the game is still going. Air production ahead for Rowan. Of course, because he's not having to invest in so much of this, this fight. He's got all these mexes basically uncontested. Way more air. Way more air for top team. Gunships are, yeah, they're just countered by the flak. Not gonna do much. Gonna lose some air though. That doesn't seem very smart. I mean, I guess he won't lose much, but he'll take damage on it. Will play a role if they get an air fight later, unless he does staging, of course. But who builds air staging? Shield come. Not a bad idea. Once he has shield, he can just walk in. No way to counter shield come. With what he has. I mean, 2 T2 PD, but not enough, I think. Shield double gun and Othams. Bat Boy started? Okay. Suppose. Just more air production for Rowan. Still a way ahead of where he's got. Cobb is vetted. Just been farming everything from this AI. Getting the reclaim too. AI over here is finally dead. Probably, yeah. Gonna kill a lot of the reclaim though. I'm not much sure I like that. But I suppose now the eco goes over here, and instead of defending his base, he's gonna go into this fat boy. Kind of nice. Now Battlefront gets all the reclaim, so maybe that that investment will pay off. Even though Team Two now has double the eco, so never mind. It probably won't. Double the eco is kind of hard to to counter. Chicken with Guncom, Nanocom. 
Yeah, there's nothing to counter the chicken. What are they doing? They're so behind. They have nothing. There's almost a chicken, second chicken dead and they have nothing. Am I missing something? No, I'm not. They're just behind in air. They killed their AI. Maybe that's what is where the investment went. But other than killing the AI, they have nothing. Please go to you. Huh. Oh yeah, so Blodier was allowed to play because all the captains agreed. Seems like that choice is being regretted. Huh. Sad. He's not, he's almost dead. Bully, are you done yet? Bully's done yet! At last! Okay, let's be, I mean, this game's over. Um, Okay, speed time. We can watch the chicken kill the base. Seems pretty uh, cut and dry here. There's nothing to, to stop this. Honestly. I don't get why are these still alive? I mean, I guess mercies. But then there's another chicken. Can't stop two. Yeah, SP is very dead. Battlefront's very dead. They're all very dead. Very nice game from a uh, top team. Seems a little uh, small rating difference, but I mean, to be fair, everyone else agreed to bloody your player for some reason. Oh, there's our random game from random series to fill time game completed. No, wait, no. It's hosted. Is it hosted? No, Farms is not playing. It's gonna be... Bully versus... SB. Oh, okay, so SB won the series. Uh, let's go to bracket. SP wins this series, and then we have, um, Bully versus. I really shouldn't have spoiled it, but whatever. Honestly, I'm a little bit, uh, off of things now that we've split into, like, multiple timelines of casting. Let's watch... Let's watch that last game. How did... I just want to see the replays! No replay? Hello? I guess there's no replay! That's fun. Still no replay. Okay, Bully has to save us. Oh, it's waffle. Um,
Okay, I guess we're waiting on either the replay to appear or for somebody to send it to me. Whichever happens first. Let me make sure I'm fully updated on everything. No replay from anyone yet. Replay's not showing up. Might not be able to watch this one. It was rare. It, yeah, it was Bully who was playing, right? Or am I completely insane? Yes, it was. It was Bully versus Gridplex again. Send it to me, Rick. Do it. I mean, wh what am I supposed to do? I'm jumping between timelines. I can't not spoil things. Place Bully Zong. Okay, we're gonna watch the other one because Bully is not a wreck or not sending me the replay. You've lost your your chance. So I guess we will watch this game. We will skip a game of that series and watch the last game of that series. I'm sorry, it's not very uh cohesive, but For the record, this uh, betting is for for the game that we're going to watch after, not the current game. The game between Bully and Espy. Wait. Why is this? Replay ID. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna watch that one instead since it's the same ones we've been watching. Sorry, this is a bit of a a mess. My bad. So we'll watch this one, and then we will. Uh... We'll go on to the last series of today once it starts. If somebody uh, in the game can ping me when the game is hosted, that would be awesome. Or Fear Girl, anybody. Just so I know to speed through the rest of the replay. Nice load time. So yeah, this game went an hour. Hour and like 10 minutes or something stupid. It's insane. So, of course, we would probably not be watching the entire hour. We're just going to watch until uh, the next game. 
but hopefully it's at least decided by then. And I'm gonna plus ten it so we're not uh so we get as much time in as possible. Nothing too interesting. We got bully's team up top. Drip plus his team down bottom. It's a very nice TMM map. I used to dislike this map, but now I kind of enjoy it. It's fun. AI's being down here is going to be interesting. It's RNG. I don't think I've watched one with RNG yet. Harzer is off um, making tea. Go about even. One more for team one. I'm only plus tenning, so we can get through as much of the game as possible because it's not gonna lag at the start. It's already plus five. I guess I'll move to plus five. Hello, hello. I have returned. Hello. <laughs> we are watching. I'm watching the uh, the last Olympics bully game. game. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, but I'm it's an hour try long. To catch up. I have been I've speeding got very as fast CPU. Okay, if you can beat me, you can beat me. But I I've... can beat you. <laughs> I went as fast as I possibly could. But um. Oh no, Rek is offended. He's not on my friends list. I must rectify the situation immediately. Is that Rek? There we go. Easy. Plus 13. Let's go, boys. Nice. Wait, you can actually run plus 13? Yeah, you have to uh, like go with the wind or something. It's the yeah, yeah. Line. Run with the wind. Yeah. Have that enabled. Nice. Uh, trying to watch closely while also going fast. It seems like. This game went so long because the AI is absolutely crushing. Oh wow. I mean what look at how many units they have. I'm not sure. Let me see. Can I see what's in here? I don't think I can see, unfortunately. A lot. <laughs> it seems. I mean they have less mass income than the total enemy, but they also have two less players. Ah, thank you for the donation. Here we go. Seems like the AI is, seems, has some impact here. I won't lie. If anything, it's even if it's not crushing, it's giving so much mass here. Huge replay fields. This is nice. They're not having to deal with this one at all. Well, yet. The Great Wall of Griplex is being made. <laughs> okay, I've caught up. It's nice. cool. I'm gonna go back to plus one, maybe, so it's consistent. Yeah. And I want to make sure that the game isn't started. Not missing it, which we're good. Anyone lose sound? Sound is good on my side. Great wall Was of Griplex. gonna die here? He has this failed. Is like a giant army coming for his com. His wall was not sufficient. But I mean, the wall fucked the pathfinding enough that it's. Yeah, you yeah. know, the units are not streaming Steve that efficiently. Kevin needs OC. Does he have OC? I think he. Yeah, he does. He'll be fine if he has OC. I think. That is yeah, a lot of and units. Yes, she's coming. That's a whole lot of units. And on the other side, it's like. Reds. Um, Bully is just crushing with his uh, Aeon. I think the Aeon is given a better position here because they could just kite. Yeah. Seems the uh, the AIs don't know how to deal with that as much. I'm a bit confused why the AI is, you know, it's aggroing left and south mostly. Yeah, I'm trying to read this game and it's very difficult even with the colors being um, rather matching. Yeah. It seems like... Uh, Bully Steve has kind of given a free, free chance here. If anything, they're getting extra reclaim while uh, Odin's over here having to fight for his life to keep this area held. 
And Griplex, obviously, is not having a very fun time. Yeah, I mean, he got a lot of reclaim now. Yeah, now with the eel sheets, he'll be completely okay. Hopefully. Yeah. They will just eat that army up. Yeah. And then he gets it. Yeah, then he gets it. That's... Oh no, he missed a small wall on the bottom right. No! Through. Will he see? Does he see? He does not see yet. Oh, he sends some issues. Ah, there That's he fine. goes. There he sees. Very sad. The Great Wall of Griplex is not the play it seems. Something magical is happening in mid. There's actually inter-team interaction. Oh! <laughs> was shooting at Grimplex units for a second. I've never seen such a thing. A rare occurrence. It's crazy. But actually, red team is so much further pushed in middle. Yeah. I they... guess they got all, most of the reclaim as well. Why are they just sitting there? They should go in and cut off uh, Odin's reinforcements. Kill T2 Mexes, stop the reinforcements, that would be brutal. Oh, they could do horrible damage, yeah. yeah. Or go right for okay, no, I mean, I think Rimplex could stabilize that. He's got so much sure. energy production. Yeah, I don't think it, like, wins or anything, but it would, like, maybe yeah. help uh, the AI versus Odin. Fully lost a bit of ground. Oh no, the bit, the, the channel points thing is, uh, highlighted. <laughs> I'm resisting the urge. Danger, danger. I can't. You Committed. Just ign <laughs> you could just ignore Twitch chat. Nope, I had to click the button. Flowey has crazy good eco. It's like just pulling ahead on everyone. Yeah, Team 2 is just sitting back and ecoing. They have nothing they need to do. Goodplex's full eco is on Ilshi's to protect against the AI. Yeah. Bully just has like a few blazes. Actually, I bet the mass in blazes is about. So what, like. Oh, can I, I don't have the selection mass cost. Sad. I'm not doing the math myself. 200 mass per blaze or something like that. How much Ilshi? Ilshi's are... Like 400, like 360 you can... Oh, so he has far more in Ilshi's. Far more mass invested in 2-2 land, I think. Yeah. Barely common. And also Ilshi's are way more efficient in blazes. Yeah. Oh yeah, because they can kite better and... Yeah. No, it's just... You know, they are just a stronger unit because they have yeah. less movement speed. Yeah. So... Efficiency gotta go somewhere. True. Yeah, this seems like uh, Grimplex is getting a little bit uh, screwed over here by the AI. Both sides are just full fighting the AI and the enemy teams just yeah. chilling. It seems a bit like just farming the AI now. I'm not even sure if it's, is it would it be worth for Grimplex to crush the AI? Probably not. Uh, I mean, the AI has a lot of, like, T1 PDs and stuff that, I mean, yeah. actually, no, it's not enough to make a difference. I take that back. He could probably I mean, just walk could, over. He him. could crush, yeah, yeah, but the question is then what Bully would do. Yeah. I mean, it looks like he has more T2 land than Bully, but will he have more T2 land after he's crushed the uh, AI? Yeah. He has to, like, slowly crush the AI and take the reclaim as he goes. Hmm. Yeah, but he's in a super weird position right now, because he has a very big army, and Bully doesn't. And what is he going to use the army for? Like, it looks like he yeah. wants to attack Bully instead of the AI, but Bully is on T3. Yeah, just I, feel, his army. I think it's just lost. <laughs> like... Yeah. Area looks quite bad for them, too. They have this noob called the Wreck on their team that's throwing. Imagine. Oh. No, but I mean, is he really behind on air? No, it looks about even, but like they need to. Versus. Eleven. Yeah. But it's like they need something. They. Yeah. Gonna lose to the AI plus Bully eventually because Bully has T3 land. Gunplex is getting it, but he doesn't have it out yet, and Odin's just been fighting the AI. Oh, Odin has 
shield, T2 and gun. Nice. Beefy ACU. Going for 5 vet soon. Sniper's out, of course. Already got one up. Too bad they get hard countered by the T1 spam. <laughs> I mean, the Blazes will just deal with the T1 spam forever. The Snipers will deal yeah. with the, the Ilshis. Honestly, it feels a bit like, at least in the bottom right corner, it's more of a, it's more of a race who can crush it first and get the reclaim. Yeah. Because this is just a f big fat reclaim pinata. Unless Grimplex really crashes and Odin crashes, and they both get the reclaim, but I, I that would be brutal. Because uh, Zloda isn't really working on fighting. Yeah, he's just kind of chilling. There's a TML in mid, and it's actually killing a T2 Max. Yeah. Capped one. Oh, it almost just five vet. Very valuable TML. Ah, oh, it just must have gone around and killed everything. Yeah. Yeah, those plateau maxes are dead. It's Cybert as well, so it looks like it's getting past the one TMD. Even just killing one storage. Odin's still pushing. Got five vet now. 2100, or uh, 21,000 HP rather. My AC. We got the hives from Flowey. Didn't get the memo about them being nerfed. Don't ta oh no, this is actually quite bad. Flo is on. It looks like he's gonna build Ras Boys, which is. No, no! Like if oh, I forgot! Boys, that would be a major, major, major mistake. I, I forgot that this game goes an hour. Yeah. But they're so behind. Bottom team. Unless they, like, do something crazy. I mean, they don't need to do something crazy if the player that occupies half of the yeah. places is just idle. That's fair. That's eco-like. 12k mass in the bank. Nice. Stalling E. And re getting Ras while building... <laughs> getting Ras while building three T3 P gens. Do you see this? It's painful. Oh, yeah. it hurts my soul. Oh no, not the T3P gen. Whatever will they do? But I think Foden's eco is actually quite a bit better than the score suggests because he's just basically, you know, draining all of the top AI eco. Yeah. Like it's like, not quite 100 mass per second, but like 80 mass per second on top. If we look at Reclaim... Yeah, Odin's at 22k, but Flowey's also almost at 21k. Slow's at 20k. So he's not getting all that much, but still, like, top. I would've thought he had more. Yeah. Odin's retreating, though. Grimplex is moving his com in in mid. Ah, yes. I'm a slightly behind, but... Like, there's so many snipers. They yeah. Just, kill the AC, right? just immediate death. Just two snipers to counter, yeah. We're only 20 minutes in. We're a third of the way through this game, and it already looks so over. Grimplex is in the chat! The Don't rat spoil, himself. Please. I already spoiled by looking at the bracket. My mistake. Oh, oh, that's yeah. It's very. But I am not spoiled. Yeah. I can. I can. I will say nothing. No, I didn't watch. I can. Yeah, not spoiled for me. Yes. Nice air grid. Building the epic fabs. They're both building fabs. Okay, he's not building boys. That's something. He's okay, building a mega. At least he's building an X. Yeah. Could he's be worse. Defense. 
Ah, oh, but why they are building a GC and a Mega at the same time? This is bad team. Do they have mass? Can't see. Lowy has no mass. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Yeah. And Bully is also stalling. This is quite bad. What a noob. This Bully guy. Oh, okay, he reclaims it. Just looking at the game right now, this. I think this is again one major blunder because no way the fatty of Foden is going to be up quick enough yeah. to counter GC or something. I mean, the Mega Mega is going to go up faster because uh, Bully is reclaiming the uh, yeah. GC now, but still, it's pretty oh, slow. Okay, they they fixed it. That's yep. good. Yeah, that Mega is going to race up. Yeah. Yes, much mass is like 120 and 12 Reflex. times 12. What is 12 times 12? 12, 144. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. like 260 mass per second going into that mega. The uh, 2 1 spam still attacking Griplex. He struggles to beat back the hordes. No, I, I keep forgetting I can't tab out. I wanted to correct Rex grammar. It's so sad. It's a war. So but look at all that reclaim for Griplex. Just yeah, give it right to it. It's a lot of three. units, but how much mass is there? Oh yeah, yeah that's two K. Wait, why do I not see? I should have the mod. I don't know. But still, it's something. Yeah. And I guess Bully's also gonna get it if he pushes a bit. And the same thing's happening to Slow, but he's getting T2 Rex. Like, one major advantage for Team Grimplex is. You know, Foden is able to hold on to quite a few more mechs on the left, mm -hmm. and also has them developed. True. Sure. Like, this, the game is. Surely he's uh, slowly switching into the stage where map control starts to matter again because it's like determining how many T3 mixes you can build. Yeah, exactly. Mega's out though, that's <clears throat> a problem. No, the fatty's gonna be out well in time to counter. <sighs> I love watching hour long replays on plus one. Mm. It's awesome. You're just simply the inferior player, Rec. What can I say? Toxic. <laughs> I'm not even sure what it's about, but it's just... I don't know. I just like think he's the inferior player. I'm just gonna make sure we're not waiting. People aren't waiting for us. They are kind of waiting on us. Okay. Do we want to watch the full hour? Like, they should just PM. I will tell them to PM me when yeah. they're... Actually, yeah, yeah good point. Launch. Once they're ready, yeah. yeah. Oh no, I will get spoiled to one. I'm not gonna be the unbiased caster, but I will. Very sad. Yeah. See, I can only tab out if it's for clicking the channel point thing. Other than that, it has to be really important. Nice gunships killing the AI. Actually, not a bad idea. Excuse me. Free mass. I don't see how Ooh. they can beat this mega. I don't see how Grimpix <coughs> survives this mega. Exactly. I mean, the, the they, I mean, broadswords? The fatty? the fatty is not... Oh. Grimplex has a chicken finished. Oh, basically. that might help. Yeah, that seems like something that would be helpful. I was going to say maybe air, but they don't have all that much uh, much air. They have oh, swords, I completely but... missed the fatty by... My hmm? phone and was already finished. Oh, yeah. 
It's already mostly there, but even then, I don't think it'll yeah. be much. And there goes Grimplex. Yeah, Grimplex is Did very good. Did not respect the Mega. Hell. Now the wreck gets to carry, which will be very successful, I'm sure. <laughs> Whoa, what's this? That looks very weird. There's a little thing. Whoa. I wonder what that is. Ah. Oh, actually, yeah. The air is going to kind of crush it. Broadswords and... No air response? Got an air okay. fight going, air fight, air fight. Actually, that's really good for the wreck. To see if tar if he had, like, fighter target, maybe, it would be okay. I think he hit the gunships too much. Oh, I actually lost the AIO. Yeah. Okay, now I see how this goes an hour. Because the team with, like... 300 more eco just donated a mega or didn't even donate the mega that's even worse didn't even donate anything it's just back to a standstill and Johnny we're waiting for everyone to be in and ready to launch and then we're gonna have them ping us and we'll join then that way we can watch as much of this as possible what time is it do I want to know 2.30 already. Do you have to leave at some point, or...? No, I just, uh... I don't even know. <laughs> I have no free... Want to I have spend too much time. No yeah. free time this weekend. No, I enjoy doing this. It's just all, all of my time has been given to stuff. I have no time for other stuff. And I had to borrow a laptop so I could do modding. Uh, so I can export models from Blender. And I have to give it back on Monday. So today is my last day to actually use it. Oh. Hang on, does it not work on Linux or what's the issue? Uh, the map or the model exporter is broken because of some... It's it's the difference in how uh, Python use, exports the file. It's using some different data type for the structs. Okay. I don't know much about how it works. I'm working on fixing it with some help from my father, but... It's a little above my skill level. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the top left AI is just one click away from dying. Yeah. Look at just all those. amount of purses. Yeah. They're idle. They could so just crush purses. the corner. It would be quite worth it. To, they could just crush you know, get your own period. Team mixes there. Like, if he pushes like with... the purses are going to do anything against fat boys. I mean, if the Percy's push the Fat Boys, even though I know they might not do much, they'll at least c take the fire while the two Megas come in and kill everything else. Somebody confirmed that they'll pay you for the uh, the next game. Oh yeah, a bully will get ping us. Awesome. Poor bottom right AI is crushed. Hate to see yeah. it. May he rest in peace. Is there enough anti air in that army though? I'm not sure, uh... I don't think so. Like, look at the amount of this, a ridiculous amount of broadswords. Yeah, that's a bit of an issue. Small issue. I mean, there's some, there's a decent amount of AA. I'm not sure. AI is gonna help. <laughs> Yeah, that's problematic. The Percy's need to push. See, now the fat boys can just move. Nice air grid. Very large air grid. Big L air grid. Yes. Very satisfying air grid. A lot of fat boys now. Uh, 
That's a very big amount of fatties. Yes. Good amount of Percy's as well, so... Actually, I think I missed Saw. There's not many Percy's. Problem is, there's just so much stationary RT all around in middle, random spots. Yeah. It's gonna be pretty tough to push with the fatties. Now is the time when you make boars. You send your, your megas back, you reclaim them and put them all into boars, easy win. <laughs> That's what yeah, I wanna see. I guess. <laughs> I mean, no. you have like 1k eco per team, you could just yeah. straight up go for a game ender. Yeah. Is anyone Aeon? Uh, yes, Bully. The bully could make a pair. Bully. Yeah. bully is starting an RT. <laughs> nice. I mean, yeah, that's what I was saying. They're like some sort of non experimental thing. Would be nice. Yeah. Land experimental, rather. Zoom in, Jagged says. It's kind of cringe. want to see the epic uh, cinematics of the Fat Boys. Very nice. Sometimes I forget how cool this game looks. Yeah, it's just all symbols to me now. Yeah. I wouldn't even need to 3D mo I only need to 3D models to see if the gun is higher. Exactly. High over a hill, yeah. <laughs> or micro or whatever, yeah. Like. It's just GCs. some giant experimental stalemate. There's not a single, not a single experiment. Like one nearly died, but that's it. They're sitting back with these GCs on the uh, bottom right. Not really doing much. Oh, that's such a huge army on the bottom right. But it's just sitting there. Yeah. Which really as like. As it cannot really push because they don't have air control. Oh yeah, I f yeah. Looks like they're preparing an RD2. Preparing to make one. See how, uh. Already halfway done. I honestly reclaimed the Mega. Oh, it's just a pink. So they know it's done. They reclaimed the Mega and make the RD5. Oh, there's the halfway done RD for the other team as well. That I missed. Yeah. In, uh, from my partner. Okay, Bully just PM'd me that they are starting soon. Okay, do you wanna... This is gonna be another 30 minutes of RD1. Yeah, work. this is... Okay. Yeah, of nothing happening. Yes. I'm well, surprised how it can take 20 more minutes or 30 more minutes when RT is already up. Yeah, I'm not really sure about that. It's not... I wish Unless we could... get into this weird stalemate that just... That they just constantly kill each other. Somewhere. Unless boys are being made. Yeah. Just RD spamming boys. Wreck, how did it end? Why did it take so long? Fill us all in. Yeah, now we need the written. Yes. Okay. Oh, is it Johnny joining? Oh, maybe Indrani is joining. No, no, guess not. I guess he was just making sure they waited for us. Oh, yeah. Many thanks, Indrani. Much appreciated. Okay, 1.2 cheat multiplier, 4 and 27. That's kind of dangerous. What? They know I'm not What? He forgot to enable the ops like you. Hang on, did you not get that I was. What? He launched and ops were not enabled. What now? Yeah, I guess say something? <laughs> they have to rehost. Oh my god. Seriously? <laughs> okay, there we go. Yeah, they are rehosting. <laughs> I thought it was I'm only, I'm only spamming it because it's... it wasn't obvious. I'm only spamming it because it's bully. I'm not yeah. actually being annoying. <laughs> That's funny. Wait, you said something too? Hmm? You said something? 
Yeah, he was asking, should I enable ops? And I said, no. <laughs> nice. And then he did not enable ops. Brutal. He was baited. Yeah, he was baited. <laughs> Sad. Oh, cool. Thank you for the subscription. Ooh, appreciate it. Is... Yes. Rek has still not told us Group how they lost. Formed. Group formed. Is the three minute stream delay already over or? No, oh, that's I true. I forgot about that. Probably over. Yeah. I don't know. So then they have to take it personal. Wait, so Battlefront is with Bully? Group formed. I'm so confused by these teams. I think I'm just... There's been too many games. It's been like four hours and I'm losing all mental uh, mental function at this point. I have, I'm have. i on my second can of tea, so... Nice. I should... Sting me now, yeah. I should get some coffee, but if I get coffee, I'll be up super late. And that's not a good idea. Hang on, even if you drink it like at 2 p.m., is it it's later than two p.m. Ah. Almost three. I guess I could, but three p.m. is the perfect later. coffee time. I'll make some after this game. You've convinced me. <laughs> ah, that makes sense. So it looks like they were throwing uh experimentals. Failing with experimental pushes, but they were so ahead that it didn't lose it for them. It just kept it as stalemate. Okay, Shen, don't act as if it wasn't a long arty war for another half an hour. Do you really want to watch that? Or do you want to watch the next series? Whoa. So. No mexes. Where are the mexes? Where are the reclaims? There's some wrecks in the middle. A few. There's a couple 38 rocks. That's all they need, really. This map looks like it's going to be a bit painful. I did a different map version. Hmm? Bully's complaining <laughs> nice. that mid middle hat used to have 2k. Odd. This is changing the meta. Re! Yes, re. I wonder. I didn't pay attention. It's the AI and what? No, the AI is in different teams. Oh, are they? Are they supposed to be? Uh, on some maps they are, so oh. I just assume it's correct. That's strange. I wonder why that's <clears throat> that's happening. Pyrgol, can you confirm that? Is that that it's for this? I think it's, if... I think it's correct because they are on like vastly different colors. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. It feels weird though. It seems like they should be teamed in this situation, but I suppose. Mm. I guess. I guess it makes sense. I think it's. I think it's more fun if they aren't because you can just. Like stomping one side really hard is a viable strategy now. Yeah, actually, that's Taking fair. Taking out the two ACUs. And then if you kill both, they, it doesn't pull share. Yeah, yeah. I think the AIs are going to be so much more influential here because they have the resource multiplier. And it seems like resources are a whole lot less uh, easy to get on this map. So the multiplier is probably going to mean more. But I don't know. And it's one point sure. it's one point two multiplier, I think. So Yeah, it's just the small one. I'm wondering if any of the teams is because I think I would go for for an AI crush. 
it's just send two or three ACUs one side. Yeah, actually, that could the be side interesting. Where there's no choke, like no, like there, yeah. there's only the choke with multiple chokes between the clips. But you gotta get, you gotta get a uh, mid at some point, pretty quick, either in transport. Or yeah, in yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. Or you can actually walk in NG mid. Those oh. mountains are passable. That's oh, that's not wow. amazing. All right, that's a bit unclear terrain generation, but I guess if you look at it like this, it makes some sense. But still. Yeah, I guess walking was the the play there. Yeah, as low as gonna be. It'll be funny if somebody makes some chance. Case getting the transport. Nice. Ooh, he's got the lab. Oh no. It's gonna be such a sad engineer by the way. <laughs> it's gonna get over. Think... It's always gonna be there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and they won't have a transport as well. That's deeply sad. I mean, the low is walking into you. His calm. But It'll be a like bit if late. his comm gets scouted, <laughs> I think there's time to just you know get a PD up yeah. even in the middle. Look at how many edges he's sending as well. Like he could yeah. just get. I mean, if he can spend the mass, if he gives it to his team, maybe he gets all of it super quick. Wreck is being brutally destroyed in the Twitch chat, and I approve. Yes. Getting wrecked. Yes. SP is sending Cobb towards the AI. Or maybe he's just getting his mexes. Yeah, it looks like he's getting the mexes and then. That's about it. Yeah. It's interesting. So, oh, it's it got a, it's got how much reclaim does it have? It's on... It has seven reclaim. Wait, okay, that can't be right. Yeah, that was, was a. Why does it only updates once it's finished? Ah. No, we're never gonna know. Hang on, it's 292. Minus 33. <laughs> so it's like 259 reclaim plus 7, yeah. That's all he got. Yeah, Control K gets so much mass now. I wonder if they're aware there's... Oh, there's a Zui coming, so the PD wouldn't even work. Yeah. But the, I think the reclaim is just completely gone. I mean, I think, the yeah. ACU's there. They'll get enough reclaim and not have had to send an ACU. I mean, I think he... if. It's not really worth it if you just give me the ACU in base, but maybe if he sent it to the AI. He gets more value. Oh, that's a brutal bomber by the AI. Just killed three Ooh. engineers over... Uh, who is oh, that's it? a lot Metaphone of bombers. Space. That's a whole lot of bombers. Oh, and there's another th one with three kills. That's nice. You gotta be kidding me. This is, like, absolutely brutal and... All of the NGs are dying. Oh, no, they all are dying. The static AA going up. Yeah. Oh, that's so bad. 27 is amazing. If it denies that static AA, I'll love that. Now it's going back. That would have been so funny. One of the bombers even survives. I don't know why it's retreating, but. Yeah, the other AI is fighting uh, using bombers a little bit, but not quite to the extent against Paddlefront. Oh, I just. Like, the pink AI just killed the four engineers in middle. Oh. With a bomber. Oh, nice. Or something killed them. Probably well, means Lowe's the there now, so. Yeah, but it was not the ACU, and only has one kill. Hmm. Nice Cobb pushing into a bully. Pink AI Cobb down here. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Is this, how's the pathing here? Yeah, so it has to go up through that hill. Yeah. I mean, as low as getting a good amount of reclaim as well. I wonder what the split is on that. Let's look at reclaim numbers. We have. Yeah, it looks like uh, Ezo got so much more of the. Uh, the yeah, reclaim. and if you like, look at double. the base, it's so well developed. At least as equal. Yeah. Like 5 T2 max. How do I... Ugh. Wait, I what just there. happened? Did I just break the game? Oh, I lost the low. Was it coincidence yeah, that just happened that. when I... <laughs> touched my scoreboard? 
No, I also lost this all. That's problematic. Oh yeah, he dropped out of the squad. Oh no. I'm getting flashbacks to the 2v2 tournament with Yudi where he died where he disconnected first game. He's back. Maybe he'll reconnect. You're welcome, Rick. Actually, you can just close the uh, Discord stream. No, oh, yes. Good point. Yeah, Rick has a point though. The ghetto stopped the uh, Phobo in uh, middle, yeah. so he could have done PD. Can they get a re? It was very scared that the uh, adjusting my scoreboard sim speed by mistake. Uh, Crash the game. It's a little terrifying. But would have been funny since the mod author is in the game. <laughs> huh. The FAF experience right here. Typical FAF experience indeed. But I think this game shows again that M27 is by far the funniest AI for this mm. kind of tournament. Yeah, the bombers. Yeah, it just, it just abuses everything and everyone. I'm pretty sure if I'm remembering the conversation correctly, it doesn't hover bomb the bombers quite as good as it could because it would just be too much CPU usage. That's why it limits it to just uh, the strats. But imagine if every T1 bobber was perfectly microed. It could do it, I think. Sad. Why did I kick him? I think you lost connection to him first, yeah. Mm -hmm. Is he gone for you too? Yeah, like yep. I mean, now he's completely dropped, kicked out. Yeah. Good, good. And like you, you, you lost connection to him three seconds before I did. Yeah. Well, fully is requesting a re. I mean, he'll if they don't re, he'll be behind, be behind an ACU, but that's about it. Because the ACU is not going to damage anything when it dies. Yeah. So that's something. I think Wait. the biggest concern right now is probably that right side team has a is in a better position, I would say. Yeah. Also, like mostly because Control K has that many T two mix. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, if I was in right team's position, I would be hesitant to re here. Because you're like pretty ahead, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By a good like, what, thirty mass? I don't know. Is there a discussion happening that I can't see. Presumably. Yeah, and Control K is almost T2 air. It's got tons of mexes. I mean, it's not like they're losing a bad player as well. They're losing slow. That's gonna hurt. The AI doing anything fun? The AI is building air staging. Very interesting. It's 
to random buildings. Another air staging on the other side as well. Yeah. Every AI is building air staging. I mean, it kind of makes sense. You just build one for each player. Probably gets value. Maybe, yeah. Because you With just... the AIs, I feel I feel like every AI is just like even if you if an AI is made to just play as good as possible, they are often not. Like with the build orders, they're not focused on a specific target. Yeah. And I'm not sure if it's down to because it's so hard to code or because, uh, let's be frank, AI devs usually are not particularly good players. I was trying to find a, uh, like a non-rude uh, way to say that. Because it's like, yeah, if you had Yudi fully capable of making an AI with all the dev skills, it would be so much better, I think. Yeah, because he could he would be making it with the focus, knowing exactly what to do. Uh, yeah, it's not even that the you know just it's not even about we're not even talking about getting the perfect strategy for the current situation, but just deciding on one strategy that would already yeah. help so much. Yeah, and I feel like that's also something that uh. Like, player-wise, you get so much better once you realize you could go into a game being like, I'm going to do this, or I'm going to fight this person, and you'll win so much easier, even doing the exact same stuff if you go into it with a plan. Yeah. Though, of course, like, it might involve something like making separate code for each kind of idea, each kind of, like, plan, almost, which sounds like a lot of effort. Yeah. I don't know. So I think like probably AI re requires a different sort of game knowledge. I'm not sure. I think it's quite hard to put basically like the strategy that most strong players have in their intuition. Mm-hmm into like a you know strict decision tree yeah because there's it... basically no no work done on that if you look at the guides and so on they they are not very rigorous yeah yeah it's even almost like just feel out how to do it well it's kind yeah. of the best advice almost just play over and over again and feel out what does what goes well Nox's rehost very cool Okay, I guess we're reading then. Looks like it. The mighty knock has spoken. So I'm interested in how that decision was put into. That's a little unfair to control K, okay, considering how good of a start he had. Maybe they yeah, yesterday. Our... Yesterday we had a similar thing that someone dropped out, like at minute 9.30 or something. And I think it's general faf rule that... Oh, I... around minute five, you can rehost. Yeah, but it's oh, yes. mostly it's it's not really down to uh, you know avoiding people getting an advantage or something, but uh, just to keep the length of the tournament in check. So you know, yeah. one hour long games don't get replayed. Yeah, that's fair. Group formed. Yeah, I'm interested to see how the openings change based off of that experience. Let me check discussions. Oh, if you're going to ask me what the rule is on this, I have no idea. Absolutely no idea. Sorry, I didn't see the message. No, there's no AI dev slander. In fact, I don't even think it would be like easy for like 
even if there was like a really good player who knew just as much as like somebody like Walden to Waldlin. However you say that Waldlin, I guess that's how you say it. Um it wouldn't I don't even know if it would be easy to transfer the actual like gameplay knowledge to AI. Yeah. That might be an entirely separate skill set. Entirely. I don't know. Group formed. Well, Lynn is a 1500 Astro player. Instant credibility. But no, it really isn't like slander or anything. It's just like, even like, I don't think that like, if I tried to make an AI, it would be as good as something. If I had the same AI knowledge, obviously, as something like UD or even like a 1v1 player like Yohoiser, who could probably do a whole lot better. Yeah, I'm not sure it's still... It's just... Like, the only advantage, in a way, that I would have in making an AI is I would... You know, it's just the same as looking at replays of people, just realizing that this was a... Like, this is where the AI you made formed. a major mistake. Yeah, I guess that's fair. Its... This is the only only thing that... I have an advantage yeah. of right now to, you know, yeah. track down. Yeah, and to track down issues, but you notice not, the issues better. That doesn't. That doesn't. You know, just solving those issues. There's no. Yeah. You gotta no like team up. Knowledge around. Yeah. M twenty nine will be made with a board of uh, of high rated players advising on every replay. <laughs> It'd be fun to have just to have AI replays submitted. You know, that actually kind of sounds like fun. You should do that, Maudlin. Set up some sort of system where it's reviewed by high-rated players. Note that I'm not considering myself in that category. So, same slides? Same slide. Side. Same slots, yes. Everything is the same. most interesting part will be whether Zlow yeah. adapts now, because I think he will. Yeah, I have a feeling you're right. Will he do the transport rush? I feel like that's kind of the only option. Like, either transport or, you know, airlock with bomber and so on. Yeah, or like, immediate ACU walk or something like that. Maybe, well, that's yeah. probably not a, bad, a good idea, but soon, quick ACU walk. Nice close up of Bully building his PJ. Very beautiful. Oh, the, I didn't re even realize the AI reacts to good luck have fun. Oh yeah, it's so good. The, the chat from M27 is so cool. I love it. I get weird joy out of uh, saying, uh, responding uh, to it whenever it uh, chats in my games. It's really fun. So, if you look at slow space, slow is adapting. Nice, nice. Oh yeah, he's already walking. Nice. Hopefully, I'm get there. Trying the greedy engine, and he's getting like this is second yeah. air. Yeah. Maybe if he goes ID and walks calm, that's probably the way to go. Counter the transport and get it all with the calm, super quick. But yeah, imagine UD watched like AI games over and over and over again as it was improved, and then. An AI dev improved it based on the feedback. It'd be so powerful.
Does your uh, build order thing generate them? Or, like, can you generate build orders, or does it just analyze? No, it's just... No, it's just... Basically, it's very rudimentary right now, so you have to estimate when you will have a next finished, for mm. instance. I see. So, yeah. Could you do something like measure distance? Like, I'm thinking maybe you could actually, because I, I, I don't know how the replays are saved, but the position of the mechs should be... Yeah, the map should saved be. in there, yeah, like right. Yeah. Or you could use so uh... you could you could analyze existing replays, just run them through the parser and mm -hmm. get the data out of that. Yeah, there's some interesting and... pathfinding stuff GIF has been doing for AI that might help with that. I'm not sure directly, but it might help generate paths and then you could measure how long those paths would take. Yeah. But imagine you could like use a neural network or something with that. Would it be playing fast? Would it be quick? Anyway, I'm just killing time as the build, build order, so <laughs> Sorry, I won't just check the entire game. No, that's kind of fascinating. So unfortunately, I, I'm not super convinced of. I guess he'll be there a bit quicker and be able to. Yeah, and he didn't waste on stuff a lot faster. The first yeah. edgy. Oh never mind. There's a bomber by bully. That's that's good. Yes. Because I was kind of missing the bombers. Oh yeah, still AI bombers doing quite a bit of work. Very nice. Ghetto is kind of useless. Another... Oh, poor battle cards. I'm about to get destroyed again. Oh no. Sad. Beautiful bomber. Let's see if the bomber actually bombs the factory as well. Oh, that would... No, it won't hit the NT. Oh, maybe it overshoots a bit. Oh, yeah. The NT's already out. Would have been nice. Now... So, how much did Control K? Control K stole 4 .1. 4K reclaim. Yeah, he did... That was worth it, for sure. Yeah. Both AI teams are robbing the bottom team now. Poor Battlefront. <laughs> Very sad. Oh, his, his radar. Not the radar. That's so sad. It's kind of cool. The AIs are doing good pressure. On both sides with the ACUs. Though, uh, this one might be dead. Right? I guess there's reinforcing ACU coming, but it's quite a ways away. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the right side, I would just kill that one. Might even be able to kill both. If you kill this one quick enough and don't lose too much HP. Oh, the reinforcing is coming as well. Yeah, that's, that's gonna be a double kill, probably. Which, imagine, that's gonna be huge. If they could secure yeah. the replay. If it happens. Nice! The pathfinding. You see that? It uh, used factory. He blocked it with the factory. That's amazing. Oh, I didn't watch, no. I'm just looking at slow space. One of the AIs. Ah, oh, oh, that's a big blunder by the AI. Oh, it's walking into slow space. That's gonna be a big annoyance. Mm. Alright, I wanna watch Paul. in the middle of nowhere. It's the split screen time. Yep. <laughs> Already done. No, not again! No. No. Not uh, No! <laughs> GG. Large skill issue. Major skill issue. You will not stop the UEF. Same time. Huh. That's weird. Why is, is it, it exactly the same time? I think we're a tiny bit later now. But he dropped uh he dropped out of Discord too, so it can't be Fav. Yeah. 
very weird. It's SB. They're uh, DDoSing him. <laughs> nice. I take it there will not be more Rees. Yeah, I was just thinking probably not. And if there's not going to be any more Rees, hopefully this doesn't continue. That would be unfortunate. Might need a sub. But this game, this map looks so interesting. Like, you got AI ACU in the base of the low. From an almost dead AI. It's actually, like, dynamic. Got, like, a complete stalemate. Look at, uh, SB. You see, he's gonna get destroyed by these, like, four Celans. He has Where's no... Where's SB? Uh, Teal. Oh, they oh they snuck past the ball, yeah. and uh, he has the one land factory, holes. but it's not making anything yet. So they could just go in, and they'll have to build PD. There's no land factory in the main base. Be brutal. Oh, or he makes a bomber. That would probably work too. Yeah, uh, I would assume the AI micros the scenes that they cannot get reclaimed. Ooh, that would be nice. Yeah, because I mean the NGs are the only real thing under threat here. Yeah, there's no real way that they Celins are gonna kill the T2 Max. Yeah. The fact is, they're just annoying as well. It's like yeah. they deal with it, or else they will kill a T2 Max. So it takes APM. Yeah, this is the rather cursed series. I will agree with that. Came up your B. All right. Be back. Maybe. No. Sad. Okay, well, this fight should be more interesting now. GG rip AI. This, I think he can win this. They're both almost vetted. It's kind of close, but if he wins this, they get all of the space. Wait, that's pathable. Is it? Oh yeah, it is. I didn't think that was pathable. I thought he was trapped. I mean, they're safe here. Bully can just run him down. There is reinforcements coming, but I think this guy's dead. I kind of feel like they need to focus on getting a kill here. Or else they're going to have to deal with all of this. Are they OCing? I don't think they're OC. That's unfortunate. Yeah, there they go. There. These two are gonna vet as soon as they kill a unit. Well, not exactly, but soon. Oh, come on, it's so close. There we go. Now they got vet. Maybe like a snipe? They just gotta snipe that ACU and then they get that whole side. This AI makes it out somehow? Wasn't quite watching that. That's oh. interesting. Killed one AI, the other AIs got out. Oh, how did it sneak past? Which one? The, the, uh, the, the Crocs. Which one? Crocs. I don't know. Ah, mint, yeah, it. Mint a this, line, uh, line this cliff, line. this cliff right here, is, uh, pathable. Ah. Somehow. Oh. I don't know why, but it is. Yeah. It's just very weird terrain. Yes. AI is actually, like, I like this. They're fighting the AIs, not each other. And the AI is actually doing well. Very cool. So, of course, losing That's... low is a bit uh, stupid. Yeah. Uh, to me, it seems like just fighting the AI is... If you look at the bases, none of the... 
maybe Battlefront was a bit prepped to fi fight the AI, but Bully and Zoe certainly weren't. Mm. This is just a reaction to the AI pushing. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, that's what I mean. It's, it's like they're forced. Sad, yeah. They're forced to. Yeah. I, I what I, I was saying. If I, I, I think just going for a hard push on the AI is quite worth it here. Yeah, and like if they all they need to do is snipe this one ACU, they get this whole side and all the replay. Up yeah. Here. You see my cursor, I think. Especially as Aeon, I think the AI is quite mercy snipeable if you plan it. Well, you got all this uh, T1 AA and a pair of shield. Mm. It seems like that's something he's prepared for. Maybe not. I think maybe they could get there. Will he do that? No, he won't. Not yet, at least. What you turn? <sighs> Guncom seems smart here. Let's kite all the units. Fine. I think you're right about Mercy's. Kind of the way to go here. Yeah, I, I think you just need to get your own command range and just take out all the T1 AA. Yeah. Like some some stuff like, or you know, like one or, or two gunships, yeah. Aeon gunships. Just yeah, or even just to divert the, the fire and then go and kill yeah. it. I think you could do that with the Torp, unless that was changed. That probably wasn't because I think I was gonna change that and then never got to it. <laughs> T3 air going up for control K, so he has no intention of sniping, I guess. No T3 air for the other team? T3 I max. Think bully is, that, that looks a bit like T3 air prep, what he's doing. As does uh, Chloe's, but they're just. He's making oh. a T3 max instead. Oh, there we go. Need you transport for SP. Not sure. Maybe. Oh, that might be a ma yeah. Bully's also going T3. Yeah, that's a major miscommunication. Ah, uh, yes. Unless they are communicating, they just like you said before, though, it's not efficient. Yeah. But I mean, if if they don't notice the enemy team, you have double the air. So I suppose it's like it might work if you hold out long enough. I don't think it's like two players going T3 air. I think it gives you, you know, it gives it, it gives you some, some air advantage maybe in four minutes, but it's just such a tiny window where you, where it gives you a numerical advantage. What is this? This a uh, T2 transport over here. Are they gonna ghetto it? They're gonna ghetto Let's it. Let's go. Nice. But it has must have. It's gotta have flag soon, yeah. There's no way it's left without flag. The score for these two teams this first game. So zero zero. Yeah, Jagged. I agree. Definitely a snipe play here. I've really been watching these AIs. I'm just kinda of playing it safe. That pink ones. They're not super far forward or anything. Wait, I'm missing one pink ACU. Where is light pink ACU? From God, light oh. pink ACU. I see. It's it's the one that's front. I missed. Oh, yeah. Dark pink is in its face. There goes the ghetto. Light might die. Where's the ghetto? They're not oh, really there coordinated. Nice NG drop. Wonder why. SP is gonna get revenge <laughs> from all the noobs, you know, getting their nexus captured by AI. It's gonna catch exactly. It's gonna become the AI. Feel like he should wait for a second transport and do two T2 ghettos if this is the approach he wants to take. Battlefront's just got shift. AI actually shift G's in ACU. But it won't kill. 
There's so, there's, no, no, it's not enough, yeah. It is a shift G, but it's kind of a bad shift G. Also, the OC is going to be so nice if he doesn't. He doesn't. He just OCs a single unit. That's so sad. Why is the ghetto being sent in on nothing? <laughs> the AI just says it's like duck tail. Shields. Nice. Following it around. Yeah, it won't take any damage because the shields are just, just taken off. And there comes the Inties, and that's not going to work. I don't know why they chose Ghettos. I mean, bottom team's making progress into their AI. Top team's kind of just holding. Top team's kind of, yeah, top team's kind of in danger, I think. But they have two T3 errors. Easy win. Let's go. Actually, they have two T3 errors before the enemy team even has one. That's producing. Well, actually, they're about to because the other team also went two T3 T two T3 errors. I can speak. Got Control K and SB with T3 error. What is it with the double and triple T3 error? I mean, you kind of got a T3 something. Yeah. I mean, you could do land, but to what end? Yeah, I mean... I mean, I guess it would be kind of nice. Yeah. T3 Navy for nuke slips? <laughs> <laughs> you can get T3 Com and just immediately go into Rambo Boy spam. That's my favorite. Ah, yes. Strategy. Rarely works, but it's the most fun. The Harzir special. I tried Rambo Boys a while ago, and then I tried to transport them around, and almost every single one got shot down. It's very sad. <laughs> this, this proxy, or like on the oh on wow the right side. <laughs> That's <laughs> why they're capturing the mechs. It defies. Oh, he's capturing. You're them. right. You're right. Becoming the AI. Does does the AI control K? It some some do. I think M27 control K does the mix. We'll see. I wouldn't know. He might be stalling. I think it would have done it by now. Nah. It doesn't do. Which is, it's kind of cheap to control K it anyway. Yeah. Your AI suck. True. Now, I think they just got an advantage by killing it. They put in more to try to kill it. Though I guess I say they put in more, but they lost to Flurry, so they can't really be held against top team. What is it with the last spam by Battlefront? I think they wanted more ghettos and then decided no. Ah, uh, that's. Yeah, yeah, that sounds reasonable. Possibly these yeah, exploration. I don't see much of any ASF. I see four ASF for bottom team versus like way more for top team. Battlefront almost at four vet. Very chunky commander. Yeah. Pink AI is doing a lot against Espy now. Not a lot, yeah, a I guess. surprisingly much pressure. Yeah. It's not like a huge amount, but it's something, and that's not what's happening for the... for, uh... Lowy. Nice PD spam from, uh, M27. I feel like at this point you just go for a bunch of mercies and kill the cob. All the AI is out of position. Or all the AA is out of the position. Out of position. We're about to hit the five hour mark. I've been talking for too long. <laughs> is your, your throat already sore or... No, I just can't trouble? compile words anymore. Um, bully's in danger. Hang on, Maybe. why are they fighting a... 
They don't. Why did not they not make a single gun? Call? Yeah. Well, I guess they have the broadsword. Broadsword. Yeah. Actually, yeah, they're fine. They'll just kill the AI. Where's the AA? Very sad. All the AA will die with their common explosion anyway. Oh, they're actually gonna get both AIs here. That's so not fair considering how much the other team has been trying to kill that AI. Wonder if no the right team is completely unaware of Look at all that AI. Or yeah, they AA. see the <laughs> they see the pop. No, go back! The pink AI has so much AA behind him, but he's going forward. Is it stuck? Oh no, he's going back. Ah, nice. So many broadswords, though. He's dead. Yeah, no way to... Maybe if the AA went to. up, but it's just sitting back. That's so lucky for them. Yeah. This is actually really big for Bully now. Oh, yeah. Because they're Bully... Does he have the transports ready? They need to make... They can to spam out two T2 transports to just drop the south side. Or literally just send the broadswords over to Control K and Battle and kill them. There's nothing to stop it. Other than Control K making flak, but he can't outbuild that many broadswords, I think. That's four broadswords. Cool. Uh, that was a good fight with the AIs, though. It wasn't, like, overwhelming, but it also... Actually... Oh, ended. nice. Flowey is dropping with two transports. Nice. I guess it's kind of reasonable to split split the Maxis so the Flowey. Yeah. It's a bit more eco. Yeah, Flowey kind of doesn't have much right now, so. Yeah. I think this is also one of the underappreciated tactics to just, you know, after something like this, to just clean up the front lines so Flowey should get the forward base of the old base of Slow and yeah. Holy should get the big expansion. Yeah, that's fair, actually. Also, the Mercies are finally going in. Not quite enough. He's preparing to reclaim the base. Oh no, he's trying to get the other base. But I don't think they realize how far behind they are in air. Like, honestly, this game's kind of over. What's the massive come on? Yeah. Yeah, they're behind mass and come behind air. I just don't see how they have any chance here. There's an attempt to drop. They don't see mass. how much air he has. Oh, that's and now they did. <laughs> yeah, now they're gonna control K yeah. in like five seconds. At least I would be in this situation. <laughs> like I don't. How could they come back? I'm not sure if it's oh. that horrible for them because right t right team has really good eco. Compared, they have 480 mass and come to 517. And they're fighting their AI. Oh, okay, AI never still. mind then. They did just sacrifice, uh, like, four broadswords for nothing, but it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. I think this is securely won for top team. I'm not gonna lie. Which is impressive because they're down a player. The power of bully is showing. <clears throat> Bully switching into high gear. It's actually quite like Bully is like this is I would consider Bully an absolute top tier player. Oh yeah. And he's trying. Absolute top tier tier player who somehow was 1700 for a year. <laughs> yeah. I still don't understand. But that's like the the two v two tournament a while ago. Him and Otter just come in and win. Nobody expected it. Well, they don't win, but they do very, very well. Nobody expected it. What, Mr. Rex? to show income instead of reclaim. Have you already switched? I have already switched. Good. Unfortunately. I'm being judged by the master of casting himself. It's very sad. Yeah, why is, why is Jagged in the comment section not in the casting channel. Exactly.
looks like still way ahead on air. Top team. Top team's getting all the reclaim. Yeah, the kind of bad. But it looks like yeah, team one is now back in eco lead. Somehow. Not quite sure how that's happening. Oh, we get to watch some epic M27 strats now. That's exciting. Beautiful. Look at the hover bomb! That oh, didn't really do much. No! The strat's gonna die. So sad. Reclaim deposited. How is blue team making more mass with so much less reclaim and so much less map control? I think they were just ecoing a bit harder instead of scaling air. Actually, that's true. Like, yeah, they. I guess the overall. Uh, and I mean, the expansions are not fully developed yet, but sure, sure. It's gonna. I guess they're still e more like That's just gonna kick in soon because Team 1 is just... Like, they have basically no more mixes to upgrade. Yeah, and they're getting pushed back by the AI, so somehow. Kind of crazy. Yeah. Imagine if they just mercyed him, they'd have, like, a chance here. Very sad. Some nice walls. Very nice. These walls are in water. It's not even water, it just looks like water. This is another one of those games where I'm a little confused because team top team has so much more air. Like they did before in that other game where they had just so much more, but they just didn't do anything. I feel like there could be some more like action taken. Like raiding this airbase, all these mexes. There's he forced Sam's at least. Why not? Yeah. I guess you don't. You might donate some mass from an ASF fight, but you can try to force the fight away from your base, from their base rather. There's a czar being made by Floey. Ah, that would make sense. That's a reasonable strategy. It's actually going up fast enough. That should do a ton of damage. Not enough Sams yet to really counter it. And it looks like uh, bottom team is having to fight the AI there. Whereas, like, sub ASF. Yeah, that story is coming up fast. Yeah, I'm wondering if Bully is donating. Like, Bully has a lot of. Yeah, Bully is donating mass. Yeah, that makes sense. Flo is stalling 14,000 energy per second. Nice. Pause in the air. You have so much more air. It's just such a huge waste of mass. Oh, why it's would just, you. You know, either mass stalling or energy stalling. Yeah. Bully gives him mass, he runs into an E stall. Sad. I, I guess at least he's not constantly power stalling. That would be very bad. Yeah. Yeah, that star probably wins. Unless he uh, might miss micros it and lets it get sniped, and then the game goes on for another hour. <laughs> I'm even sure that... Oh, they have... They have three people on tier 3 ARX. Oh, this is so bad. Yeah, three tiny amounts of tier 3 Arx. Rather awful. Like, I'm not sure if Bully has air even now, but... I mean, yeah, look at that air grid. It's a big air grid. Wait, do you mean you're not sure if he has enough? I'm not sure if top team has more ASF right now. I mean, look at, do you see all flowies? Bully has a bunch up there. Bully has okay, a bunch Bully down. Bully is on, like, down here. 85 and Flowey is on 50. Oh, this is quite annoying. 
They must SP's have more. SP's on 60, Control K is on 30. Yeah, yeah, okay, they do have... Top team has... Has more air. These are to be trusted. Do they have any other air units? They don't have many other air units, so I guess these are somewhat accurate in these uh, air unit count numbers. What is your prediction on... Uh... Will bottom team be able to have all air forces participate in the fight? No. <laughs> um, I think they'll get two out of three. That's my uh, okay. Okay. Unless they gift, which they really should just gift them all to the one fight. Especially at a tournament, if you forget to do that, that's just that's yeah. so bad. No, it, is, it has to do some. You have to have some ego thing that yeah. prevents you from gifting. Yeah. Your teammates, any units. But I mean, like, to be fair, like, some team games, there's situations where you don't want to. But... The tournament? Yeah. Plus, like, all of these players are good enough to do it well, so... No, oh, yeah, there's... No, wait, never mind. They didn't give. I thought they did. The question is, will Flurry and Bully work together with their completely? I would hope so. Oh, yeah, there they go. I hope so, so Azaz, and immediately everything is gifted to Bully. You're good. Zara is not moving. Bully, what are you doing? Move the Zara. No, I hit a button. Move the Zara. Move the Zara. He's still not moving the Zara. Maybe he wants to force That's a fight first. Direction. But. But you want the Zara nearby. Yeah. You want to build a. Oh, it's pinged. I, I guess he wasn't the way he also oh. gifted the Zara. That's fair. He probably could uh, select it all air. For all fighters. The Zara might get scouted because he, because of the A. How did SP's army get into the front expansion? Did it walk all the way around? <laughs> nice, killing T two Max. It's, yeah, and it's so sad. There was an Omni going up, and that Omni would have been really, really oh, useful yeah. in the fight. There's a TML anyway. Yeah. Okay, everything was gifted to SP. That's that's good. Good, good. We got it's 170 mm -hmm. versus 190 ASF. It's pretty close. So they actually need the Zara to win this, probably. Yeah. Or air better air biker. I mean, it's enough that yeah. it could be decided by that. Oh, or the AI just saves them. <laughs> the AI no! can't take out the air grid. Look, there's like multiple. No, it's going for the car. Oh no, they're sniping. But still. Yes. Oh, oh, it's microing. That's so sad that it didn't go Did for the. We see a double bomb. Well, it probably won't live long enough. Oh uh, no. But there's a lot of strats. Yeah, but it's like barely taking out the shield. Yeah. If there wasn't that a shield there, is... he died. Yeah. If, if Bully should have capitalized on that, but he couldn't have seen, to be fair. It's a bit of a shame the AI could have taken out the whole air grid. Yeah, that would have been kind of funny. Quite catastrophic damage. Yeah. AI is also hurting up here. So, it's not like it's only attacking one player. SP moving out with air. Very interesting. It's a weird choice. Yeah. I would want all that reclaim to myself. As the dog begins to bark, that's wonderful. So sorry. Honestly, I'm confused as to why I feel like Bully and uh, Chloe should have more air. I mean, the Zara, I guess. They masked all, so they stopped producing air. They're making boys. <laughs> the dog. I'm sorry. There's absolutely nothing I can do. More strats. Now that the shield is recharged by the AI. Oh, this is the next attempt. It Even if they were work. properly uh, timed, they don't have time to. Uh... Oh, you mean like all at once? 
Yeah, yeah, if they weren't sentencing a file, they would, some would be able to do the yeah. double. Yeah. Actually, yeah, you're right, you're right. Boom. Like right now, it's just donating so much mass. This is another, what, like 7, 8k mass. No, sinking them perfectly while still double bombing would be very hard. It is hard for a player, even when you know how to do it. Yeah. Because you can do it, but you uh, not all of them actually work because they're you have to move them as a group. Ha. Huh. Maybe I feel like they shouldn't be making boys. They should be making another czar. Oh, they're making boys. Yeah. Hmm. I am not convinced as well. They should be like they have enough eco to go for a game ender. They have twelve hundred mass per second, and they know they have way more than their opponents. Yeah, because of the map control. I could feel bully being unhappy about the boy production as we speak. There will be very big air fights soon. Not sure if yeah, bully is samming up the whole the whole south expansion. Which yeah. Is... That's smart. Very reasonable, I suppose. <laughs> More strats going in. Hopefully not for control case ACU. Yeah, no, they're getting. Oh, there's really a maxes. big horde. The, the gunships are still around. Are you? Oh, the the, yeah, the south. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's quite a, lot a big of flag. flag battery. Yeah. Lots of sams as well. So yeah, I think that'll be stopped. Damage should be. Zar is going in. Zar is also here. Maybe try to bait a fight over the sams, but there's broadswords, so that's not very effective. Look at the strats! Oh, there's still... How much strat production is that? But I mean, consider the fact that they're not having to deal with... The top team's not having to deal with any of them. Oh, well, maybe a little bit. Actually, Jagged brings up a good point. It is kind of a giant mass donation. The strats? Yeah. That? Yeah. Like, I think... <laughs> they're basically getting the AI nice. in right now. In terms of strats. Yeah. Nice hover bomb there. I mean, it is killing mexes, so it's probably just a break even. Oh, that also actually T3 mexes, yeah. Nice rating from the broadswords. Some very toxic blazes. We're up to four, five, six, seven the water. Seven boys. Strat's going for bully. Strat's going for uh Chloe's Vex. Yeah, I think uh, the strat snipe logic, like if you aim for unshielded, like I think if you can check for shields, check for shields and ignore those targets. And if you, you can like check for T3P gens, like these would be such good targets, like game changing if these yeah. were all on the P gens. But because this is shield, like even good to kill the max, but it's shielded, so it's waste. But I mean, the fact that it's even trying to strat is impressive. Like. And I mean, it positioned it nicely. Also, yeah, like, when it was over here, one bomb right here kills all these fabs and all these storages, and even though the storages aren't worth much, then you do lose the extra income on the mechs. So it does a ton of mass that the income is lost. And if you had multiple, you could just kill the actual mechs too. Yeah, Floyd just started the T3 RT, but in a quite weird, like, I wouldn't say optimal positions. Can kill some stuff. Oh, it can actually kill Battlefront's RT. Where's Battlefront's RT? Oh, I see. It's over here. Yeah, that's kind of a bad spot. I agree. Yeah. I mean, I guess, like, yeah. Battlefront's like... RT is way better position because it actually threatens Yeah. every aggro.
Zar has 4k mass killed just in, in air cool. units. Yeah, now it's just get, sitting around getting free value. As long as it doesn't get sniped out of position. But... Which could so easily happen. More strats being built up. Then the T1 bombers! Imagine the T1 bombers were spread attacked on mass storages and mass fabs. You hit all these mass fabs with one or two T1 bombers, you kill all the, all them. It'd be so good. Yeah. The AI is also participating in the RT game now. Oh, nice. A little, uh, little slow to the so... game, but. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna take a while until it's finished, yeah. but it's gonna be a minute. Oh, look at how fast uh, Blowies is going up compared to Battlefront. Battlefront started yeah. in sooner as well. <laughs> Sorry. Control K is building a uh, Czar, but very very slowly. Who's building? Battlefront? No, Control K. Why is he not yeah. assisting the RD? That seems like a bit of a mistake. It's a bit of a... Yeah, it's also... Or build know, ours. Yeah. Focus, focus on one thing. Yeah. And this is what kind of... When you we look at the AI, this is what I was talking about. It's building a fatty with yeah. a bit of build power and an RT at the same time. Yeah. For a very long time. I mean, it's balanced eco-wise. I mean, okay, it has a lot more E than it needs, but it's not, like, massed all your time. But still, like, yeah. investing it all in one thing would be so much better. Also, like, this target, when it was unshielded before this came up, which it was for a while, that could have changed the game entirely if, like, two or three strats... Okay, a little more than two or three. A bunch of strats hit this. The game just, like, completely shifts. I mean, you could kill the P-Gen and then the explosion for it. So, yeah, one or two, three... I guess three. No, that would have been a really good target. Bully's also starting a Duke now, but in a way better position. Good, good. Oh yeah, and it's gone up so fast. Seems like they have lost the RD war. Yeah. Like, I maybe know. they would be able to do something with air. But I think Bully is just fully... Look at the Sam count. Oh, they're going for the, the Zara. Samming up now. No, it's a poor Zara. I mean, Bully gets all the recline. Oh. Yeah, it's not... Sure. Yeah, that would have been bad for them, I guess. Not worth it. Uh, Sack Boys is being sent, which is not a bad idea, I guess. Though, at this point, not really. You kind of have enough eco that you don't need to. You're already ahead, so better have it. And the early shells begin. Kind of lacking in shielding. He's finally reclaiming the Zara. It's good. Best mass in energy storage. Yes. Duke is almost up, though. Could have some potential. He's got a uh, Chloe's got to build more shields, I think. Also, there's two T two two T three RDs being made for top team at the same time. They can't yeah, afford it, so efficient. I mean, they can both afford it, so it's kind of kind of makes sense. So it seems like Control K is gonna lose his air grid. Oh, brutal. There we go. It was a very <laughs> well placed shell. Yes. Good timing. It's a lot of mass that come too. Bad shell to make up for the good one. <laughs> Second RD is almost up. And they haven't even finished their first. Oh, 
Oh, big airfight. Oh. Warum ist das? Airfight. Actually, this was. Let's see how this airfight goes, because SP uh, killed most of the Sams in the vicinity with Titans. Yeah, I think that SP wins. So they will. Yeah, this looks like an air win. And the Zara is not really dealing that much damage because the Zara's got to move back. Focusing it, yeah. he's got to realize he's going to lose and try to get the reclaim. Yeah, there he goes. No, no, he's just attack moving. Yeah, that's quite a brutal air loss. But I mean, there's so much to be already up. Will it be enough? It's just if they can capitalize on it, yeah. Yeah, there's almost a third T T three already. Esp is quite invested into the Titan spam from the south. There's True. five factories just yeah. pumping Titans. There are hards there. I mean, not as many, but the hards will fight very good against the uh, the Titans. Yeah. Got a fat boy coming down from the AI. Very nice. Anti-fury oh, is annoying also. to deal with. Yeah, there's some some RT for control K in a firebase, but I don't think it's quite enough. Yeah, and he's not gonna really be able to expand it because he's trying to deal with the T3 already. I'm sure, all his APM is going towards uh trying to keep those things alive. Yeah, three already up already. Yeah, or the Duke is, yeah. like, the shields are collapsing around the Duke. Yeah. This is not good, looking good at all. Yeah, they switched to building, finishing that shield. We're about to get one, shell. If one more shell hits... There's two. Oh. Yeah. Well, yeah. And that's it. Forgot that Aeon has damage over time. Yeah. Now they have to win with air before their entire base is completely shredded. So, air grid from Bully is about to... No. Might die to the remaining shells. Actually, there's a decent chance it does. If this is well-aimed. And it looks to be well-aimed? No. Bad. Now, I guess... Taking out the... One of the Omni impositions, but there's a backup Omni. Yeah. A bit further back. No Vax going up. For a flowy. At the same time as the, the next RD for Bully. Bully should be able to make, or Bully should be making more saps like now. Yeah, that's um, crazy. I'm not even sure if it's better to switch to stationary flak at this point because the, there's so many T3 gunships. Yeah. I mean, they don't have, they have some air. Like, it's not like they've completely have no air production, which is nice. Like, they don't have to worry too much. They're fighting over air. Yeah, there he goes. He's making the flak. Yeah, this is kind of the amount of gunships where you need like 20 stationary flak just to stop them. Oh yeah, there's also blue gunships, or they're all blue battlefront gunships. And a lot of strats. Oh yeah. Lots of shields, shielding battlefronts, air grid, which is nice. <laughs> Lovely background noise. They did a good job shielding their air grids. Could be worse. Yeah, it's surprisingly sturdy. Yeah. The strats should kill the, uh, the fat boy. Actually, uh, there's not enough T3 MMA with it. But the AI made uh, quite a bit of flak to help with fatty. Yeah. Maudlin, you should, uh, nice to see. you should enable the jamming on the strats at some points. Might be cool. So many gunships. 
many broadswords is that? 40 broadswords. Nice. And it seems like there's not enough AA on the left. Yeah, both cobs are right there. Actually, Bully's com is there. He has personal they had flurry. shield. And they both are right there. Shield. Oh, they're both. Oh. That would be absolutely brutal if they got. Okay, they're splitting. That's good to see. It's definitely the right move. I would maybe snipe the gunships. Don't... Yeah, he needs to snipe the gunships. Like, what is this? Air? Or do that. What? Let's see. Fast yep. bully, if bully is gonna survive this, he might just survive. Ah, he's going for the air. Wait, he's going for the air? He's going for the fighters. Oh. I'm not sure if bully will live. Ah, no. He's, he's fine. He's fine. So okay, that was a good move for bully. Yeah. Except for he needs to commit. And keep wet air. There's just so much flag. Oh, strats! Side. Oh, there's He's dead. Strats. He's dead. He needs to walk. To, he need, or oh, dodge. No. He could dodge. We'll see. Yeah, he could dodge, but there's a T2 shield up again. Oh, nice, yes. And he walks in the T2 shield. It's gonna be close. Very, very it's close. like two strat bombs. Oh, there's more rod swords. He's definitely dead. Oh, there's a T3 really shield. To his con. There's a T3 shield. It's so close. And there's another two strats, though. No, I think you'll actually live. There's like one more bomb connected. No! And the shield is down. Oh, it's so, so close. So close. Is there more random strats coming in? Does he have any upgrades here? Oh, there's no. two more strats. There's max upgrades. Two more strats. Oh, he's making a T3 shield. He that, T that T3 shield oh, no, is will under, be will be time. up in a second. This side. was pretty clutch. This was like one strat oh, yeah. away from death. Slight, slightly slower movement, and he didn't live that. And think about how much mass was just put in for nearly nothing. Because yeah. he didn't actually get the kill. Yeah, now he's safe. And now all of these gunships that uh, SB has is for nothing, because they probably have less air. Or at least even air. Novax is going out. Battlefront is still making only strats for some reason. So we have two, four armies, one Novax. I, f I think. It... Hmm. That may be not enough Titans. Halfway on the AI already. What happened to the A to the AI fatty? Is it? I would imagine strats. Yeah. Oh no, it's retreated. Oh, look at the AI air. Still alive. What? Look at that. Oh, that's oh, so that's, bad. That's just absolute bullshit, man. Oh, those. I would be so mad right now. <laughs> yeah. Imagine, you you already were in such a bad spot, and now you just lost air to a complete third party. It's gonna maybe even find the strats. How is SB still playing? This is not the SB I know. SB has evolved. Maybe the strats. Oh, they pinged the strats already. Wow. They got ping They're there. on top of it. It is an Omni somewhere in the south expansion, I think. And look, air is only even because the AI won air for top team. Yeah, and Bully has the strats locked. It's the uh, making up for those low disconnect thing. Yeah. The chain. Another fat boy out. Wait, maybe the fat boy lived. Because there is a fat boy here. Yeah, yeah, it's still alive, yeah. I think 20k mass killed. Oh, nice. I didn't see it. Maybe Battle of loses air? Air grid? It's gonna be close. Nah, he doesn't. I'm a bit confused why they didn't build a single land experimental. Which, all. which team? Any Both? team. Or especially southern team. If they, I mean... You know, if they build a GC yeah. instead of those million titans, they... Yeah, I think top holding team... Holding south expansion would have been quite hard for Bully. Yeah, I think top team couldn't really do it because of air. But you're right, like... Even some of those broadswords could be replaced with an X and do so much more. D 
already from the AI is almost done. Let's see where it aims at. This, this AI has been fun. The fact it's still alive and like actively impacting the game without completely ruining it is amazing. I think Battlefront making all these strats is a huge mistake. Because now I that think the that looks about even now. Yeah, but why would you be making thirty strats if your air is even? Especially when yeah. the AI is just gonna come in and kill them all again in a moment. <laughs> There's a second attempt of sneaking them around the map. <laughs> Wait, like two yeah, seconds has for like the ping. An omni right at the front nice there's an M epic omni so they know exactly where the strats are jamming's uh interesting i don't know if it's like i mean i don't think it's actively making it worse but it is a little confusing Has four, yeah, four tier three artists on the field. The AI is terrorizing. Uh, Poor SP. I feel so bad, honestly. Like, why is it so hard? It's so hard focused on the on the right team. To be fair, it's the right team that they were fighting the whole time. Yeah. And to be fair, Bully beat his AI. Yeah, Battlefront loses his base now. All the shields are gonna die to Novax. Or yeah, some of them. The... Oh, that was a nice oh, shield. Yeah. Taking up two shields. Novax has to shoot them before they reload. Regen. Maver started, which seems kind of questionable. Who is it, by Bully or? Uh, Flowey. Flowey. That's actually very questionable. They should just get four new launchers. Yeah, you're right. And then kill the SMD with the RD? Yeah. Because there's... I'm not that good at dual gap, but... Shielding against four T3 RTs is quite challenging. Yeah. I think. The nose. That is so many strats. They're moving in. Bully's ass seems to be a bit out of position. Bully is making chickens. He already has one in the water and another walking towards the water. Definitely need to move the ASF. Yeah, just looking what at it right doing? now, because the strats are about as far from his com as his own ASF. So there's a... No, oh, that's moving? deeply unfortunate yeah, air placement. Moving. He needs to build another uh, T2 shield, maybe? Even, like, that small would really help. I think the ASF will get there in time, maybe? Yeah. Gonna be close. I think you, they'll be there perfectly to intercept oh, yeah. the strats. It was like the best condition for them to do that snipe there. It's just so many strats, it takes quite a long time to kill him. Yeah, I think he'll... he'll, he'll be yeah, yeah. Like, this was just perfect. Yeah. It, like, that's the best they could have done. With strats, but I mean, strats weren't the play, I think. Strats are a waste. And now you have no strats to deal with, like, the three chickens. So maybe time to quit. Yeah, there you go. There we go, yeah. What a game. AI already is shooting the top team, though. And that second one is starting. Oh, even killed the shield already, yeah. Imagine it just Imagine he quits one of and the then... legions and then just taking out 
kills a half done Maver in two already. Series. That would be so funny. But no, wasn't meant to be. That was a quality game. That was a long game, but that was a good game. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. The AI definitely made it so much more interesting with the air fight. Yeah. That was fun. But yeah, first game goes to Bully. Even without his teammate. Very impressive. What is the next map? It's almost four! It's already four! Crazy. Quality sense lobby. Bully's 2600? Oh wow, we had 140 viewers. Oh wow. That's quite a few. That's a, a few yesterday people. Yesterday we peaked at like 110. I'm just so, uh, so captivating to listen to. Yes. <laughs> it's the dog, you know. Yeah, exactly, dog. exactly. Everyone's here for the dog. It's already like 4 p.m. and I haven't eaten anything other than that one bagel I went and took a break to eat. Oh no. It's fine, I mean, I had the bagel. <laughs> you have enough sugar, like, I'm just, I had, when I took the break earlier, I had, I warmed up some of my lunch. Yeah. Actually, I do kind of need the coffee to keep me alive. I shouldn't, but I will. A little bit. So I will be right back in a moment, but uh, make sure they don't stare at me. I will do.
Welcome back. Everyone's waiting for me. That's unfortunate. I don't think we're oh. quite waiting. Is there we a... We are just still trying to figure out everything. Okay. That's good. Ooh, Dilly Dally is next. I haven't seen that one recently. What is this? Oh, this is the map with the czar in the middle, right? I think I remember. Oh, it? Yeah, it's like you have to like walk up and get all the reclaim because it's like a giant wreck in the middle. Should be fun. That one was so much better than the other long games. Yeah. It actually stayed interesting because of the air loss. Yeah. And just the ridiculously large air grids. Yeah. Too many RD games. <laughs> That's fair, honestly. <sighs> so we could check the bracket now. They're preparing. Got. We got this one between Bully and SB, and then whoever wins that fights Tagata for the last round of the losers bracket, and then goes to the finals versus farms. I see these two are gonna be on next Saturday. So this is the last round for today. If uh Bully wins this, it'll be the last game. Or or uh they'll play another after. No, oh, I have to tab out anyway. Right. Are we streaming? No and now I have to go back to Twitch. Ugh. Yes, it is a best out of three. It's a best out of three, yeah. Oh, you mean the finals? No, I meant the this one. But the finals are uh, best of three. Seven, best I think. Of seven. Yeah. And we oh. are ready to nice. launch. Let's go. That was unexpected. That was quick. I guess people get better at figuring out colors when you force them to multiple times. True. No, oh, okay. Oh, yes, I was incorrect. Wreck. It's very similar. Okay, now that I see it, it's entirely a different map than I thought it was. But there's a map like this. Somebody in the wreck just said it's. Uh, there's another one. It's guess it's called Ian's Cross. I stand corrected. Chris says, but... "Don't let the early T3 bomber get." Oh, it's just air rush. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is a good map. I like this. Map. I need. I need. I need this message on every team map. I play. <laughs> nice. Because I lose like 50% of the games because it's not quite clear who goes to 3 Yep. Yeah, poor SB has been very unhappy with his TMM teammates recently and their lack of ability to make air in time. Poor guy. I want to see a little cursor for the AIs going around super fast. That'd be kind of satisfying. I think that would cause some epilepsy concerns. Maybe a little bit.
I might try playing on the scroll setting and see how I feel playing with it. It's weird, but I kind of like it. Like half scroll speed. The slow, slow scroll. Yeah. I'm surprised. I haven't seen a single first bomber in this whole tournament. So sad. Wasn't there one? Not no, in the games I played. First bomber, I think. Today wasn't. Oh, I'm today. Not sure. Didn't Slow go first bomber at some point? I might be mistaken. FTX is bullying my uh, my saying that game was more fun than the experimental trading one. I think it maybe it was mostly because the uh, the AIs were actually doing something, so it was a little less same thing over and over again. I don't know. I feel like this uh, bottom area is quite important. Maybe dropping it's a play, a play here. I wonder if we'll see that. Yeah, I guess yeah, we are I seeing Yeah, definitely flurry. rush a transport to drop it and also have someone else bring additional supporting air. Yeah, seems like Flo is doing a drop. Um, who's this? Flo is also building air, like you said. Yeah, you got to drop from Battlefront 2. We got the same plan. I'm not sure how Dilly Dally is. I haven't seen it recently. I guess we will see. We'll see, yeah. It's doing so some far good it's reading. Been participating, you know, it's just going full grunt. Yeah. Rating both sides pretty well. No, yeah. of course, uh, uh, Control K has some tanks on already, so it's not as effective. <clears throat> Fully went for a bit to, greedy. Like, no North team has quite a good blockade going on, like air blockade, mm. and yeah. I think Flo is trans. Oh, that they kind of messed just up. Dead. That was no, kinda... it's actually gonna make it. That uh, was a big mistake. SP miss micro, yeah. Yeah, that was a big miss micro. They would have should have dropped the that. laps as well. Forgot about the laps. Yeah, but you don't want to risk not dropping to try to change that. Yeah, that would be bad. No, oh, except for now, there's enemy lap. Any enemy ghetto. Not that it would have been countered, but and as a bomber, rather problematic. Maybe the factory gets down, or not shoot for some reason. What's that? Did you see that? Yeah, I saw it. It was a bit. No, uh, MAA queued for some reason. Took him a minute. Half the lab shots aren't doing any damage. So this, this is looking really bad for Bully's team. Yep. It's like absolutely crippling bad. This How do they have so much just, air? If you look at the space, he just went full monkey spam. Yeah. And that's what lost them the air. air oh, I see. Because Control K has uh, air entities. I see. Yeah, yeah. Like Control K and SP supported the shit out of the out of the drop yeah and now that factory gets denied yeah I don't, that's very very bad i feel like it's low oh never mind there's three claim middle that's why his low is in middle if that makes sense <laughs> also some nice reclaim here sides yeah. All three enemy AIs are just sitting here waiting to kill somebody. Yeah, actually, That's dangerous. Considering, considering the mid reclaim, maybe it's not all dire for for the South True. Team. They have... Because they should be able to control that and maybe they can, you know, make something make something with it. Yeah. Though you risk, again, there's three AI ACUs near middle. So you don't want to aggro those. Yeah, that's that's risky. That'd be horrible. But I mean, it's two ACUs for like it's slow and bully together in middle, yeah. plus quite a few units. 
But they can definitely could definitely fight the AI here. Jay, I'm gonna check something super super quick. Can I change this? I cannot. I thought I might have access to changing the uh, commands, but I do not. I just have editor access. Which apparently does not include and... that. Yeah. Battlefront has to run now. Battlefront, so yeah. No ways when I contest the replay. Oh, and now and Bully just comes in and gets all the reclaim. Yeah, and also Flowage got all the reclaim in the south. Oh, yeah. Now we can move up and get this. This, uh, reclaim here. Yeah. If you really. Actually, they might be able to just, you know, grunt all the way. Either grunt all the way into the base or grunt all the way into the south expansion. But you see, their grunt is now going to be intercepted by a giant amount of AI units that have nothing else to target except for them. Yeah. I guess just grunting into the south is better. Honestly, that's, yeah. That's. Try you know, it. Doesn't give the AI. You don't open yourself up that much to the AI. Maybe this uh, this area here might be of some value. Try to hold that. Yeah. They're going full ground, all of the ground. I don't think they have one, two. Okay, they have some T two max, but. Like, barely any compared to the enemy. Oh, Control k went very heavy on the T2 Max, which is a mistake, I think. Yeah, except for now the AI is almost exclusively pushing Bully. I mean, there's some against Control k but not much. They need to use their units. Yeah, I feel like just the units, sending the units south together yeah. with Flowey's ACU, I... Yeah, they you know, just... they would take at least very nice trades against that. They're losing their chance very quickly. Yeah. Okay, Flowey seems to be moving in. Should definitely, you know, just having a UEF gun come against all that Aeon spam without a gun come, that would just deal with that expansion very efficiently. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, like Rex saying in chat, there's so many mechs to. Yeah, all the mechs. It's like what? Six plus eight, so at like fourteen mechs. Just yeah, yeah. Three. It just to be clear, like I w I still favor would still favor the position of SB's team. Yeah. Like just having the expansion over the the reclaim is just. With the reclaim, it's you know you can make something work. Yeah, and every minute that goes by that they don't retake self, their chances yeah. get sliver and sliver. And control K will have gun comm soon. They have no plans for gun comm. And they have T two land out, but two T two lands. If yeah, Flo is just too scared to push in, that's just. Yeah, the the uh, Swackle Crusher Crushers are getting crushed, which makes um, SP's team the Swackle Crushers Crushers Crushers. To be clear, And Battlefront made T2, T2 HQ in the south expansion, so there will be T2 PD covering the main choke. Yeah, so this I guess is that's not looking good. Off limits. Yeah, very bad. The dog agrees. <laughs> Should have got this coffee hours ago. Oh, you're awake again. Oh yeah. 
Where's the hype cast? Let's go. So, so hyped. No, it needs a minute to kick in. Oh, okay, it's, but then I expect, like, yes. you know, 50% of course. talking speed. In all all the other thing, yeah. <laughs> like, full HD and t time to turn up. The striker is attacking wheel, the... To scroll wheel speed again. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I need to stop joking with the scroll wheel. <laughs> the guy's gonna have a seizure. Yeah, I'm not liking this for Bully's team. They have half, almost half the income. Well, not okay, not quite that extensive, but quite an income deficit. Absolutely brutal. I mean, Bully, Bully's kind of setting up an AI milking base. <laughs> True. But I'm not sure how much overkill there is. Yeah. Yeah, triads aren't really the, the greatest for reclaim farming. Or AI milking, as you say, I like that term. Maybe ET3 land? They're all UEF though, so they can't really like bake snipers or anything. Why would you go full UEF? That's <laughs> yeah. weird. I guess they expect a very big chunk fight. Speaking of UEF, other than these Janus, I was about to say we haven't seen much Janus in this ga in these games, and then SB is over here making Janus, but there's yeah. been no like full team strategies, like full Janus fam or something. Honestly, I'm very surprised no one went T3 air. Because hmm. you could imagine you had a strat out right now. Yeah, that's true. Though I mean, everything's kind of close together, so A will kind of be effective. Yeah. I don't know. You're probably right. Also, like Inties will be able to work a lot better because you can't just fly away because you have to uh actually yeah true yeah because like yeah there's like everything worth killing is concentrated yeah not that it would be bad of course jane is killing the t1 max very useful oh no My spiky logic is uh, OP, I don't know what is. Is he not fully committed to the Janus? He kind of is, but he doesn't have all that many. Oh, he's going to go around the back. That's smart. Just got scouted, though. But nobody he didn't see it. Oh, that's so bad. It's going to kill all the power. That's going to hurt. Oh, there's a TML. Lose air is out of play. By Bully, and it's taking out the... Where? Oh, HQ. I see. I don't think that... No, the TMD won't be in time. Ooh, and it's already, that's like, a nice almost pick dead. Off. Oh, that's nice. Except for the Janus. The Janus are just sitting here threatening horrible war crimes against the base over here. Oh, there's some very nice lines of Petrons to kill, yeah. And I mean, these two T2 I mean, P-Gens right here, they just die immediately. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Or if the shield is stays yeah, down on that one. Yeah. Like, Bully is kind of expecting something like this. He has a stationary flag. Yeah. And I mean, he has the but shield. There's, there's so. so much stuff that can die. Seems like he's overbuilding power a bit. Maybe not. So, Battlefront just took a horrible trade in front of... Flowey's oh, face. Oh, that's some nice reclaim. That's quite a nice reclaim, yeah. Ah. Huh. Mass income is still quite far, but not. it's not getting, the gap isn't getting any wider, really. T3 error halfway done for SP. No teched error for any of the other team. So now we will have the test of if the, uh, if the strats are actually good. Bully has a bunch of T2 units just sitting. Not in position. Yeah. I feel like all these T2 units in middle should go down to self and just roll over all that PD. Honestly, it looks like together with a UEF yeah, gun com, yeah. yeah, I could just overrun it. Well, we already oh, might Janus have moved in. Oh, nice! They're only killing the obsolete power. 
Yeah, maybe a bit of a waste. And an air loss for... Yeah. Well, potentially. I mean, yeah, yeah, and This is an air loss. Okay. There's, like, two flags. I didn't see yeah, quite how many were quite the waste. Maybe if the Jadis fought air first, it might have been a little better. Yeah. But no, there's so many anties. We killed basically nothing. Which, and this is going to make the... This was quite a bit of mass deposited. Mm-hmm. It's gonna make the T3 air a whole lot less meaningful. Yeah. Espy is building more Janus out of the T3 HQ. Nice. <laughs> this is a very, very questionable decision. Yeah, that's a bit odd. Wait, so if Espy wins, we go on to the next round. If Bully wins, yeah. we're done. Okay, I see. I was worried when Zelt was lost to that, or when the right expansion was lost, that uh, we wouldn't get another game. But I was wrong. Forgot who won. Eco. Eco is still, still. The gap is closing a bit. Oh, it's closing. It I think it's actually quite a bit down to the reclaim with the AI. Yeah. Because they are getting like very efficient <laughs> oh, yeah. against it. I'm and seeing it spike. Suiciding quite a few. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, this but is the stuff I think M27 does very good. Like, it's not just throwing units at it. Yeah. It's got a different style, though. Vantage is a bull. Oh, that's quite big unit movement. The they, south now. They won't commit like to killing going south. For the main base. I, why when they could just kill south? There's yeah, like three south looks, three PD. Looks pretty... yeah. Barely anything to stop it. And now there's eco and south. Yeah. So you get reclaim. No, there's. The like, I'm not gift. sure how easy it's. It's. It might still be quite hard to overrun because there's just so many T2 NGs. Yeah, that could spam up a firebase in no time. So you need some some bombers or something to yeah attack at the same time. T three P general was on, so we'll see red swords or strats or whatever he has planned. Pretty soon. He's too slow with this. Yeah, bully is rotating south, but it's quite a shame. Flowey has this T three um, ACU. Just... My speakers just died. Oh no. Completely gone. Sounds completely out. Or... Give me a minute. So it seems like Bully and Slow are coordinating now. Flow is also coming, so maybe we'll get a big push that cracks the space. But there's so many PDs planned. Sorry about that. I seem to have bumped my power cable. Oh, <laughs> my uh, speaker power. But cable. you're back. Okay. Yes, I am. Uh, back. As long as it's not your PC power yes, cable. Yes, that could have been bad. Okay, so still not pushing. Ah, uh, no, we are, we are getting prepping, they are prepping a push, but the issue is there's a million PDs going up and so Yeah, but they could have already been uh, through the push and yeah. all the PD would not be there. Yes, exactly. They could also just, I think the army size is big enough to just, you know, attack on the side. Mm. Yeah, they might just, there's it's not tricky to get the, like these army sizes that efficiently but yeah i mean there's already a chance the already i guess is doing work so that's something yeah the uh, ai milking is kind of slowing down though in a bit of danger Control K is on uh, already quite a few T3 max. 240 mass income, that's ridiculous. Mm. 
I love this. It's just a giant wall complex. Oh, nice. Being built. This I mean, it works. To get through. It yeah. works. TML has two vet, 2700 mass skilled, something, killing some nice nexes. Poor Max. Where's the spearhead spam though? True. I mean, honestly, that would do good work against the fire bases. Even like one just forces T2 already, and that's a big investment. Yeah. Though there's there's sniper so many bots. random T2 mechs is being picked off by the TMLs in mid. Mm. Also, it's A on TMD. Or no, I guess not. It's. Is it? I thought it was A on TMD. There's some A on TMD, I guess. But I was gonna say you could try bombing the TMD and killing the self Nexus, but Do we do does bottom have air? Bottom has no tech air yet. No, yes, no tech air. There's a T three Pigeon, but that's it. There's a lot of indies, but... I mean, Stealth probably wins air with indies right now, but that won't last forever. Yeah. Look at the I AI indies. I can indies. get away without getting air for quite, enough, quite some more time. I just... Mm. You know, having some odd Sams. It's the huge eco problem. MAA. The eco is the issue right now. Yeah, definitely. Because top team doesn't have to do anything. They can just sit there and make e make vexes. Slow air grid. Very nice slow air grid. It's very T1. Percy's are being made. I want to see Percy's dropped. I don't think that'll work because of how many ASF there are, but if you could get one like up here, there's a flak, never mind, and all of this. If the AI wasn't there, it would be good. Okay, it's a stupid idea. Maybe here, if you can get the ASF or. Yeah, SP parked his ASF quite convenient. Yeah. It's a very good position. Very, very nice from him. AI is just spamming more units. Seems I'm to be. I'm so sad that Bully is not spamming spearheads because spearheads are just. Oh, they're finally they're coming out. They're just so efficient at cracking down at firebases. Yeah. Well, don't the sniper bots do pretty well against them though? Or am I? Mm, I'm not the uh, most. Uh... No, not. Yeah. The... Like if you have spearheads, you need you need. You know, you need them if you want to crack a firebase in your firebase of your own, I'd say. Yeah. But you just have spearheads and make spearheads instead of T2RT. Yeah. Boss attacks. Maybe they're gonna try yeah, to kill it's... Flowey? No, this is a TMD. I mean, not enough, but slug. That seems like a waste. Pot. Oh, but if is just spamming sniper bots, that's not gonna work against this amount of. RT. Yeah. Honestly, at this point, move the T2 tanks in. There's nothing yeah. to stop it. I th mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, the south, they need they need to do something quick about it, because there's just so much T2 RT shooting at it. Yeah. yeah. And those snipers wouldn't it be able to... Oh, there big. goes the snipers. Never mind. They're not a problem <laughs> yeah. anymore. T1 bomber finishes them off, hopefully. Hopefully for them. <laughs> oh, there is a chicken out. That's gonna be an issue. Or that's so. gonna be a very big issue indeed. Quite the issue. Because remember, they can't really do much with air. I guess actually they're probably ahead of air on air still. 
They see it. It's been pinned. And for some reason the AI <laughs> right now just decides to shift south. Hmm. Yeah, Bully is evacu evacuating his com. If it gets in range of all the arty, that'll be nice. For yeah. south. I would love to see them. I think you can kill a chicken with three ACUs quite conveniently. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Uh, it was a GC actually that Yudi was fighting yesterday, and it was quite efficient to use the comm. I've never yeah. seen that before. Like, GC is super scary, but a chicken is just. How many OCs is a chicken? A chicken is three. Uh, uh, five OCs. And I, uh, I didn't realize how easy to dodge chickens were, because yeah, I've never thought yeah, about yeah. it. But uh, I was playing a... It was like a stupid map, like that Valhalla map. It's one of the people who only play that map was doing like some amazing micro against chickens. It was a truly wonderful. He watched the the Heaven tutorial. Yeah. You know, you know the tutorial of uh, uh, how to kill a chicken with one OC boy? I don't think I've seen it. I'll have to look that up. Okay, no, there, like, you can... You can realistically kill a chicken with a single OC boy. That's crazy. Yeah, there's well, you're gonna be another chicken up soon. I don't see how they'd stop this. Chicken's full HP, it's just vetting. That's so sad. <laughs> Flowing bully just need to make... Gotta get behind the chicken. Get all the units yeah. in behind the chicken, and then you have a chance. See, now I can't shoot the PD. Then it has to choose if it's shooting the PD or the units. Already 30k mass killed. Don't see anything particularly useful to counter that, other than the massive units, but. There are a lot of Percy's. Percy's might help. Yeah, I feel. Percy's are really well microed, I think they can actually do some work against chickens. But can they stop two? That is the more important question. That's the question, yeah. Where's the second one? Is it already moving? Those snipers have a lot of vet. Yeah, snipers plus chicken, I, I don't see how they hold this. Yeah. I'm not sure. Those hills might be too high. The random hills. They will ca catch a lot of sh quite a few shots. But... Oh, for the chicken? Or for the snipers? No, for the snipers. I see. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Second chicken is done. Fatty is going up. Pretty quick. Maybe the fat boy saves this. Stop the snipers at least. Let's try to TML the the chicken. Did you see that? I didn't, but that was, did he hit or? I don't think it did. Very sad. What if he just shift G'd the chicken? Well, obviously not shift G. I cause... think this is kind of happening right now. You kind of got to be like a little more careful than shift G'ing, but if he pushed, pull on the chicken. The actually the heart, the Percy's are kind of out of position. There's so many shields coming from the, fourth. the chicken is completely surrounded, and it's no, in. but the Percy's are so far far back. Yeah. Maybe that holds long enough for the value to get up? Yeah, I mean it's quite nice to be able to chase the chicken down with yeah. the T1 RT. Yeah. That might be just about mass efficient damage, but... Maybe now retreat. Well, no, no, now it's turning around. No, you... I don't know. It's hard. 
Yeah, not sure how. Nearly 300 units killed on the chicken. Oh, almost four of that. Yeah, that's that's tough. 95 regen. There are Rambo boys being made. The slow watch the guide. Oh no, that's an OC boy. That's a little different. Yeah. I, I Maybe you can do it, but I think you need like two or three Rambo boys against the chicken and incredible patience with your micro. Yeah. It's, just, it's gonna take like two minutes or something to kill it. Why would you go three UEF? That's a very, very good question. So, what is Contra, contra Case in 500 mass? SB 500 mass, Battlefront 400 mass? Small mass difference. Oh, there's a washer being spilled, started. Honestly, like idea. that, yeah, that's that's very good. The Inties are going to have to hard counter the washer. I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> Putting all the mass into the first fat boy. Yeah, that washer probably wins. Just kill all the Percy's, group by group. Not much you could do against that. It's going crazy. Such a ridiculous amount of shields with the chickens. Yeah. I mean, fat boy's up. Okay. Stupid dog. But, yeah. Fat boy is not moving. What? Why is the fat boy not moving? Even got pinged, it's I think. just sitting there. Okay, there we go. Let's go, it's reversing. Every moment of that is so important, honestly, at this point. Look at all the shields! Got the multi multi faction shields. Parashields to stop the OCs and forty two percent. Forty two percent on washer. How many Indies? We have Oh no, the Percy's are clumped. Oh no. There's two death balls. No That's so sad. Devastating. The single Ravager trying its best. I mean, it's doing good damage. The T1 Artie is not doing bad. If he forgets to move it for like a moment, it's hurts so much. Yeah. The issue is the Washer just wins. Nice to see they need to build more E in order to build that Washer though. Nerf is doing its job. I wonder who gets this so, replay. Fatty's here to kill all the snipers. Oh, are these Inties out of fuel? That's an important thing to know. No, they're not. Did, okay. they, did they ping the washer? Do they know about the washer? I don't think so. Doubt it's it. Oh, they're about to. In like half a second. There they go. Oh, yeah. There's the oh, and it's been pinged. It's time to rush all the shields and the Sams. It's time for the Yetis to shine. There's so many ASF though. I don't think this is going well for bottom team. Washer is not doing anything. Nuke, nuke going up. That's smart. Well, actually, there's already a half done SMD, so I guess not. But you can snipe the SMD. Oh, bully control. Yeah, they gave up. Yeah, reasonable. Honestly, with no T3R. Yeah. Okay. Game three. Game three it is. Slow gonna keep it was fighting. It's quite sad to see because they're like 
in the first couple of minutes there was definitely a chance to just yeah. double down in the south expansion. There, uh, there were so many that. chances to take south and they just didn't commit. I mean, who knows? Maybe, who knows? Maybe it would have gone horribly, but... Yeah. I guess it would have gotten down to, you know, micro and denying a firebase being built and so on. It's not... Yeah. It wasn't, like, just, uh, you know, throwing the game like uh, Tiger's yeah. team did with the strat. <laughs> oh, that was <laughs> awful. Rex says to reclaim the dog. Gladly. <laughs> oh, this is a weird map. I remember uh, Excelsior playing this one with uh, UD and FTX in the last high-rated Rainbow Cup. I don't even remember. Ooh, and it's M27. This should be a good game. Oh, Group I do formed. remember that map. That's a horrible map. Group it's formed. weird. It's Group like... Formed. I played it once Group in a custom formed. game with Bloody Ear, and the weird Group thing is the... Formed. Formed. Okay, I mean, they're not spawning in those positions. The the two center positions, you can actually walk over the mountains. Oh, that's weird. Which was just, you know... F yeah, you figure this out, and then suddenly the map plays completely Group different. Formed. Yeah. And everyone is tilted because it's not obvious. Yeah. The gray cliffs you can walk over? Yeah, there's like one path through them, huh. which is not really marked. It's a bit broken. Some weird spawns. Look at all the hydras Group in the water. Formed. Yeah. Should be interesting. Is any player spawning on land? Yeah, they've, they've got two guys spawning on land. One guy, right? Group formed. Yeah, 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 one guy per team, yeah. Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. Because I was just thinking M27 on a map where you cannot get early air out. Yeah. That sounds like a lot of pain. Truly. The bobbers are going to be quite yeah. intense. You got to go over you. It's got to go AR. Every single NG. Got to go AR to rush a shard. Easy. <laughs> the only situation in which shard rush would be the play. Go first shard. Oh, that would be horrible. <laughs> first shard. To... Imagine if you would have to build a shard to counter first Group bomber. Formed. Oh, that would be so funny. Now I want to see that. I feel like the AIs are just going to crush you. Remember how well they did in the last game? The last game with M27? Yeah. Now yeah. they're dealing Absolutely. with... Yeah. Then again? Like how how uh, Battlefront got absolutely yeah. <laughs> crushed twice in a row. Yeah, that. But uh, yeah, now um, now they're two people underwater versus two on water or out of water AIs. So that should be an interesting dynamic. Oh, and M twenty seven does Navy pretty well now. At least for the last time I remember playing it. Okay. Like, it, we played it with high-rated people in a, one of those Navy map gens, and it did decently. Mm -hmm. It was, like, me and Smith and a couple other, like, 1Ks to 1500s or higher. I don't remember. We won, but it was close enough. Then now that I think of this map, this is actually quite an interesting opening choice you have. Like mm. either at the front player, usually you would rush a transport to just, you know, get some greedy expansion. Because there's so much stuff to expand to, but then you just leave your team to being crippled. Yeah. By the AI bombers. Yeah, you kind of got to rush the inties. <laughs> mm. It kind of depends on how, uh, how many mechs the AIs get. Not many. That's an important thing to know. The AI, the AIs are kind of crippled too, and no hydro. Yeah, so it should be. And if you look at like the navy spots, they have four hydros. Yeah, well, they kind of need it in order to actually have an economy. Yeah, but this leaves some crazy T play options. 
Actually, yeah, that's fair. You could boom incredible amounts of air production Ooh. if you just donated the... Now that's a good idea. Just... Yeah. I wonder and if I they... I think you kind of need to do that because air, like T1 air is so important here with... Like it's just a 20 by 20 map with a shit ton of expansions to drop. Yeah. And if you can, if you do that and your opponent doesn't, there's not much to counter. Counter a bunch of T1 air. Yeah. <laughs> FTX is glad he is not in this bracket. <laughs> Very reasonable. Oh, and there's no AI cheat multiplier, I guess. So it'll be a little less effective than the last one, but still. Yeah. And I guess just sending two ACUs into the AI is always a very good idea on this, True. On this kind of map. Oh, we just said no. No? To what? Uh, oh yeah, no AI multiplier. They fixed yes. this. Yes. AI is not cheating. Flowey's oh, playing Flo well. Uh, no, uh, fair call. I think my brain is also starting to take some damage yeah. after six hours. Yeah, we're six hours, nine minutes at this point. But yeah, I wasn't really sure how Flurry would do because I don't really know him. But he's been doing decent. He has good teammates as well, though. Yeah, they do play quite well together, and the like. Flow is just uh, like his greedy eco gameplay didn't backfire really. Yeah, the boys could have gone so bad that other game. Yeah, quite lucky. I agree, Rick. It is lame. We should have like 5x AIs and it's just survival to see how long you can survive for. That would be fun. Imagine. Be waiting for radioactive chill chaos. Last game. Last game indeed. Let's see how Unless long they can make it. Out. Oh. <laughs> Gotta get the stream to seven hours. Yes. What could I do in the meantime? So we can theorize on what's going to happen. Where do you think uh, the middle ACU is going? The forward mm, ACU. I think you're going going to the north. Yeah. Like across the water. Some nice... Uh, and then you drop those middle areas, you think? That seems to make sense. This is Good question. No, you like you were saying, you kind of got to make more air, so maybe that would be a delayed drop, or you just walk an NG. Yeah. Or a teammate's ACU walks, but like you said, maybe two the two teammates on the AI would be smart. Not sure. Okay, let's see. I'm going to vote. I'm going to put all of my points on Bully. My whole 1k. 972, actually. I don't even have 1k. There we go. I have voted. And 
nice, nice. Hmm. Quinn's complaining about the bets. I think you did a wonderful job in Germany. <coughs> I don't even know what happened. Wreck is complaining that the bets are per game and not per series. Oh, and he thought it was per series or what? Yes. Was there ever a bet that was per series? Nope. <laughs> not that I know of. Four hydras. Four mini hydras. Never seen so many hydras. The X spam has begun. Oh, that was sudden. I swear it didn't look like everyone was X. Oh, and I wanted to get a drink. Wait, wait. I will have you cast the opening on your own. Wonderful. Fear Girl, are you serious? Is there actually a 5x multiplier? Because if there is, that's amazing. Okay, so SP versus Bully on the uh, carry slot, I guess. Then Glowy and Glow versus Battlefront with the carry slot. So nice reclaim in the water, that's nice. Four Hydros, couple rocks per person. Good reclaim so every. Whoa! Much. Look at all the reclaim. Okay, I guess it's not too, not too much. It's 27k, but it's all over the place. 27k. It's such a nightmare to grab. Yeah, that's a, that's something though. It's better than nothing. Of course, oh, first navy for both the underwater players. We're gonna see a shard. I have hope. Go easy. There's a good chance we'll see a shard, I think. Ah, yes, they're going to push the AI. So, what, there's four mexes to contest here versus... Yeah, I think actually going for the land bass, like you said, is better. Because you get you can get those farther mexes. And defend your from your opponent getting them. Yeah. AI is just doing normal okay, AI yeah, things. I, there's definitely this path across. And I'm not sure if there's another... I think mm. that's the path across the mountains. I mean, that's not as bad. I thought it's you meant that up. Yeah. I thought you would mean something like that. Or like that. That would be bad. Yeah. Yeah. Is this pathable? No. Mm, no I way. think. So. Oh. I can see the other one being pathable. Be... The other one, no way. If Flowey immediately goes north, I don't, I don't like sending. I would just, yeah, well, he absolutely told... stomp the ace, uh, the the AI. He told Slow to go there, go to the AI. Maybe he has other plans. But, I but one combo is not gonna kill the AI. Both the uh, other team are growing uh, self, so nobody seems to want to kill the AI. Yeah, this feels like kind of bad gameplay, I won't lie. Yeah. A bully is absolutely overbuilding Peachens. This is... They, they should have made a better plan. Oh, yeah. Because if you look, Zlow is... You know, Zlow is doing the right thing and just spamming up the Hydros. Yeah, he's going to overflow a bunch of E. Okay, bully fixed it, but he has got way too many Peachens. I think just five Peachens to build the air factory and then just live off the overflow. Maybe go for like two air factories mm. right now. Does he have the mass for that? He does not really. Well, I guess. Yeah, but I mean, they could then donate in mass. They don't, they're not really spending their mass. True. So. Do I haven't AI seen any cyber? Second air. That's gonna be fun. Oh no, the north AI just for some reason went for second land. Hmm. Interesting. The second air from one of the AIs is just NGs. Well, from both the AIs. All three, rather. So, 
a lot of mechs they get in the underwaters. Why is he making two navy factories? They're investing in actual navy, which seems... I don't know why. It's a bit odd, yeah. Yeah, maybe I missed reading the map, but it seems like that's not the way to go here. You need, like, one frig and then just deny the AIs from getting the water in front. going for the AI? I think they're going for the AI here. No, just uh, Battlefront is going for the AI. Slow. Kind of so odd that they're just sending one comm for the AI age. Yeah, I mean, on one hand, like, you can just deny Navy factories with your comm in the water. That's pretty nice. But I think you're right. If you just crush, get the mexes and the reclaim, that's kind of good. Yeah. Because if you just think about it, it's like by far the closest expansion. And then it's an expansion where you actually have to like have quite a big combat strength to get. Yeah. I agree with Grimplex. This looks very cursed. Transports are both going for the same area? Yeah, both transports are dropping this area over here. Bit of a blunder, I think, unless I'm missing. They're definitely both both dropping it. I don't know why. Yeah, okay, they, I think they just realized. Yeah, there you go. But I kind of... Hmm, do I like that... I, I didn't really watch what happened, but it seemed like SP just made... To transport and gave him to the to his teammates. No, that's a good idea. Yeah, I to go it. back and pick up NGs. AI is denying mexes, which I mean, there's not many mexes, so that's something. NGs are trying to reclaim the tank. I think they'll get it. Yeah, definitely. Map control seems pretty split. No navy from the AI yet. Not doing seeing much with the bombers. I mean, the bombers exist, and like they're denying. Okay, they're doing something on this yeah. expansion, but yeah, I was also expecting quite a harder bomber get on. Yeah, they could kind of do more. That would have been pretty fun to see to just get every drop basically denied by the. Yeah, area. exactly. Um, Battlefront looks to be taking this base for free. Gonna deny T two air HQ. <laughs> Sad. Oh, nice. Yeah. It seems like M27 does not realize it needs to make a PD. Very sad. The AI ACU is not really doing anything either. On the other side, the AI ACU is defending its base. Or at least I think yeah, it is. Yeah, it just followed slow around. Yeah. It's kind of smart. Wonder what'll happen once this HQ finishes. Maybe it builds some gunships or something. I mean, just spam T1 bombers, and that'll be most effective, I think. Slow has lots of frigs, which will do very good work here. Still no navy. No, oh, there's the first navy factory from the AI. He's making the frigs. Let's go. Got uh, not Nothas, just a D's for now. North team is spamming quite a few frigates through the, the long river. Yeah, but they're not def ready to defend the AI if the AI pushes. 
The AI is not making yeah. much in AV though. Also, other pink AI is coming out to support the light pink AI. Interesting. Oh, Battlefront could have been so much quicker by just capturing a factory here. Mm. Or building a factory or something. Not reclaiming the factory. Yeah, because there's nothing stopping him. Just yeah, yeah, you're completely right. It just takes forever for an ACU to chew. Yeah. Through what is maybe like 20k HP. Yeah, and now he won't get anything done because the uh, the other ACU will be there in a second. Oh, and it's also started to spam, yeah. Yeah. Bombers are gonna hit him. And <laughs> bombers out of the T2. Oh, that's that's the bomber getter now. The bombers out of the T2. Factor. Oh yeah. That's a lot of bombers. I like that. Very effective. Got uh, the Corsairs out to defend the green AI. Which yeah, is also going gun. poking out of the water. Oh, it's low as... Not completely it's very shallow tree. water here. Is he gonna clip through the... Yes, the ACU just clipped through the fight. Oh, nice. <laughs> Hate to see it. You saw nothing. FTX claims that, uh, do you see what FTX says in chat? Kind of makes sense. What did he say? He's saying that you can airstrike the AI, so going for it early is not really a good play because you want to contest the middle. Battlefront is in but real I don't danger. see the ACUs being that, I mean, okay, Bully is kind of crushing. Look at Battlefront. Now with a gun comb. Oh, is there other interesting stuff to see? But look at, uh, Battlefront. Battlefront's dead. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He has to dodge or walk to the water. He can't do both. And he has to... Yeah. And there's too much water, shallow water. That's brutal. Imagine dying to an AI. No, I mean, it's not his fault, but... <laughs> I mean, it is his fault, but... That's... Really that bad. So, I guess there's a lot of raised eye. We have the shard. Let's go. Where? in the south it's trying to fight the Corsair. Yes! The shard! GG easy they win. I want to hear what Take SB is saying Corsair. right now. <laughs> that would be very entertaining I must say. Uh, T2 Navy up for uh, Control K. Might be interesting. Yeah it will have an impact in Three minutes. Yeah. Maybe. Possibly. Cruisers aren't horrible, I guess. Yeah. Also, since when can you build storages underwater? No, oh, that's very recent. It's a uh, it was added in a like the last dev patch. Okay. I think it's good. I like it. Yeah. Also, it means the economy for the underwater people aren't as crippled as it would have been before. Though, uh, maybe Zlo doesn't realize that since he's not really egoing. <laughs> Might also be he was a little focused on not getting sniped. But I guess both sides had to deal with the AI. Like, they thought they'd have a win. Mercy's being made by, uh, SP. Probably to kill Pink. Uh, light pink. For here. But light pink is stuck, so it doesn't really matter. Actually, maybe not. Look at the Nothas. Do you see the Nothas in SP's base? Oh. Oh, they actually killed the T2 mix. Yeah. And now he has to kill, make static AA. Get some Mercy. Isn't Mercy gonna die in the factory? Yeah. But the, the mix will die. Yeah, that's kind of brutal. So he's gonna try to kill Bully. If he if he mercies an actual player, that's just disgusting. We build, yeah, Bully has some AA though with his comp. Yeah, I doubt it'll actually work on that. Oh, look at these two mexes here. A Natha. Or a few Nathas. So good. Battlefront doing some epic dropping of one T1 T1 mix.
is Lois dropping his ACU to the right expansion? Interesting. Does he have a gun or something? I don't think so. Also, uh, Flowey also going. Except for that's a that's a lot oh, of blazes. Yeah. That's a whole lot of blazes. That's a lot of blazes. I guess if they do good OCing, they should be able to deal with it. But true. And before flash comes out, just a having having guns would give me so much co more confidence. Yeah. Yeah. No upgrades for Flow. Flowy. Does he even have OC? Yes. And he has one. Okay. Flowy better have something. So he has T3. Okay, so that works as well, I guess. Gotta kill the HQ before the next blazes start! No. Build PD. Flowey. There you go. Oh, Flowey has T3 on the com. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty big. Yeah, look at all that build power is now just gonna be reclaimed. Yeah, this yeah. looks quite bad. Also, like you got the enemy AI for killing a control case power. Dude. Distracting. Mostly. Oh, Zlo needs to be careful here. That's so many blazes. I right now he's being protected by the hill. Oh yeah, he is in danger. If he if all those could be shooting him right now, imagine. I mean, he'll bet in a bit, but he only got saved by the cliff. Yeah. Though these gunships, these gunships are so effective. Oh wow, they're actually in the base, killing everything. Yeah, up T two power is down, which is huge considering he's the only one with, tech power. The it's only one with land. Starting to look really bad for. Starting? It's like horrible. It's yeah. They have nothing. They have no mid expansion. It's just they're down at player. They have, they're losing Contra their case. Mid. Just dying. Where? Oh yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's quite awful for them. But they have two 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 T two navies. From the same player. Amazing. I would think sending the gunships up to finish those blazes would be good. Then you just full commit to taking that area. Flowey is not using his T3 comm. No, he's full committing to Torx to kill. He Kitsoka. could actually, I think. Do you think he could just drop it in the Navy production and build torpedo launchers? No, there's so many cruisers. That would be very dangerous. Oh, yeah. I, I recently had a cob drop fail to a random cruiser. <laughs> it's the most awful thing ever. Yeah, the gunships are so nice. Just yeah. kill that one flak, they just have free reign to kill everything there. <sighs> AIs it's aren't really big, doing much. Big navy push through middle, but the... Lots of frigs. Frigate formation is pretty <laughs> sad. Can't really get a better one though, to be fair. In this narrow of water. The Torp Snipe's gonna possibly kill Control K if he doesn't, uh... If the Torps are record correctly out of the way of the cruiser. No, never mind. He's fine. Yeah, gunships finish off all the blazes. Eco is even no, not even. Way behind for um top team. That's unfortunate. SB's main base is yeah. not quite overrun, but <laughs> and there's some random tanks he has to deal with. 
Top is investing so much in cruisers, they should be able to win Navy soon. Did they switch to T2 Navy? They do not have T2 Navy yet. The good thing for top team is they're safe from air now. So many cruisers. Yeah. And I think... You know, that T2 Navy will just push through. Don't tell me they're gonna win this game with the T2 Navy. No way. There's, they can outproduce torps even with the cruisers, I think. Especially if they send those uh, gunships to tank some of the cruiser fire. It doesn't like they they need a lot of torps. T two R D as well. Like yeah. they, there's no way they don't. Yeah, do like something needs to be done. Yeah. Also, there's navy. It's just not in middle. It's navy from uh, uh flowy. Yeah. And flow that's not coming in. There's no way navy breaks there. There's three destroyers, but there's so many more freaks for bottom two. And look at it's all cruisers that are being made now. Okay, they have T2 Navy. They are both going T2 Navy now. But I don't like this front, like how the front expansion looks. Yeah, maybe it's something. It's like all of their power is over there. They only have the Hydros otherwise, I think. Flurry needs to make power Some like now. Engines. If Flurry yeah. made power down at the bottom, he's fine. He has the T3 Con. Cruisers are going in. Or torps, rather. I want to see a battle cruiser. Make a battle cruiser, you just win. That would be brutal. I mean, torps are, or frigs are yeah, just so hard to move really... through. Yeah, there's so much air you can't outkill that out damage the, the gunships. Except for the air is out of play. Yeah, that air being out of play is huge. It's coming, but very slowly. No, keep the gunships over to take the fire. Yeah, now there's Aeon Destros. AI has T2 Navy. A good amount of it. Pink up top. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and at the bottom. Yeah, they're both. Could play a role soon. But the income is just so, so different for you. So much more income for a bottom team. I want to see uh, T2 already attacking SB's main base. That would be quite brutal. Oh, full, full swapper move. Yes. I'm so hungry. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, Bully is finally reacting and getting the shield. Yeah. They held long enough, though. I think the between the torps and the Dester, it's fine. No, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. This is... Oh no, I think the... Oh no, that was... Uh... Move the air! Don't lose all your torps. Nice. Good air engage. Because I live. Oh no, it's dead. Gotta kill the last cruiser. That's the last cruiser for a while. If they killed that, they could kill their ass. Yeah, they should. Like, to win this, they would need to focus down the air HQ super hard. E gens are going but down. I guess the. Like, just in the South Navy production kicked in and... 
the stadium. thing is, if they focus the base, they lose all the navy, and then the reclaim yeah. is just given up. And Flowey is making T2P gens at uh, his expansion, which is good. Flowey made a TML. Is it actually in range of something? Yeah, uh, there's TMD. Oh, it's actually in range of SP's main base. But there's TMD no already. Probably won't uh, do anything. Unless he snipes uh, the TMD. Be kind of nice. I mean, it's only A on TMD. He can kill some stuff. Yeah. But they're. I'm not sure if there's some. You know, random cruiser will just catch some team outs. Yeah. AI seems to be a bit uh, confused. With the navy placement. Once this pink AI decides to move its navy, it's gonna be brutal. How many is this? 12 frigs and 3 desters? That's like comparable to what bottom team has. Look at all the reclaim that bottom team's getting from this. Yeah, he's already making navy factories to get it all. Yeah, and Flowey's uh, scaling it's power. So random. Yeah, random is just, he's just sneaked into the back of SP's base and killed some mm. mix. Very nice. Navy is moving with AIs. It should be interesting. Just make a BC and win. Just dump all the mass into a BC and just walk it down the middle and you win. Yeah, the cool thing is now, uh, now they have the bottom team has power all over the place. So even if one area dies, it's not the end of the world. Which, SP is yeah. still stuck to that little island. Oh yeah, T3, you have Navy out for Control K. So he will make the battle cruiser first. Only T3 air. Nah, I don't think that would be smart anyway. Too many cruisers. Oh, here comes the frigates from pink. It's time to raid the space, boys. Needs to rush in and kill the build power. Yeah. Sadly, I think it's gonna attack move. Or it's gonna attack move the other team. Yeah, it's actually going. I think it is. Okay, now yeah, it has like move orders and interesting. Map. Suppose I mean it's still still something. A lot of bit. Oh, that T three NG. Poor T three NG. May it rest in peace. Oh no. Poor guy. That actually hurts quite bad because now they can't get PGen until the battle cruiser is done. Eco is still ahead for bottom team. They have so many torps. No, I want to see. I want to see bottom team go and torp the enemy navy base. Just kill all those yeah. T three mechs. Just brutal. ignore everything else and uh... Or he's doing Nothos and then if he Nothos and Torps, SP's calm. That's pretty nice as well. Look at the frigs. The AI frigs are so good. <laughs> oh, and there's so much E storage. Why is there so much E storage? Not for long. Well, he doesn't have any good place to be able to build power, so he kind of has, has to have something. Yeah. BC is going to be delayed killing AI freaks. Meanwhile, the torps are coming. 
or not. The Destros are going the wrong way around. Pink Destros. Hello? Explosive? Yeah. Yeah, look Explosive. how delayed the... Oh, he said hi. Look how delo delayed the BC is now from getting to the center. Yeah. Trying to kill all this. Ah, oh, those deaths could have absolutely overrun the whole navy base. Oh yeah, I mean the cruiser is gonna do work. Did I hear a strat? I definitely heard a strat. Yes, the pink is building a strat on SP's comm. Oh no! While he's dealing with the enemy air. Yeah, and there's also at the same time there was Northus by Bullion over the base. This was just the. Very oh. random, well coordinated attack. Oh, SP could die if fully abuses Nothas. I think SP should be able to dodge, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's fair, actually. Though he is kind of trying to do a lot at once. No VC. He does not like my advice. Did the strat live? The strat did not live. Yeah. He died to a cruiser. No. But imagine the damage it soaked for the torps. South AI is actually building an RT. What? When it got near. Oh, it. I see. I think you meant like a T3 already. I'm like, why? No, 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 no. T2, yeah. It's not even navy locked there, it just hasn't sent in the navy. Oh, well, the other one. Yeah, it's Buddy. It's Buddy's here with the comm though, let's see. Oh, the comm could actually shoot. I think he can walk onto that water and shoot. Just OC some Destros. Yeah. Bully has T3 air. Bully has tons of T T3 power, T3 air. I mean, SP has maybe one or two ASF, but... Bully should snipe the T3P gen with the Nothas, I think. And then go for the three three P gens right here. Yeah. All the power dies at that point, just quit. I don't think there's any other power. Are you pinging the, the AI is moving in quite a few gunships mm. into the Good timing. Oh, no. And it's so. retreating again. That's fine though, it's still these Nothas are gonna crush. Guy kinda yeah, looks off. like a dead pigeon. The follow up on the T2 pigeons is quite important too, I think. To get it retargeted. Might have actually gotten it. It's only two Nothas to kill them. What if the Zooey's killed the T3 P gen wreck? That would be cool. That's what I'm thinking. But no. They would have needed if that Spectre was dead. Like just if you look at the terrain, the PD cannot hit anything. I mean, either way, killing that uh, the wreck would have been good. Yeah. I guess their SP's team is out if they lose this. I guess that's why they're playing on with half the ego and no land. There, uh, the pink AI has a carrier. Imagine it had a battleship. It's pretty based. <laughs> yes. The other one is building a battleship. The green one. That is very based. Uh, Aeon battleship out. That should be do lots of work against the battle cruiser. I almost just did the button for the channel points again. I didn't even think about it. Tab in and out. I'm doing this it. This is the zoomer reflexes, yeah. 
Exactly, zero reflexes. <laughs> it's true, though. I don't see how SP can win this. Yeah, honestly, I'm getting a bit bored. Yeah, he's just holding uh, on. Just, yeah, it's just the... Uh, I feel like he might be know, a bit, bit tilted. But, like, tilted in the kind of way where you, like, won't ever give up. Hmm. You should just strat snipe him. Yeah. Mm. I mean, they have a lot of T3 mexes underwater, but so does the other team. I mean, the fact that they're uh, alive this far is impressive, but. Yeah. Like, the North AI is actually starting to get quite dangerous. There's. You know, we are in the, we built the half S monkey lord stage for the light pink one. And spamming strats, oh. let's see where those go. Oh, that could be fun. No, there's so many cruisers. Oh, oh no, it's just Battlefront. Looks like SP and Control K are still playing. No swiss. Strat? Strat was... Oh, it's a bully over here. Yeah. Explosive says a buggy right now. out for the Lime AI. Yeah. It's going to be quite annoying because there's only T2 Navy by as well. Nah, there's a yeah, battleship. Yeah, sending player. the battleship right to the right. Yeah. But that's also one less battleship to counter SP. Not that SP is that far ahead. They can really hold without it. Because there's no more battle cruisers being made. The AI strats are moving south. I wonder what they're even targeted. Or just oh, some yeah. T2 max. We'll just die. The ASA. No, no. There's no. There's not it's enough ASA. Right. Like ah, it's just about not. Rip. Nice master edition. Building an S of D. Better be safe. Yep. Yeah, to be fair, they only have one little land mass, so they gotta defend it with all they got. It's like three land bases versus one, though. And that's even without the developed middle. I don't see how this is possible to win. Did you see this? What? Uh, oh, this was just with the cursor, like, oh. the police air grid. The AI ground fired in between. Ooh, the, that's the cool. That's I like beautiful. that. That is impressive. Yeah, like, see, the, the AI can do such good strat micro. If they just, like, knew what were the, like, really good targets and were able to, like, calculate, like, give a rating to each target yeah. possibility. Like a series of a uh, scoring, some scoring system it would be so good. I mean, it should be pretty easy to predict the. Yeah. At least it's pretty easy to write code that predicts the damage of a strat bomb, but yeah, just I guess searching through all the possibilities is quite expensive. Yeah, it would be expensive, but if you could do it somehow where you're, uh, like measuring the amount of mass you could kill, mass per d yeah. per damage or. Yeah, mass per damage. Could work. Maybe it uses some system to find quick, easy targets. And then goes through the quick, easy targets to find the most valuable. Yeah. Huh. The, yeah, somebody in chat says the pink team is going to, uh, is above, um... SP's team and score. <laughs> Keep in mind that that is a uh, uncheating, non-cheating AI. Yeah, it's just vibing up there. Yep. Got battleships. What did the green AIs die? Though it doesn't really make much difference. It's full share. Nothing much interesting being made by green, just, uh, maybe. 
Monkey Lord isn't being finished. Some navy coming in from pink on SV. Has some potential. UEF battleships being made? What is the play here? Why are they dragging this out by just ecoing? Is that I being made right next to the enemy base? Oh, there's a Ooh, big the air between the AI yeah. and the yeah. If the AI decides the to amount engage. where Oh the AI just is not aware. Well, oh, it's going also... for the north us. Only a mass dump? Because Bully gets to lose all these AS or all these inties that are out of fuel and get good damage with them. Yeah, it goes back. Sure, it just went in, killed the Northers, went out. Uh, other green AI is about to die. That'll be good for. Oh, that's quite. The, that's actually quite. Is Ass it dodging? No. Assuming it must be. Assuming uh. No, maybe not. The battleship targets. Assuming. Uh, Chloe's battleship targets. That would be that would be nice. Yeah, they, I don't think they have quite realized the opportunity they have down here. Just taking out that com. Yeah. Be very convenient. Yeah, I think that self being so ahead is just drawing all the air from pink. But the issue is pink can't send its navy to kill self team. So it can't really can't just crush with its free ability to eco. Until it makes like a T3 already or something stupid. Washer being made. There's the something stupid. For about yeah, pink AI. Washer. Pink AI, yeah. dark pink. Oh, pink in AI. the water. That's yep. A... Oh, it's been chewing at that for quite some time. How long does it take a T3 engine to build a washer? Like 35 minutes? But if that finishes, yeah, that's... 20% done, so... That finishes will be quite significant. Yeah. It's not like enough Sams to kill it. If it, it could probably kill the air grid if it wins air. Why is this game still going? Looks like I maybe see. hover spam is being prepared. Yeah. Lots of hover spam. So, but I I see the strategy, control case going for it's just the critical amount of cruisers that you cannot have any navy in the choke yeah and so it's many sands just, yeah just the cruiser area of denial yeah what was that some missile i don't see anything very game changing other than this washer that's going to take 20 minutes the There's strats going for Flowey, I think. Oh, yeah. By SB. But the shields, they won't do anything. Yeah, the shields and the Sam. He can build Sam. He's and... walking outside of the... Why is he walking outside of the... Oh, oh they're kill... going oh, okay. for the pigeons. That was I worth. See. Definitely worth. Yeah, if they... If they are... Actually, they might all survive. One down. It's a lot of build power. No, careful the air over the cruisers. No. That's pretty bad. Oh, if yeah, it's fine. It's fine. SP, SP might lose air here. If it wasn't for the cruisers, like, that would have been yeah. so much worse. But Bully did well in that fighting over them. Oh, look at how much Navy Pink has but isn't using. Seven destroyers, two battleships, a carrier, a cruiser, eight frigs. Just walk that into Control K and he's dead. Yeah, and there's like a million torps by Pink AI and the Monkey Lord is also nearly finished. So I wonder yeah. where that's heading. Oh, that'll be interesting. Can we see yet? Imagine if the Monkey Lord just went for Bully's air grid. Oh, that would be kind of funny. Kills Bully, kills the whole air grid. The game takes another half an hour. Yeah. Cannot read the scoreboard. Why can you not read the scoreboard? It's very large. 
It's exceedingly large and very colorful. It's so large that I couldn't see an entire player on the other map. Monkey Lord is 92%. Washer is 29%. So many torps, like, or actually, those are mostly team of bombers, but still. Lots of torps with those. And more torps over here. 23 torps and. I wonder 26. if. I wonder if, uh. Loey wanted to not kill the AI so it could farm. So he could farm the, uh. The Navy Rex? Unless he's just making a mistake. No, Might just be a mistake. A mistake. I think it was already a very big mistake to not take the AI bases immediately. I don't know. I'm still like, if imagine if you just had those expansions. That would, the Battlefront kind of. Like one third more maxes or maybe more than the team's control. Battlefront literally died doing it. You, you would need the two ACs. Yeah, I mean, he walked in at yeah. minute eight or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's fair. Probably just poorly executed. Yeah, it's just basically like any ace you cannot really... If you look what the ACs that went north, they achieved nothing. Yeah. Like when they arrived, the, you know, wars for the proxies was already done. Yeah. Yeah, you could just go for the AI and then do the comm drop from the AI base once you yeah, kill them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, once you're, you're, right. you're finished with the AI, you have T2A and yep. drop, can drop somewhere else if you still need your comm. Oh, Micro the battleship? Micro it, Micro it, no! It's deeply sad. The Monkey Lord is done, and yep. it's... Oh, it's going for SP space. I think no. the Monkey Lord one will... <laughs> Yeah, in the game. that's GG if it goes there. There's nothing to stop it. There's one thing to stop it. What's that? It's a uh, fucked terrain. True. Actually, yesterday there was a monkey lord stuck that could have done quite, been quite deciding. It was just stuck underwater. What's the issue with the scoreboard? Because I can change it, but it seems uh, it seems more uh, distinct than the other one. Bigger. Easier to read. Oh, I don't have great confidence in the Monkey Lord. It's taking weird <laughs> D-turns. I think it's uh, trying its best, though. It's kind of a tr uh, pathing issue, not a AI issue. Yeah, yeah no, but this is going to be... Uh, I think it's going to... This is a disaster about to happen. You see the AI with find the... some weird terrain and get stuck. Oh, air fight. Look at the AI. It's shift-ging all the ASF. Oh. That seems so smart if you have unlimited AP. Unless, except for now, you have the problem of not actually shooting. To your target. What is it? Oh, the AI is actually going for the T3 Maxis. Or the... Oh, if it went for the... It's going for the nukes up! Is it? No. Oh, no, I thought it was. Up. That would have been so good. I didn't see the nukes up either. That's pretty nice. Thought that it'll do anything since there's three bases, one of which is almost loaded for an SMD, the other of which is also is loaded for an SMD. Never end. It's useless. Yeah, it won't load fast enough to do anything. Do they see the monkey? They do not see the monkey. They think it's oh, an engineer. Oh, that's gonna be a fun surprise. There is a GC being built, but there is no way it finishes in time. Hang on. Oh. How do they see the monkey radar blip? Does it uh, have Omni? the stealth manually disabled? Maybe Omni? Yeah, Omni right see. here. Oh, oh, someone else has an Omni, yeah. Um, Monkey is having some small issues. It's getting there. Yeah, bottom team is kind of not taking much action. Though, to be fair, they're crushing the AI at the bottom. So, SP should realize now it's a monkey. Ah, yes. <laughs> there got pinged. Oh, imagine how he already lost a game because the AI air fought him. Now he loses a game, potentially because, um... I say that as the monkey gets completely stuck. This poor guy. He's trying so hard. 
the king of the hill now. Nice. The GC is gonna die. Oh, and uh, Control K is going to die as well. Maybe? Oh, SP is SP just got uh, a no. slightly better target. Bully, bully somehow has intel on what's happening in that base. Wait, wait, how did, uh, does it know ratings? Why did it switch from almost dead control K to SP? No. Oh, a control K just barely survived. Will he keep playing? Fuck. That's <laughs> the question. I mean, the damage to the base is not too big. Yeah, I mean, it's also a bit of a master nation, if you think about it, like... The, oh, the GC lives. The GC's alive. How's that washer? That washer is like 46%. No way he plays on. Ugh. <laughs> you don't, you don't get to have a break. I need food. Well, it's seven hours. Seven hours. Let's yeah, go. seven hours, three minutes. Yeah, but this game was good. It just is taking way longer than it should for not much being accomplished. But overall, good game. Bit of a. I don't know if I like the map, but oh, the I mean, AI is absolutely crippled. Yeah. But the AI kind of is show, doing some interesting stuff, so that makes up for it a little bit. Yeah. The fact that Battlefront died to it. So, what's your bet? What will be finished first? The washer or the bug? Where's the bug? Oh, by the, other the bug, 100%. Actually, there's more NGs on the washer now. I guess it's... Could be either. Probably the washer with how much build power is on. What right is now. this? This clump of. Where? There's a clump of six destros. Oh, yeah, there. yeah. Has it been there from the beginning? No, that's, or, that's so? more than six destros. That is. Oh, it's okay, seven. And, seven and uh, eight frigs and a cruiser. That's a lot. Imagine that was just sent at control time. I think Control K thinks he can use that nuke sub, but every SMD is it's loaded. It's actually no loaded already. Yeah, but the, every SMD is loaded. Oh. On every landmass. Control K is not reclaiming the, mon the monkey lord. Big error? Not a GC is gonna hurt. Washer. I guess you can wipe quite a bit in the south. Air experimentals are making progress. No, there's so many gunships, the GC won't do anything. The Neptune has 180 units killed. It's just there, vibing, killing Phobos. No, Ferbs, so they... the... The last, uh, the big long game. When was that? Was that last game? Where the AI fought air and had, like, almost a full player's worth of air? Right? Was it... The, the... Oh, yeah, it, kill, it kind of beat, uh... Yeah, SP's, SP's team. team, right? That yeah, was significant, was the... right? Like, that was... Yeah, yeah. Or, I don't know. Ferb seems to think that. I don't know. I didn't mean this game, if that's what you're thinking. There was a lot of ASF for the AI there. There's an invasion happening in, like, north of the air grid of Bully. North of the air grid of Bully. Oh, yeah. Not much, though. It could be doing like more. T3 NGs coming. Yeah, but if they, did, if they like, made factories, like, if it was a player, it would just make factories, and I would It's need... It's a certain AI. It's M27. Yes. So will we see the Swockle move? Ah! Yes, that would be funny. Chicken's always done for bully though, so he'll just deal with that. Yeah. 
Zara coming out. Oh, the GC's on the way. Now, will the Zara beat the the Washer and the Bug? Imagine the Zara, the Washer, and the Bug all go for a South team. All at once. Mm, I, uh, yeah, I, if the AI was able to kind of coordinate the air. Yeah. You know, if it was given to two players, maybe it could actually achieve something. Yeah. I mean, I doubt it will do anything. Yeah. But if they don't oh, see you, the will get the SMD, I think. Oh, that's. I didn't even think about it. But even then, you start you nuke a few pigeons. Yeah. You just build you more. You get to nuke something, and that's it. Yeah. I guess you also nuke the GC rack, so that's also something. True. Maybe he nukes farther back? Oh no, that SMG is twi loaded twice. Oh, I just realized this bully is just. No, slow is building boys. Oh. Where? Oh, back there. Yeah. yeah. I didn't even realize there was such a developed expansion down there. Nice. Yeah. They've had that for free the whole game. Yeah, 1.2k income to 300. This is not 350. Washer's almost done. Bug's almost done. Zara is almost done. Zara is almost, like, very almost done. Strategic launch detected. And a nuke where will be going where? Oh, it's going for, for slow space, but uh, isn't there... There's yeah, there's low, too low. There's too must low. have missed that. No, if it did land and killed both ACUs, that would be horrible. I mean, it would still be an easy win for Bully, but a little bit more effort. And he could then snipe if he wanted. Yeah. Zara is up. Oh, it seems like the bug finished very slightly before the washer. So we have a Zar, a Bug, and a Washer on the field. Farm seems to think that the AI air had no impact, or did not have impact on the, uh, okay. the result of the game. I don't know, maybe it doesn't. But it seemed like it... I think it, if I remember correctly, it moved like an even air situation slight in the favor of Bully's team. Or not slightly, but temporarily in the, in the favor of Bully's team. Yeah, exactly what FTX is saying. There was so, there was a strat snipe. Like, Bully barely lived. If there were a few less ASF, yeah. it might have killed him. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Doesn't really matter. Chickens. Talking about strat snipe. Oh, where? I think this oh, I AI strats are going for Bully, but he Ooh. is... Uh, yeah, he there's is enough layers. No way that works. He has Sam's. Nano. He has Nano. Yeah. He has T2. And his Sam's. Unless the washer finishes and goes for him? That could be interesting. Yeah, but Aries going back. So the bug? The, the bug, bug is going... The bug is going for... The chicken. The bug is actually, yeah, gonna defend Control K's base. Nice. Very kind of him. And there will be an air fight around the bug. That is a lot of ASF from pink. At least... Decent amount. Oh, but Bully doesn't see the Ripper and is just going for the Zara. Imagine if the AI was. You imagine it was it got behind the air. There was, I think, there was a yeah, there was a small chance Wait. for the AI to engage Bully's air where he. He doesn't see the AI. ASF. It's stealth. Oh man, that would have been so brutal. <laughs> Here comes the chat. Oh. To be fair, they were quite ahead when they read. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, yeah. Lots of ASF being lost to cruisers for free. Yeah, bottom team has been passive this entire tournament. Am I right? Like, it seems oh, like they also has a watch. Oh, we have. We will get the. At least a small air engage. Uh, maybe. 
Pink Washer is not doing anything. It's just going to hoard it with the rest of its T1 bombers. <laughs> Mega started. Green is still alive somehow. Oh, but there's progress, big progress on the hover spam front. Oh, wow, yeah. Very big progress. And there's also some strats timed in to take out. I mean, they killed some build power, it's just. P gen. Nice. P gen should have died. P gen's at barely any HP. Zara is dead. Now get the air out before it all dies nice to P gen. Yeah. Chicken is moving in. Fight the Ripper. The he Ripper doesn't. Was locked, was locked onto the chicken again, but. It's dangerous. If that pink air went in, it could have swayed this a bit. He doesn't, I don't think, fully noticed how much it's there. But yeah, this is finally over. I would hope. Let's go. That's a beautiful bomb. Yeah. There goes I all the power. Sets. Chicken will die, but I mean, kill anyone either. Weird when the strat is saving you from the chicken and you kill the strat. All the nukes ups, will they die? Where are the nukes ups? No, they How is survive. he planning on loading nukes ups? He has one T3, two, three. Okay, three T3 three pigeons, but still, my point stands. Oh, rip washer? Okay. Now that's the torp shield for Torps will shield for Oh, the washer is not looking very happy. But the torps are. It seems like Bully is kind of drawing. Oh, he's winning against the AI. Yeah, it's the micro is just fight. better. I would probably move the washer as far away as possible. We do not want to give that replay. No, honestly, at this point, there's so little power. Playing on is just stupid. Unless you're hoping for the AI to win somehow, but... Yeah. No. Just no. All three comms are separate. There's boys. There's all sorts of SMD air grays all over the place. Complete air win. There's no world in which they went here. Ah, I see. I was I was uh trolled by farms and FTX into believing FTX. I don't. Know. I just don't get why it's not important. I don't see. <laughs> I don't understand. And either Harzer Harz agrees with me or doesn't want to say he disagrees with I me. Do. I I agree with you, but I'm not 100% certain. Yeah. Finally, South AI died after no, nice. 20 minutes of siege. The double nano comp. Yeah, this is very over. They, they just want to make this stream 8 hours. That's the goal. SP just wants to trash talk in front of you. will play. Yeah. SP's barely even saying anything. He said a little bit of Russian over here. And so stupid. <laughs> That's about it. I'll be right back. Okay. You're, you're gonna miss so much. Why is he still playing? We'll see. I think you underestimate the power of Bully. Bully will crush. Farms is no match for his power. Ugh. Except for he kind of needs to finish games. It'd be kind of nice. I can finally get food after like seven hours of eating a single bagel. Why is why is Bully going for the AI? Come on. In what world? You just sacrifice your